right, hello and welcome back, everyone. It's a Saturday stream. We're playing. We're playing more Conan Exiles. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, how's it going? How are you doing, Chris? And thank you so much for dropping in four years. It's amazing. Again, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate that. I do need to get the four year badge put together, but I mean, you have a founder badge, so who cares? <laughs> right? You have a founder badge. Who cares about the four year badge? I just got the three-year badge online for Rapicon because uh, he mentions I didn't have a three going, and I just remembered I have all the stuff I need to make a four-year badge. I just uh, I haven't uploaded it yet, so I will I will go do that. We didn't do any thralling, right? There are no thralls, no thralls. Man, all of our gruel has gone bad. Look at that, it's all going bad. Good evening, Liam. Good evening. Are you playing today, Liam, or are you not playing right now? Are you playing right now or not? Nah? I need to do more sorcery. We need to kill more dragons. I want to do sorcery. I want to finish leveling up our sorcery thing. I don't know what else we need. Oh, we have a level two tar Tarman. Um, oof, jeez, Tarman. Uh, level two, second, second, second round. Ah, yes, the MVR playing. Yes. <laughs> Why? Yes, indeed. Good, good. Um. I see you haven't made badges. Uh, I see you've made badges, but not your cell grump email yet. I've got to figure that out. I need to sit down and do emails. I've got five emails. I need to make. I need to five. I need to make five new emails. I also need to upload two more sound alerts. I need to upload two more sound alerts as well. I've got stuff I need to do, but instead I keep streaming instead of actually doing them. If that makes any sense. Um, like I could do it, or I could stream tonight. I could do things, or I could do some streaming instead. Or streaming. One of these days I'll get it sorted. Don't you worry. One of these days I'll get it sorted. It is on the list of emotes to be made. I just have to figure out how to design it. I have to figure out how to design a it. A trifling victory. Yes. But a victory nonetheless. Yes. I have two more of those I want to put up. Two more? One more? Two. I think there's two more of those I wanted to do. Um, actually, I think I can I might even be able to pull them up real quick here. Or I can run them real quick here. There's that one. Um, and this one, I want to upload this one. See if that'll run. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. I need to get that one on there, and I also need to get this one. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I need to get those two on there. Uh, one of them because, you know, I'll get distracted during, especially when we're playing Dark Souls, in which I'll, I'll get distracted for the first one. Um... And then I dive because I'm looking at chat and I'm talking. That seems like the perfect one for the uh, death weights for the slightest lapse of concentration because that happens often. And the second one, especially in games like these where I over encumber myself all the time, that one also makes sense as well. So I need to get those two uploaded. Those are the two. There's your sneak, pre sneak peek preview. I have the sound bites. I literally just have to upload. I just have. To... I've done all of the hard work for these. I've, I've pulled them, I've got them ready, they're good to go. I just need to actually, wow, I need to repair this thing. This thing is, this thing is broken. Um, I just need to upload the thing. Um, both both of those sound bites and the badge. I need to actually design the emote though. I haven't done that yet. I need to actually just design the emote. So that's something I still need to do. Um, I need to design a handful of emotes, but I have a list of types of emotes to be made. So, let's take a look in here. Some stuff we do. Is there anything else we need? We could, uh, not Magister Butcher. What's the one for... Star Metal? Isn't there one for Star Metal of these? Or does Star Metal just give us those? Pickaxe. No, it doesn't. Where's this? Oh, does it need... You know, I bet the Star Metal uh, ones actually require this one already, don't they? Bet they do. Yeah, yeah, it does. Darn. We could avoid that, but it'll give us a lot more material if we do these. <laughs> the large water well, wow, just don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, it just costs so much. You get so little. It's all the epic gear. You have the 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 Lemarian gear is really the only epic gear we need. Once we get the helmet, we're 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 cooking. Um, taxidermy at some point if you want to do that. Um, yeah, let's go get that unlocked. Let's go and update this. We've got some star metal on hand already. We might as well go ahead and get this done. And 
Look at those made while we're here. Oh, you did your first D&D session yesterday? Nice! It was super fun. That's awesome. Tell me about it. What what happened? What happened? What was the uh, what was the story like? What'd you guys do? Butcher knife and the skinning knife. I don't know where my butcher knife went. It's probably in our vault outside, honestly. <laughs> Everything else. Uh, I need to clear parts of stuff out of this vault. It's really bad. I really need to clear this thing out. It's got too much junk in it. It's not good. Uh, we can take the blood. We can take the bark. Uh, we can take the branches. We can take the bone meal. Uh, oh, water breathing potions. Those are great. The bricks. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I want to see how much this cleansing brew does. I'm very curious as to how much this cleansing brew Wow, we got a lot of dragon bone. Holy moly. Um... Or we can drop off uh, the meat we should just have on hand. The grill will keep on hand as well. Now we can drop off the hides. Okay, we'll do that for now. We'll just do small... I'm going to try and do at least like small spurts of dropping stuff off out of this vault whenever we get the opportunity. Yeah, Definitely need to. It's a skinning knife, and there's our butcher's cleaver. Um, I think I need some more steel in here, don't I? A little bit more hard than steel. Steel. We have so much silver and gold right now, so it's great. I'm glad we picked up some. Uh, advanced toolkits. Let's get these two online so we can go and upgrade these guys. So we can go and harvest more. What we're looking for. Um, nothing of this goes in there, but we can go ahead and put the crystal in here. We can go ahead and put the hides in here, along with the bark. I need to empty this out. I need a deal. I just holy smokes! There's so much stuff in this. <laughs> there's so much in here. Yikes. Uh, we'll drop that off in there. Brick, we can drop off in here for now. It's not overflowing yet. We have uh, almost two full stacks of brick, that's good. Uh, the bone meal, we'll go ahead and put that up with the blood that's in here. Drop that off and make the compost. Looks like we're out of uh, red plant fiber again. Oh my, that is a lot of compost. I'm not going to take all of that. We're just going to take some of that. Leave the rest in here for now. Oh, it's completely full. <laughs> all right, I guess, you know, let's um, not make more than... I was about we don't make more. We have enough. I need to, I need to start making... Well, we can make potent compost. We just need our ash. Is raw ash in here? No, raw ash isn't in here, but we have blood. We just need to get some raw ash. We'll be good to go. Um, vaults are enter only. You can never take things out. Just build more vaults. Go, oh, come on, Moon Man. I just want to clear this up a little bit. Don't you, don't you make perfect logical sense to me. <laughs> don't you make perfectly logical sense to me. Is it just me or does this stuff just last longer in vaults? They do. Weird. Stuff decays a lot slower in vaults. Very odd. So much acre in here. It's crazy. I'll take that plant fiber because we need it. Oh, so much future me. Oh, my goodness. I'll take oh, these. You can keep that note. Um, so I need those. Candles, torch. I have a torch. Ah, okay. So there's, well, that's a spare one. Actually, we can take all these. I can take you, 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 and you. And we can turn them all into material components. There's the ash. Under R for raw. Just cleaved an enemy uh, centaur head straight. Oh my goodness. Okay. Your character picked up and threw a halfling enemy off a ship after they critically failed an attack. Oh my goodness. Amazing. <laughs> also cleaved an enemy centaur's head straight off. Oof. What are you playing? What are you playing as? You got me curious. What are you playing as? Man, that's like no potent compost at all. Me. I really should get a second compost for specifically making potent compost. Yeah, I really should. A barbarian, a good choice. A good choice. The barbarian is a great class to play. Get some stakes underway. We're gonna need them. Gonna need some stakes for sure. Lots of meat. Go empty this inventory here. Uh, drop the stone. Drop the stone, drop the stone, drop the stone. Drop the steel. 
up to steal tridents, because we can make better stuff at this point. I'll keep the trident. And the spear. I'll leave them in here for now. We have the space. I can use them for, um... I can use them for draws. Put that in there. Okay. Uh, demon's blood. We can go ahead and drop off more demon blood in here. Drop off our... Screws. Um, what else do we drop? Drop off this gruel. Min max pretty crazy. Level one has 18 strength already. And <laughs> dual wields halberds. Excuse me. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> You're dual wielding halberds? Okay. All right. Sure. I don't. I don't know how it works, but I guess it works. That is crazy, man. That's awesome. Uh, this sounds like 5th edition, is this correct? Are you playing 5e? Titan's Grasp? Yeah, that sounds like 5e to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's good. Alright, so you are a dancer too. But I'm not taking you. I'm taking you. Um, but we're gonna need to swap your armor. Right, because this armor is just straight better. Yeah, okay, because it's heavy armor. It's medium armor. Alright. That. That. You can have this, and that, and this. This. Just missing hands. Guess you can have that. Dress him up means he'll be even sturdier with that because 496 armor versus 184 armor. It's a significant difference. Significant. The ancient axe is good enough. Uh, it's better than the steel hammer that we had before, so that works out fine. What do these need? The alchemical base, I guess, is the hardest one for us to get. Gonna be the dancer? Maybe. And the dancer hasn't earned a name yet, though, is the thing. She hasn't earned a name yet. We have to take her on an adventure and make sure she actually survives the adventure first. And then she can earn a name. Everyone must earn their name. And no one here who is still alive. <laughs> See, no one who's still alive still has a name. Tarman still needs to earn his name. That's his default name. Um, we need to go and get... The... Wow, we got a lot of rhymes still. That's great. Uh, we need to get these guys to actually earn their names. We need to go on an adventure. Uh, so I still need to go and kill some dragons. So I think we're going to do that. Because I think we only have, like... Six or seven dragon bone? Dragon horn? Excuse me, we have plenty of dragon bone. We need 20 dragon horn. We have five. I need 20 dragon horn. I think we get some more demon blood here. You want any Carmen? Go through. Get some more demon blood. We'll just take the remainder of the stack. It's fine. There's so much demon blood, and it's pretty easy for us to get a handle on. Demon blood? You can just nab him. It's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and dump that in there. We just need 20 demon horn. Or, sorry, dragon horn. Dragon horn. If we could actually kill the mother of dragons, that would be the best thing to do. But she would drop a bunch of horn. The red mother. But she's tough to kill. So that's the problem. And I'm worried about Tarman. I might survive. Uh, well, I will survive longer than Tarman would, but... No real guarantee after that. Okay, we need to get our uh, reinforcements. I could also get reinforcements for my armor, too, if we wanted. I need to repair this armor. This armor. And this armor breaks a lot faster than I remember it being in prior to patch 3.0. Um, I don't know, it's crazy. How's it going, Holderkin? How are you doing today? Welcome. Um, Liam, uh, Moodman, and Holderkin, do you guys know if armor takes more damage than it used to? I, I feel like I'm repairing this armor significantly more than I had to prior to 3.0. Is that just me? I have dragon shields. What do I need for a shield frame? Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'll take some layered. layered. It's not happening. Cool armor, though. Bleed forged. Dragon helm, dragon bone helm, dragon hide helm. Doesn't seem any different to you? Okay, maybe it's just me. 
Maybe I'm just not used to getting hit so much. <laughs> Maybe I'm just used to having Thralls tank it more. Um, I just need to make some effective medium padding. We actually have everything we need to make it old school. We can just do it by hand. You know, we should make that upgrade. Should be better. 80 armor. Compared to 40, 46. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's better. We should probably pick that up. I should also get this dragon bone shield going. Where's the shield bracing? Or the shield frame? The shield frame made oops, in the carpentry bench? Oh, it takes a dragon horn. Yeah, we can start upgrading some of our stuff here. Um, I have no idea where that's made. Shield frame. It's definitely not in here. Is the shield frame something I make with my hands? No. Where do I make a shield frame? It does feel like most enemies are faster and more persistent in pursuing you. It's true, they do run me down a lot, so that's very true. <laughs> I do get run down quite often. Um, oh, you know what? I think I don't have the advanced shield making. That's probably what it is. I probably need better shield making to make them, right? Epic shield? Yeah, I need epic shield making. There it is. That's it. I got the ability to, to make it, but not actually make it yet. Dump 13 points in there. I only have 100 free points left. I'm starting to run out of space. It's not ideal. That's not ideal. I still think it's going to be made in the carpenter's bench. I think I've made stuff like this before. I just have a hunch it's here. No. What? Okay. <laughs> Wait a second. What? Build. Big shield. That's ancestral shit. Okay, I don't know where it is. Look from here again. Wait, I thought I hit go. I guess it didn't unlock. Improved armor's bench. Okay, so yeah, it is the right spot. For some reason, it just didn't activate. Okay, there it is. Just some insulated wood. Easy. Okay, it's not that tough at all. I was just thinking about three pieces. Three, three measly pieces of insulated wood. Not done. Let's get a dragon bone shield here. I'll have to grab some dragon bones. I think dragon bone shield would be a good one to give uh, Tarman. Just it gives better block. Also something I might want to carry myself. I uh, will take one stack of dragon bone out of here. Actually, let's just, while we're at it, take that out. I want to, again, I want to slowly empty the vault and start getting all these resources in here for processing. But it's just such a time-consuming endeavor. I don't want to do it right now. Titan is full. I don't need more. Build me one. We can build two, actually. Um, no, let's here, drop you off. Um, I can actually go and take this chitin, because I don't need this much chitin. So we we'll grind it up. It's a one for one, right? Yeah, it's a one for one. Good. Very good. Uh, let's get three more insulated wood. Let's take a second one. Here those. Drop off that. It's actually quite cheap to make. Three insulated wood, three twine, and seven dragon bone. We have so much dragon bone. It's actually quite cheap to make if you think about it. This will work out well. We're going to take these cleansing brews with us so that uh, as we run into corruption in the unnamed city, we just cure ourselves. Get that solved. Uh, in the meantime, I do need to make uh, a perfected medium padding. Hey, so perfected medium padding requires 21, so we need rhino hide, which I think we have. We need 21 hardened leather. We have plenty of rhino hide. 21 hardened leather. What does that equal? 21 hardened leather equals 45 oil. Check. Um, 21, sorry. 105 oil. Maybe. We might have that. Uh, that's 42 leather. We can make that with the elephant hide. We have plenty of regular leather, and the alchemical base, we're going to have to make it more. Alchemical base. We just need some gold and silver dust. So we'll just go ahead and we'll take 10 bars. Take some bars. That should be enough. Put those there. Um, oh, we got plenty of heavy hide. Uh, thick hide. Perfect. Okay. It's in there. 
Uh, let's go get my oil. I might not have enough oil. Oil, oil's over here. I might have some oil between the two. I've got 50 oil here, so I think I've got enough. I think I've just barely got enough. Nope. Tar Tarman! Out of my way. Come on, man. <laughs> Tarman. Um, okay, yeah, I've got 189. That'll be enough. Okay. Um, and I just need the alchemical base, which is currently being ground out. We need 40 something alchemical base. We need 21. Twenty-one times two, so we need forty-two of chemical base. Okay. Uh, please build me a second one. Like this. Uh, Tarman, give me that bone shield. The bone shield blocks what twelve? Oh my goodness. Interesting. This one's actually durable. I wonder what the durable bonus is. This one's just normal with four thousand armor for health. Way heavier too. I'm curious, because it's not durable. Hmm. It takes a long time to build. Goodness. So let's go see where is our grinder at. Okay, almost. I'll make a hundred alchemical base out of this. And... Perfect. Dump them off in here. Bump, bump. And a chemical base. Go. I need to get myself an alchemist. Because um, the problem is I don't have an alchemist. Because the alchemist would increase the rate at which we would create these. Make life better. Um, also, it would not hurt to go and get more armor. Or like a better armor than what he's currently wearing. Because he's currently wearing the... Um, Currently wearing this, which is 140. Basic is 140. Okay, so it's actually the same as a heavy pauldron. It's really Oh, huh. this gives carrying capacity, and I can't remember what this gives. This gives health. That's right. Yeah, so you can make some health here. Better than the carrying capacity one. Um, okay, so this one would be the one to go for if we want to upgrade. Hyborian slaver uh, equipment is stronger. It gives him strength damage bonus if memory serves. So that's probably better, because then he'll do more damage. Um, compared to the Lumerian armor. Oh yeah, this only comes in excellent quality. Um, which is also less, it's less armor. Okay, perfect. So we, I think we want to go and get him the Hyborian Slaver gear. Which just requires heavy padding, fur, and iron. Do we have anything that would be better? Medium, definitely not. That would definitely no. The Slave Forge equipment, not even close. Slaver Guardian. Okay, Slaver Guardian is the same. I don't remember what they get from the Slave Forge Guardian bonus, though. It never tells you to, which is obnoxious, because you have to make him. So I'm not sure about that. If it's just pieces of medium piece. Uh, if we could actually get him up to the dragon... The... Not dragon. Dragon bone? No, dragon. Yeah, dragon chest piece... 420! Holy! Oh my! Void Forge Dragon Bone is insane! Okay. This would require heavy padding, hardened leather. We're already making some hardened leather. We're gonna need more oil if we wanna do that. Effective heavy is. Oh, jeez. Oh, it uses hardened leather, but elephant hide as opposed to rhino hide. Interesting. Okay. This uses feline hide. We'd have to get more elephant hide. I definitely don't have enough. Well, actually, we'd only need 50. I have 57. Yes. All right. Well, I can do. You could work with that. Um, I just would need to get more chemical base and oil. The oil and the chemical base is a few things I need. So let's go and start on oil then. This is the wrong door. That's the wrong door. Uh, let's get over here to the vault. Uh, do I have any insects lying around? Hands full of insects. Corn 
as well while I'm here. It's a hardened steel sword. I know, give that to him, but I don't like the attack pattern that Thralls do with that weapon. Uh, queen bees, I'm going to hold on to those. And bees, hold on to those. Okay. We'll drop these off and start getting some more, uh, get some more fish so we can get some more oil. Oh, excuse me, you two. Not right now. I'm trying to get through. Thank you. Oh, nice. I got him a level. Swing. Oh, nice. There's actually still some fish in here. Get the 150 something there going. Give me things. Let's get nothing but a good thing. Take all that. Is, uh, luckily that armor we can just turn down into leather, which is good. It means we always have. I mean, we already have an infinite amount of leather, it feels like, but. It doesn't hurt being able to change it into that. Here. Those. Wait, the stone spear can't be. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, we got two and three. Okay. Huh. Odd. Drop that off. Wood. Drop some wood off. Uh, this bone shield. I do not need this bone shield. Bone shield is gone. Is no more. I would have really liked to make the sh the shell shield. It just looks really nice. Um, okay, so we just need that alchemical base. Where are we at with that? We have 40-something? Not quite. Not quite. Almost there. In the meantime, we can continue to play with our inventory. Uh, Carmen, I know we are going to go on an adventure, but I'm not ready yet. You wait there. You don't have to follow me. You just, you just wait over there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's press online. Pressing out these fish, please. Go. Nice, that's a good haul there. Uh, what is that? That's 53, 54. Nice. 54 is good. Here, our flesh that we got. We're going to go dump. Uh, what else do I have on inventory I need to drop? We can go grind. Well, we'll hold on to some more fangs. We can still keep stacking up the fangs until we get a full stack here. Uh, the horns we definitely want to hold on to, just in case we need to make another set of the uh, antler horns. Helmet thing we're wearing right now. You and Fleck can get dropped off, and the get dropped off here. Flesh can also be. No. Go. Put the compost. Thank you. Uh, we have a bunch of lotus upstairs that we're still getting done. Who do we need more of? Plenty of red. A couple of gray. A ridiculous amount of black. All right. So in the gray lotus, it is. So we get the compost. Go ahead and make more. Go ahead and make more. All right. We're going to drop off the reptile hide then. Get reptile hide going. Drop off the regular hide. Get that started. And we're set except for the bugs, which for some reason lack. Okay. So let's test this real quick. That's what I'm curious about. All right, so decay time, 14 minutes. Back grab. Now it still says 14 minutes. Huh. Oh my goodness, I can take those fangs out. It's a lot of fangs. Uh, fiber bindings, I can take those. This will disappear. We can take this. We've got gold lotus. That's right. We need to go get those going. Some potions. Island berries, we should take these as well with us. Let's go get these planted. Iron out. We're doing an iron reinforcement for some oil. Man, it's like finding treasure all over again when we open up our vaults, because it's just a dump chest. We have no idea what's going to be inside. Um, upstairs we go. Just to drop off the bindings, we don't need them. Uh, so black, so this means this is gold. Those will go there. Um, and then, that's right, we're going to do berries on either side. So we've got desert berries, which means this one's the highland berries. Perfect. The problem with the highland berries and the desert berries is they decay on their own. So we can grow them, but we kind of need to be cognizant of picking them. Because they just go bad, and it's a waste of compost. So for the moment, we're not going to go and do some willy-nilly. Something here. But eventually, we'll start growing some. I don't know how many. I guess you can get that stacked up to either 500 or 1,000. But you don't go there. Here. 
one of those now. Nice. All right, I need 42. Drop off 42. Now we can go ahead and make 21 of these. All right, let's get this thing done. Uh, you can also stop to note for a hot second and you can finish them after. Let's get our hardened leather. So we're gonna get our uh, our new helmet. Be great. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get these repaired. Repair, repair. Oh, I actually can get the boots too. If I wanna build, make the boots. What do I need for Lumerian boots? Lemurian boots requires a second one. Ooh, it's the same cost. I don't know. I don't. We, I think we don't have enough oil. I don't think I have enough oil for it. I need eighty something oil. Um, we're pressing more oil right now. The alchemical base we made a hundred, so we should have enough of that we have enough heavy or er, thick hide we have plenty of standard leather we might barely be able to do it layered fur is so much cheaper in terms of components weird silk hmm. yeah we have 84 remaining oil so we could do it again we we'll just need more just need some more alchemical base, which you can grab. All right, let's take a look at the uh, amount of armor. Okay, so this thing gives us 22, and this thing gives us 40. I mean, that's a decent bump. That's a decent bump right there. A pretty good bump. We'll have to be, we're gonna have to make this all again once we get a new armor. Once we get a tier four armor, we will be making this armor again, uh, because having a tier four armor will give us a boost. We need, ah, oh, sorry, we need final hide. We're going to do a Rhino Hide excursion at some point here. We'll have more. Uh, do we want to get the mask or the boots? The mask gives us 80. Boots gives us 40. Helmet gives us 46. This gives us a 16 bonus. This gives us a 34 bonus. Yeah, definitely helmet. Marian Warrior Mask. It's supposed to give us 80. I think with the armor of one, we get 81 armor on this. I think we get a little bit more. I think. Uh, how do you like the update? I'm enjoying it quite a lot. I'm enjoying this quite a lot. Uh, Everbo's Gaming, how are you doing today? Welcome. Hey, whoa, we had to do a thing. We had to craft some armor. Cool. Done. I didn't even know. Hmm. We don't look quite as intimidating as... We have this on, but our hair does really go well with the shoulders. It like blends right in. It's, it's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we almost have a full spare set here. I was just missing the boots. Uh, we'll take the we'll leave the veneer set here because we can just get the mediums no problems. This actually requires fur to burn these. Um, we have a second set of Lumerian uh, chess piece. But, uh, Lumerian? I can't remember what it is. Probably something here. What is it? It is. Lumerian. Yeah, it is Lumerian. There you go. You're doing well and you love the update? The update is pretty good. How far have you gotten into playing with sorcery? Um, like, I, I'm, I'm trying to go and get Dragon Horn right now to go and continue doing sorcery stuff. So we're, we're gearing ourselves up to be a little bit stronger. I do need to get my shoes. Other than that, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Soon enough, we shall be there. That's one of these, since that's almost decayed. Hey. Use, use. We'll eat that's fine. Uh, Tarman, here you go. You can have some spare. You got a few spells, but you haven't used them. Yeah, there's some good spells in here, but I haven't, still just haven't used enough. You can play with them much. Oh my goodness, Trisak. How are you doing today? Dramatic reading? Oh, that's going to be a doozy. Oh, you're going to wait for your uh, stream tomorrow night uh, to really explore it? Nice, nice. That's awesome. How long have you been streaming? How long have you been streaming? In general, not just this game. 
Or uh, both. I mean, why not? <laughs> How long have you been streaming Conan as well? Just for the update? All right, so I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else we need. I don't think there's anything else we need. I don't know why I have silver coins in here. Or silver bars. They're not needed for anything. I have no idea why I have those in here. But I have them there, so there we go. Take those out. Uh, a few months, uh, Conan the whole time. Nice. Also streaming Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous right now. Ooh, how is that game? I have not played that. Uh, what if I put in gold coins? I guess I just put gold coins in here. Uh, do I need any of these items with me? Uh, once we start on our adventure, Trizak, I'll go ahead and give that dramatic greeting when I am when I have auto run active. Uh, is there anything else we need? Because I think we're just about ready to go. Um... No, I, I, th I think I think that's it. There's nothing else I said we needed, right? We have food. We have food. We should pick up some more ambrosia. I think it's all here. Um, do we have the ambrosia here? No, because it'd be a. We have the pop system in the kitchen. It's probably in the stove. Um, wine's glass. Is there anything out of here that we want to go and put somewhere right now? All the featured meat. Uh, oh, we got more rhino hive. Nice. Okay, that's good to see. Mm, no. Again, we'll, we'll clear out our vault later. We'll clear it out later. We'll get it into the villa. But uh, for right now, let's get up and going. Uh, my health isn't. Oh, my health is above max. I don't know what it is. This stuff should only be giving me strength bonus, right? Yeah, strength weapon, strength weapon, strength weapon, strength weapon, strength weapon. Oh, interesting. The mask gives 3.5. I guess the boots do too, then. That's what? 3, 3, 9, 9, 6, 15, 16 in total with the 0.5, I guess? Instead of 15? Huh. Alright. Alright, Tarman. Uh, it's time to go. We need to go and try and defeat a dragon, and you are only level 3, so we've got some serious work to do. Um, let's go see if there's anything else in the kitchen left over for us. Yes, there's our Ambrosia. Uh, we'll take, like, another five of this. Um, and I will take more steak. Oh, we're going steak. Tarman, for... Get over there. All the way. Thank you, Tarman. There we go. All right, Tarman, let's do this thing. We're going to try and defeat the Red Mother. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. She's got, like, a lot of health. But we'll see what we can get done. I could have upgraded our shields, but I can do that after we get back. Do we need to pick up any blood sacrifices or anything before we go? No, no, we, we literally just... I mean, I could get iron and whatnot, but honestly, we literally just need to go and murder her. Um, the fastest way there is... What is the fastest way over here? We can go sweeping all the way around, or we can go... I think we'll probably go this way. Go up there, then across. We can go straight across from here to here. Uh, and then what we can do is we can just go in this way. From here, then, then we can go south, or we can go north around to this section, or sorry, right this section, down here, or our main goal over here by the spawning pools. Main goal is the spawning pools, so go that way. Um, let's see what I missed in chat. All right. Um, you love it? You, uh, if you ever played the tabletop game, uh, it would be almost exactly like it. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, I actually run Pathfinder, uh, games. I run D&D and Pathfinder games. Mostly 3.5 and Pathfinder, but of late, mostly Pathfinder. Oh, let's actually do Kill Scout real quick. This would be a good bit of experience here. Oh, Tarman looks so slick with that weapon and shield combo. Looking good. What, that hit me? Come on. Oh! Bumped in the butt right there. Alright, he'll take care of it. Hey, no. I can you. Like that. Uh, we do need to do this thing really quick. Bam. Put your corpses. Okay. Alright, Tarman's doing really good. He's doing okay on his own. There we go. Giving him some levels mid-fight. There we go. Nice, nice. Let's 
get close real quick. Alright, time to finish him. Come on, Tarman, get the last hit. I believe in you. There we go. Nice done, Tarman. Nice done. We're supposed to butcher? Kind of want to skin, but I guess we'll butcher. Oh, yeah, we need to get a boss head. That's right. I'm gonna go butcher these guys for butcher reasons. Anyway, we do need to. The flesh of what? There's nothing on that creature. Okay. Um, getting the uh, this flesh would help anyway. Uh, were there any other things we need to do for challenges? Defeat forgotten clan members. I don't know where those are. Defeat lions. I only could. We're not going anywhere near them. Defeat wolves. They're way up north. Put your corpses. We can do that. Defeat crocodiles. We can do that. All right. Wait. We have the um, times ten again. What creates the times ten? Does anyone know how this battle pass works? I don't understand how this stuff works. We have times 10 experience again. Does anyone know why? I don't know how this works. <laughs> you have to work yourself up with your Yeah, we'll get there. How do you spend your attribute points? I spent my attribute points like this. 10, 0, 20, 0, 10, 20. 10, 0, 20, 0, 10, 20. Let's run past all these guys. They're spider friends. <laughs> You and your spider friends are no consequence to me. Um, the reasoning for the attributes is some damage into Combo Master, uh, faster healing and glutton for punishment, which is pretty good, uh, faster stam regen, and then uh, faster harvesting and beast of burden is what we chose. Spider sitting on. I just want to go to my destination. Come on now. You thought it was times 10 for the first time you did uh, the slot a day? Is it? Definitely didn't feel like it. But maybe? I don't know. I haven't been paying close attention. I mean, I've been streaming Conan every single day for a week except yesterday. So maybe I just haven't noticed. Don't you try and cripple me now. Alright, where were we, Trizak? Where were we? Where were we? Alright, Trizak. Okay, let's get the dramatic music to leave us alone. Go away, spider. Alright, dramatic music's gone. Excellent. Alright, Trizak. Trizak, you absolute buttercup. I want to pick your flowers and rub them all over me. Oh my goodness, am I gonna rip off your arms and legs and rub them on me? Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess that's apt for being Conan the Barbarian, but still, it's, it's, a, it's a little terrifying. Oh my goodness, man. That's a bit much. I mean, so long as you don't need your arms and legs, that is. Right? Um, it's a, a very Conan take. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Let's get up here and get at, get back into the good old desert. Away from this, uh, this river. Um... You had a friend that had the same thing, so maybe if you skip a day, it saves the times 10 you missed, maybe? Maybe. Um, I was like suspect, suspecting and getting suspicious that maybe it was like, if you clear out all six options, five options, whatever, then they all get 10 times again or something. I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know what the efficient way to do this is. This is the first game with a battle pass I've ever played before, ever. So I don't really know how it works. Get our auto run on. Our objective is going to be right here, the spawning pits. That's a nice open straight bit of land. Time for me to pour some tea. Oh, I've missed being able to have tea during the streams. We've had a heat wave for the past week. We've barely been having any tea. But now, it's nice and cool. It only, it only got up to like 88 today. It's great. Oh, I need that. It's only it's only got up to like 88 degrees today, which is amazing. Compared to the 115 not too long ago. Oh, is that a trap? Oh yeah, that spawns in hyenas. <laughs> I forgot. This thing spawn them in. Oh my goodness, Jake, welcome back. How have you been? Long time no see. How's life been treating you? It's hot here too. Uh today was rain though. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, we don't get rain over here. Rain's not a thing. Yeah, rain just isn't a thing. It doesn't exist in this area. 
115? Yeah, it got to 115. It was literally a record-breaking heat. It broke the rec it broke the previous record from a few years ago. I think it was four years ago. The record uh, temp was 108. And so we got to 115 this year. It's crazy. Who lives here? This is new. Who's this? It's a cute little setup. I like it. Holderkin, this is such an adorable little spot, Holderkin. With your Defy Archer 2 and Rhino named Preston. What a good name. And your Thrall Pot with, man, you just, just a little bit of everything. A little bit of putrefied meat in there, but you know. It's like it's a, a good old basic setup. Holderkin, what a cute little place here, Holderkin. Where are you, Arizona? No, California. <laughs> No, 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 I'm over in California. Uh, we don't uh, we don't have rain, we just burn. The only thing that falls from the sky is ash. If only I was joking. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we get rain. Like, we're massive droughts, it's not good, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, but hopefully that changes sometime soon. Oh, we're just gonna try and scoot for the breach over there, I think. 115 Fahrenheit in California, sheesh. I mean, technically speaking, if you're saying California, that's not that much. Um, keep in mind, Death Valley in the Mojave uh, Desert is in California. And I think the record-breaking temp for that was 142 Fahrenheit. I think is uh, what's the record-breaking record -breaking one was for uh, the Mojave Desert. Uh, let's actually grab some berries while we're here. I'm going to need these for... I didn't bring a water skin with me. Man, if only I brought my... If only I was smart enough to bring my, um... Let's not do that. Can I not loot this? Okay, okay. Uh, if only I was smart enough to bring my sickle, I could actually get more berries out of this, but I'll grab whatever berries I can. Give us, uh, hydration, so we'll take that. Fire the trebuchet? I do need to fire a trebuchet, it's true. How's it going, Raging Dragoon? Oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've seen you as well. How have you been? Looks like the treat you. Well, I hope. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, no, you know, the Mojave Desert just, like, it's right next to uh, Nevada, so a lot of people just assume it's part of Nevada. And I don't blame you for thinking it. It's Nevada is a desert. Makes sense. And uh, part of the Mojave Desert is actually within Nevada. It's not exclusively in California. Um, but Death Valley is in California. Um, and that's where the record heat was. Yeah. How's it going, Player New? How are you doing today? How's it going, Constantinus? How are you all? I'm doing well. Um, because it is not a heat wave, or at least we're leaving a heat wave. It only was like high 80s today. It was great. Uh, and I left town and went to a, a nearby town where it's like closer to water. <laughs> Try and cool off a little bit. Bit of a drag, but hey, you know, whatever. We'll take it. Okay. Uh, forgot uh, EST time for your streams. Uh, EST time for your stream for my streams is midnight. Midnight EST is my stream time. Get back here, Tarman. Don't you run away on me. I stream at mid-time Eastern Standard. Or 9 p.m. Pacific Standard, which is which is my time. Uh, Captain's Log? Oh, you got it. And also Hydrate? Indeed. Can do. Uh, let me just make sure I'm on the right path here first. Nope, I completely turned myself... I was like, wait, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Why do I feel like I'm going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. I like, had this sneaking suspicion. I was like, I don't know. This doesn't feel right. Okay, we're on the right path now. That's what happens when you're navigating at night and you're reading chat. It, it happens. It happens. Uh, hydrant, I'm on it first. Where's that crocodile go? I don't need to kill crocs. Why not? Kill him. Where are you? One! Wow, oh, I killed him too. Amazing. I'm a butcher. And it's so dark. Oh, gazelles give horns. Well, I should have known that. That makes sense. <laughs> that just should have been a no-brainer. Oh my goodness. All right, Captain's log. Star date. They're gorgeous. We are on a quest, embarking on a quest, to go and acquire more dragon horn. We have five laying back home, but we need twenty to be continue our advancement through sorcery. 
Our objective today is to go and take down the Red Mother, the mother of all red dragons. A daunting task, yes. One that Tarman most likely will not survive, indeed. However, it is one we must take. The sorcery. Everything must be done. The sorcery. And log. Let's find out what we do. Like, I, I don't know if we're actually gonna beat her. I'll be honest. I think we'll get close. Oh, man, I just one shot this guy like it's nothing. Give me your give me your head. Hello? Okay. Yeah, give me that. Um, I don't think he's going to survive the Red Mother. Um, I mean, he is level 5, I think. Is he now at level 5? Yeah, he's level 5, nearly level 6. I mean, we, we could, if we kill the um, Red Dragon babies first, we might be able to get him up to level 10 prior to beginning combat with the Red Dragon Mother. And if we get that done, he might actually survive. Also, if I can get more stake running. Um, yeah, we can just do that right now. Let's go get, let's make some stake real quick. I need a tree to whack. There's a tree. Your tree. Uh, you must ask, what crimes did you commit to become exiled? Oh, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was a long time ago since we saw it. It was at the beginning of the stream. We can always... No, we can't look it up. I made the character prior to starting the stream. That's right. Just to make sure that everything was working properly before we started. Break all this stuff. But how's it going, Bamboozle? How are you doing today? Welcome back. What kind of tools are you, uh, do you have? I'm currently using star metal tools and a dragon bone shield. Uh, we really, we really managed to upgrade our equipment here. We're doing very well. Don't go the wrong way. It's the right way. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Let's get closer here until we're not allowed to place this, and then we'll set up camp there. Yeah. So we'll get into the unnamed city. Go from there. It's a typo. It should read Conan X Isles <laughs> dash between. Um, it's little islands where all his ex-girlfriends go. Uh-oh. Some of those would be very dangerous. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming once the ground cover changes is where we can no longer place down stuff, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Building's not allowed there. Okay. Make a cute little setup here. Uh, we'll make a hide one. I like the hide ones better than just the pooler. Two in here. Begin the cooking of steak. Set our spawn point here. So we can come back and hit Tarman if you die. Yeah, he's already gone through half of his steaks already. Man just eats and eats and eats. The shield back king head. We're going to need to go plant that down. It's going to be good. Fine orb effects. Fire trebuchet. Destroy the Abyssal Remnant. The Abyssal Remnant's the, the snake worm thing in the, the sewer dungeon, right? If so, we can go do that. But how many thralls do you have? Um, he has a fair amount of interns. Yeah, we got a few interns. Um, we've lost two interns, though. We lost Caitlyn, and we lost Tarman the First. Uh, Tarman the First actually was a high enough level to have earned a name, too. And we just... We didn't make it home in time for him to be given his name. So, he will forever be known as Tarman the First. So, it is unfortunate that that is the case, but it is what it is. It's very unfortunate. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm so happy that today was not a, a super hot day. It was only high 80s. We didn't even hit the 90 degrees today, which is great. It was like 31 Celsius, I guess would be. For those of you that don't like using the Fahrenheit system, which is most of the world. Um, it was about 31 C, what, what it got up to today, which is great. Way better than before. I don't even know. What is, um... Actually, let's take a look at this. What's, um... Let me get the conversion up here while we're waiting for this to go. Temperature conversion, Celsius to Fahrenheit. What is 115? 46 C. Holy jeez, that is terrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, because that was, what, Tuesday? Tuesday was 46 Celsius, 115 Fahrenheit. That was bad. I've only dealt with that temperature a couple of other times in my life. That was horrible. Because I don't have air conditioning. I don't have air conditioning. Because it's not supposed to get that hot over here. So, I think it's like only one-third of buildings in my area actually have air conditioning. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> not not good. Yeah. Actually, 
Is it, aren't we able to tell him to do emotes? Behavior, emote, choose emote. Blacks. No. Sit. Norman? Sit. No? Okay. I tried. Is there anything else we want to do before we go in? Um, you know, we can make a box real quick. Oh, we need a building hammer for boxes. I keep forgetting the building hammer does everything in this game now. Um, oh, I don't have enough wood. Oh, I dropped all my wood in there. I don't have enough flying. I have to make it manually, I guess. Freaking fun. How many people can follow you? Um, it's been a while since you played. One, normally. Two, if you want. In authority, right here, War Party, if you get 40 points in authority, or sorry, 20 points in authority, uh, maximum followers are increased by one. However, their statistics no longer, uh, your statistics no longer improve their damage, which is fine. But you can have two. You can have two people follow you if you want. Um, give me half that. And box. Go ahead and we can dump some stuff in here so we can lighten our load. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. This, don't need this, don't need this, don't need that. Or this one or that one. Do that one or that one or that one or that one. Okay. And we'll just chalk him full. I want his whole inventory full of steak. We're not going until he at least has a full inventory stake. <laughs> he needs it. I think he can have four zombies if you um if you want instead. Wait, what? I haven't played with zombies yet, but we can do it. But four? That's crazy. <laughs> He's having four people. Zombies must be not quite as strong as thralls then. Otherwise that'd be unbalanced. Alright, I think we're about ready. We'll let the rest of this cook here. Um, go ahead and we will put a little chest. Just call us up. Camp. Um, camp is right there. Tarman, take this. Let's go. Follow me, Tarman. We got things to do, and hopefully you don't die. <laughs> if anyone else needs meat, they can pick it up there at the entrance. If we can get some withered skulls while we're here, I'll take them. Oh man, it's really good. Good, this is level six now. Farmer's really getting in there with some damage. Uh, we'll swap over to him doing um, a rule later. We can, we can give him gruel later uh, to increase his strength damage, but I care more about him actually surviving in the first place. So making sure that he's getting uh, ample amounts of food. Oh, he doesn't... Oh, uh, Tarmy, give me the steaks. You literally don't need steaks. We're going to make some gruel for you. He literally doesn't need steaks. He has 100% default stamina. Uh, vitality gain? That's insane! This guy's crazy! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, I don't have a sickle on me. Well, this is dumb. I don't need a sickle. This won't be a problem. What am I thinking? Okay, we have to get a bunch of gruel now. The old-fashioned way. This sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Mistakes are made. That's funny. Uh, you'll have to be fully corrupted, though. Missing half of your health stamina. Oh, okay. So does so it requires the uh, the corrupted tier four authority perk. That makes sense. Okay, cool though. That's cool. How's it going, RTD two? How are you doing today? Welcome back. How have you been, Captain's Log? Captain's Log. Star date unknown. We are embarking on a journey to fight the Red Mother, the mother of all red dragons. For we need to acquire more dragon horn for our own sorcery. However, in preparation to do so, we found one key mistake that I have made. Tarman, 
is already a badass and does not need to get his stamina to increase as he levels, but his strength instead. We need to go and get him gruel. We'll downgrade his meal experience, but it's all for the better. It's all for his survival and for him being a great intern. Let's make sure he's filled. Yes? Yes. And log. Let's get over here. Let's go get this to him. That's what he needs. Lots of attributes have alternate perks if he corrupts. Yeah, I haven't really looked into them. I don't even know. Did you say he has 100% chance of vitality? Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that before. This is the first time I've ever seen someone with 100% chance of vitality. The first time I've ever seen, ever seen that. I've never seen that before. So I just assumed. So I didn't look at it. I just gave him 14. Or plus 14 from the food. So putting the plus 14 over here, I'll put this at 86, which will be a good extra chance for him getting um, additional strength damage. Good. But like, seriously. So if we grab the gruel. We grab the gruel. Uh, we see that he is plus 14 on vitality. We'll go and we'll... No, that's my... Oh, yeah, my ambrosia. Wait, does that give him a perk bonus? Does that give him a, a bonus? No, okay, he doesn't get the bonus from that. I just accidentally gave him the ambrosia. Well, he's healing fast. You know what? That's the last time you ever get that. Uh, so we give him the gruel, right? We wait for his health. Jeez, his health's growing fast. Uh, so he's got this. Actually, does... Hold on, let's take a look. Yeah, so now it's on strength. So now he should be getting strength faster. So he's only gotten three levels of strength, leveling up six times. So he's only so far gotten it 50% of the time. Not ideal. We definitely want more. So we're going to wait until this is all done here. Then we'll jump back in. Yeah, I didn't think 100% was possible either. I had no idea. Uh, you're great. You just got uh, Rock Rove done. Rock Rove done. And ESO. Nice. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but nice. I'm assuming it's a dungeon, correct? Is it a dungeon in Elder Scrolls Online? Or no? I really need to go to the north and get a better thrall. Uh, either one from... We can, we'll do an excursion later, but we either need to go get a thrall. Um, there's like some, there's a thrall here that we can get. There's a couple of thrall named thralls in here we could get. Um, there's the Sumerian Berserker right here. We can get... Or there's a couple of named uh, guys up here. There's one like... Um, there's one like right here, I think. Where the other one is. There's another one somewhere up here. <laughs> not, not sure. Um, here's your gruel. Congratulations, you've been downgraded to gruel. I'll carry the rest of your gruel, I guess. Or maybe we just leave it in here? I don't know. I'll carry the rest of his gruel. That's fine. Um, the relic hunters are the best in the game right now? Wait, really? Seriously? What, what? Why? When? What? How did that happen? Uh, pop all the... Need this. Have plenty back home. Uh, stone. Drop that off. Wood. We can drop that off. I'll hold the bones. Mm, I think that's fine. We can hold on to everything else, I guess. Get the bugs. It's fine. Oh. Unlock that. If anyone needs anything out of here, they can grab it. Although I do want to have the uh, the shield back king head. Like five pounds. I'll carry it myself. The rest is up for grabs. If anyone needs them while they're here walking into the unnamed city, um, I'll even leave a chunk of steak pre-cooked. With the, so with the un update, the relic hunters are the best. So can you can you elaborate a little bit onto why they're the best? Do they have like the best growth rate? Do they have the best starting health? Do they? What what makes them the best now? Didn't used to be. Hey, he leveled up. He's now level seven. Man, we are crushing these guys. Like not even close to what it was like before when we were here last. On oh, use wither skulls. With oh yes, there's a wither skull. We need wither skulls for sorceries. The more we can get, the better because they're used for the reagent pouch. The leather, uh, the leather pouch. We need to, we need to use that. Um, so any skeletons we can find, we'll still go for that. Always use those. Uh, let's head south. This way. Also, Tarman, um, what are you looking at? You're, so you're level seven. Yeah, we'll probably get to level ten before we go there. Perfect. He's already gotten another. <laughs> got two more points of vitality. 
He was at 11 before. Uh, he's got 4 in strength now. Good. Good, good. Do this way. Um, most health and uh, hits almost the hardest. Really? The Berserkers hit harder, but have significantly less health. Wow. Wow. Wow, okay, so the meta's really changed then. That's incredible. What level is your Tarman? My Tarman is set. My Tarman is level 7. And he's a he's a low tier uh, tier four. He, he's a low low level tier four. He's not a good tier four. But he's fine. Who's that? I swore I just heard growling. He's not the best uh, by a long shot. <laughs> he's not the best, but yeah, like he's he's good enough. It's someone that's right next to our house, so we're able to pick him up regularly. Um, but at some point, I want us to go do an excursion in the north and go grab some uh, higher quality ones. Oh. Ow. Get him, Tarman. Do it. I believe in you. Get him. Come on, Tarman. Good man. With his skull. Now with his skulls. Man, why can't this sit on my back? Oh, they're just lying on the ground. No wonder I didn't see him. Oh, my goodness, there's a bunch of them. Well, you know what? We need more skulls. And we need Tarman to get as many levels as possible before we start fighting the Red Mother. But it's, you know, it's still beneficial for us to fight him, so I'll do it all the same. Oh, my goodness, this, this server. The server. We're banding. Don't mind me. There we go. Nice, we're getting there. You have level 16 and he has over 4k hit points. Althral's got nerfed. Yeah, Althral's got nerfed. Thank goodness. They needed to be. You know, in a game where you get to be a cool barbarian in the land of Conan and every single Thrall is worth three or four of you is a little disappointing. You know? Oh my goodness, you have 500 skulls already. We were farming these earlier. I'm so glad we got them so quickly. It's great. Go around the area. I want to go over there. Need skulls for the skull throne? Actually, we need scrolls. We need skulls to make uh, pouches. To make handbags. We need skulls for handbags. Uh, any excess ones can go to the skull throne. But right now, we need, to, we need them to go to that. What the hell is this game looks great? How's it going, Emrys? Welcome. How are you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, we're playing some Conan Exiles. We've been playing it all week. It's been really bad. I got addicted to this game. Uh, we'll be going back to playing our normal games on Monday through Thursday, as we normally do. We'll play. We'll, we'll be playing Fallout 4 and Dark Souls 3, but Conan Exiles today. Just like two days ago and the five days before that, in, all in a row. <laughs> uh, we did Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday streams of Conan Exiles uh, this week, and now Saturday again. Um... I'm going this way. We might go kill the green one instead. Is that a Gucci bag? Um, not nah, skull. Nah, it's a skull bag. Yeah. Maybe we just killed the green dragon instead of the red mother. There's more open space here for us to play in. I don't see the green dragon yet. I see the babies. Each baby gives us one horn, so it's not too bad. It's level eight. Oh, that's not. Don't do that. Um. It's definitely getting there. Hey, Aerobos Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. It's good having you here. Oh my god, uh, oh my god Fallout 4 and Dark Souls 3, some of your favorite games got a Fallout now? Alright, well, looks like I sold them. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, no, so we're currently playing Fallout 4 on survival difficulty with no vats, which is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying that one a lot. I'm getting trounced often. Um, and then Dark Souls 3, we're pretty far through Dark Souls 3. I think we're like past halfway. No, I think we're past two thirds of the way, but we have all the DLC we still have to do. Get him, Tarman! Get the bleeds! Get the bleeds! Come on! Oh, tail! We don't have him with a shield this, uh, with a mace this time, so he's not causing uh, sunders to get through the dragon hive. A little obnoxious, but the bleeds stack up into true damage. 
Actually, you do, like, no damage at all. I'm stuck. The constant problem with Conan is actually getting stuck with an enemy. It's until our last Harmon died. Them dodges on. Are there reserves for Dungeon 3? Yeah, they are. We've been invaded, and I've invaded... Did I? Wait, I invaded someone, didn't I? I think... I think... No, I've never invaded someone. I've only been invaded. I need to go and invade someone. I think we have, like, 12, um... Cracked Red Eye Orbs, I think. I need to do that. What was this? I think it was the... If that's what we were using last time? Yeah, one horn. Did he miss Brimstone? What? Also... Oh... Wow, look at that. We got 36 brimstone from that guy. There's the one horn, so we're now at six total horns. We need 14 more. Or just that big dragon right there. Should drop enough. The baby's only dropped one. Might be up the hill a bit to the west. Ah, yeah, sometimes... I think you're right. I think sometimes he does path up, up to the west. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Looks like he came back, though, so we're good. Come on, dragon. Up here. Armin to me. Tarman to me. We want a nice flat surface to fight him on. I really should have given Tarman a better weapon, too. We could have made another one of these ancient Lemarian axes. We've gone full Lemarian armor except for a shield, because Lemarians don't have a shield, apparently. There's no Lemarian shield. So many bleeds. Bleeds at 12 stack. 13 stack. Keep it going. 14 stack. I need to get more stamina here. Okay, he put it up to 16. Good. More stamina. We're at 20 stack, which is maximum stacks is 20. Look at this health just tick down. It's so good. All right, level up. Uh, what's that put you at now, Tarman? Not behavior. Um... Nine. Didn't get a strength there. Got another vitality, though. His health is crazy high. What was it uh, you were saying? I actually missed it. Oh, yeah, I know. It was 4k. That's so good. Level 16 at 4k. He might... No, he's not going to manage to get to 4k, even at the rate he's going with his vitality gain. There's no way. Because his bonus vitality is 16 here. He's only giving him 1.3, so he would have to level up. Yeah, no. So he starts off with 1k by default if he had no vitality. So yeah, he'd have to have 30 points in here. That won't happen. He'll max out before then. The Relic Hunter does have more. Interesting. Um, I know of a good couple of places to go find Relic Hunters. Um, none of them are, like, super close to us, but they're not too hard to get to. Bit of a trek. Not too bad. Oh, and FYI, if you max out your authority and have only one thrall, it, uh, doubles their health? What? I'm sorry, what? Oh my goodness. So by uh, your active followers have increased attributes, it means it doubles the attributes they have? Are you serious? Is that what that means? There are relic hunters in the unnamed city? Yeah, yeah, there are a couple over here. Uh, but I don't want to go and... I didn't bring anything to... Oh, jeez. Nope. Come on. Go. Hold aggro. Let's go. I don't have many of these left. I need to keep one on me at all times. Plus 20 to all stats, which doubles health for the one you got. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Get him, Carmen. Uh, I need to... Uh, put my weapon back on here. Woo! No. Nope. Alright, Carmen. Begin the pounding. Rush him. Get the bleed stacks going. Stacks at four right now. Back off, it's my stamina. Man, I need to drop some weight. My stamina regen is actually pretty bad right now. I can't put boxes or anything down in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to drop some stuff out of my inventory. We might drop some of the dragon bone we can. We really don't need this much dragon bone. And it's probably weighing us down the most. Alright, babies are done. 
Okay. It feels like you, uh, they really increased the number of builds uh, with this update. You love it? Yeah, the, the amount of the, like variety you have now is pretty amazing. Uh, bone is the heaviest. 78, holy. Bunch of leather, I do not need this leather. I've got so much leather at home, it's insane. 25 is a stack here. I don't need this much bone. What can I use bone for? Do I need this? I have 2,000 and change bone back at home. We can make bone meal out of it. We can use it for bone shields. We need it for reagents. And we need it if we want to summon bone boys with cursed bones. Or making bone torches. Yeah, we don't need this much. Drop that. Put it back into the lightweight. So we have full stamina recovery. Perfect. Now we're talking. I had to think that through for a second there. <laughs> like, make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, Tarman, you have full health? He's at full health. Tarman, what level are you? 10? Not yet. We could push to try and get him to level 10. Yogg likes bones, but they don't need that much. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yogg uses bones for the bone cleaver. That's right, that's right. We could try and level him up, but nothing's going to level him up that quickly. I'm just worried about his health, honestly. I'm worried that this dragon's going to crush him into dust. We've already lost one Tarman. <laughs> I don't want to lose another. Uh, we can always try and leave if things get bad. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go kill this thing. This is what needs to happen. We gotta kill this. Alright, Tarman. You grab aggro. I'll follow behind. Alright. Oh, oh my goodness, okay. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of damage. Does this thing breathe fire? I don't remember if this one breathes fire. Is that me? Oh! Oh, I have no stamina. I rolled too early. But the punishment is active. Nope. I guess I'll, I guess I'll tank. Can I actually block a, a basic hit? Step it. Can I block one? Can I block that? No. No, it just flat block knocks me over, okay. Oh, I can't. Nope, I can't block that though. So I can't block the tail or the um shark. Not always ready for that, I'll be honest. Armin, I need you to take less damage. Your health is lower than the bosses. Yeah, Armin's taking too much damage. Armin, I need you to take less damage, or I have to do more damage. Oh, I keep thinking he's gonna jump forward, not gonna do the roll. Over here, mister. Keep getting him, Tarman. Oh, he's not going for me. He's supposed to go for me. Okay, we've got 5k down. Tarman is not doing well, though. But Tarman, I need you to move over there. Tarman, get over there. I'm going to solo for a hot second here, Tarman. You just go over there. And you stop. All right, I'm going to just hold them. I'm going to hold the attention for a hot second here, Tarman, you heal. Okay? Tarman, I'll get you back in here in a minute. I just want... We're not losing you here. Ooh, okay. Oh. Okay, hold on. I need some stamina back here. Uh, so let me get this straight. I don't want to lose my thrall. Is going to... Uh, I'm going to get the biggest boss. Yeah, I'm going to go against the biggest boss in the game. Make, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, make sure it says... Tarman! Start fighting. Uh, Tarman, I need you over there. Oh, that's the tail. No, it isn't. Right, Tarman, go up there. Okay, it's back on me again. No, Tarman, stop. 
stop and just stay there and heal. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Charger, you're gonna shout at me? Alright, that's fine. I'll get a full combo on you. Take some bleeds. Charge? You got nothing. Oh, no, it's not charge. Oh, I keep thinking this one they're gonna charge. Oh, you trick me with that move every time. That one's gotta be the head, okay. Full combo. Oh, oh I did not roll in time for that. Okay. Oh. Leg. You get two. I can't do full, full combo for bleeds. We can probably do three hits and start a bleed. But we can only get one bleed at a time. Oh, I whipped it. Whoa. Stay behind the tail. Or stay away from the tail, rather. Oh, jeez. Ow. Okay, so this one doesn't have fire breathing. This is great. Unless it just decided not to use fire breath this whole time. This is great. Is that fire breath from the, uh... From the bone dragon? When we kill the bone dragon? Oh my goodness, that fire breath is a nightmare. Carmen, how you feeling? Buddy, how you doing? Oh, he's almost full health. Perfect. Get back in here, Tarman. We've held on long enough. Let's do this thing, buddy. Get some big old bleeds going. Stack them up. Bolt. Ow. Blood for punishment is such a good perk. Half of my uh, thirst, by the way, so we gotta go get this sword soon. I can back off and take berries if he aggroes. Uh, what? It's a perk. Okay, it's below half health. Uh oh, I'm stuck in his tummy. That's not good. Go back off for a second here. Back, there we go. Full thirst. I just don't have to think about it for the rest of the fight. Because doing a bunch of actions, like all the rolling and dodging and attacking and whatnot, um, causes us to get thirsty. And the last thing we need to do is deal with that. So you're collecting resources on your Conan game and you have uh, mostly been listening. You know what's uh, you know it's the green dragon, not the red dragon? Order? Yes! Yeah, yeah. I totally forgot that this one was here. But I remember this is the green dragon. Which is great, because there's no, swing for me later. no fire. Because uh, the red dragon is over in the, oh, geez, in the spawning pool. Red dragon's in the spawning pool. Uh, I just forgot about this. I forgot this one couldn't breathe fire. I assumed the old dragon, it's like adult dragons could. Because the bone one could. What? Oh, it's like fell on the floor. Well, that's no good. Don't do that. I've disappeared. You can't find me. It's magic. That's the kind of magic I want, though. Fine, little man. You going to bed? You out of here? Are you reset? But for punishment, I still feel so it's ridiculously broken. Like, I get hit, but 15 seconds later, I didn't get hit anymore. I don't need any healing potions or anything, I just have to straight. Moodman's back. Welcome back, Moodman. <laughs> Alright, we got her. Actually, I don't know if this dragon is a man or a woman. I know that the other one is a woman. I'm assuming this one is too. With all the baby dragons flying around. Or that were lying around. But I don't know anymore. Come far, man. 1,700 and change. Tried to dodge it. Well, bye, Tarman. Come on, Tarman. We've got this. I'm getting cocky. I need to back off. Where's that half health? Oh, we got her. Woo! GG's. Give me that dragon horn. Oh my goodness, that was great. So we just got, what, nine dragon horn out of that? And we have 
five back home. So that puts us at um, 17. We just need three more. Excellent. Excellent. Come on, Tharman. Let's go. Now I just need to go and take out the ones by the Red Mother. And we'll have all the bones that we need for our sorcery. Excellent. Then we'll go home and do some sorcery. I want to keep unlocking things. I also want to check out this Abyssal Demon thing that we can we can summon. Go check that out. Go check that one out too. Dude, what's your uh, ghoul at? We got plenty. Get that. Um, level 10. What's his perk? What perk did he get? Oh my goodness, it's relentless. You got the relentless perk. Your follower is incredibly tough and stubborn, granting them high vitality and resistance to knockdown effects. Wow. Alright. Alright, Tarman. Okay. <laughs> this guy, he's got 22 vitality. Um, I don't know if we can take those guys yet. At least not with your health being where it is. Got some aloe extract. Aloe, aloe extract. No, not take. I can use here real quick. Oh man, that heals him so much faster. Let's we'll, we'll let him drain these three extracts. Huh? Can you not use this last one? Weird. Okay, so that was a thing. <laughs> the, the three potions I gave him turned into six, so that was, that was a thing. At this rate, he's going to be healthy. He's going to be real healthy, it's true. Oh, by the way, Zaldor, uh, I would like to both thank you and curse you because I picked up Kona last week after watching you play, um, and it's become your new favorite game sync. Uh, your new favorite time sync? Perfect. I'm glad. That's my goal. When I'm playing these games, I want you guys to have just as much fun as me if you can. That's awesome. Uh, so then, Jake, where uh, where have you set up your base? Where have you set up your base on the map? Where have you set up, and uh, what weapon uh, what weapon combo do you like? Are you an axe guy, a spear guy, a sword guy, hammers, two-handed, one-handed, bow? I want you know I really am curious if bow builds are actually viable in this game now. I feel like they might be now. Yeah, because going through accuracy. Oh, this might be better. 10% additional armor penetration when carrying a medium or light load. That's nice. Requires you to be a medium or light load, though. Um, arrows and thrown weapons travel twice as quickly. Whoa. And deal 15% more damage to distant targets. Okay, so you have to be a range. I think precision strike would actually be better. Quick footed, jogging, sprinting, jumping, swimming, and climbing cost less stamina and are faster. Wow. That's. That makes. That actually. That's really good, because that makes it actually viable to do ranged in PvP if you're faster at um, all mobility actions. And then, okay, cool, you still get to double jump if you do that. Rolling thrust after dodging, your next damage attack has 25% increased penetration, and your next swing costs no stamina. That's good, but the extended leap is better. Extended leap's better. Mace and shield, and once I load up, uh, I'll tell you where you're located. Excellent. Mason Shield. Good choice. Good choice. That was my main way of playing um, until I, when I first played this game, was uh, Mason Shield. Until I found the Ancient Lemurian Axe. Fell in love with this axe. This axe is amazing. This axe does so much. Uh, it's a high pen, uh, high damage weapon. It's a good legendary that you can make. Um, however... When we can, once we have some fragments of power, if we can get the um, the venom axe, that's the better one. It's the best one we can have. It sunders. It's just too nice. The sunder is so good. That's why I actually prefer. So I prefer having mace and shield on my thralls because the mace and uh, one-handed axe, one-handed mace and one-handed axe, have the same attack pattern. They have the same attack pattern, or I guess maybe not with heavy attacks. Uh, also, let's drop this. This is too heavy. Oh, oh still not enough. Um, we can drop some bone. Drop. Get our light load back. Um, but uh, Sunder on on Thralls is really good. And then I do bleed on uh, with my weapon. Kind of mix them together. So, okay, we took out a big guy. Can we take out her? Especially if we don't have her friends. No, her friend saw us first. So that's awkward. Go over here. 
The Rella Hunters are coming after us. We can fight the Relic Hunters before, um, wow, managed to dodge that, nice. You take him, I'll take her. Hunter Seeker. Jill Bash. Down. Keep her down. Oh my goodness, Tarman's almost killed him in the same amount of time, it's amazing. Ooh, some silver stone. I, do. Um, I really want to. I'd rather skin her, but we're going to butcher her. Wow, I don't get anything. Doesn't cast as butchering a creature. Noxious. What about him? Ooh, brimstone. There we go. I was going to say, I'm supposed to be butchering corpses. What's going on here? Drop that and drop this. Let's see. I actually have this in my hotbar. There we go. Nice. Um, also, the only DLC you picked up was Isla Sipta, um, just because of the sale. That makes sense. And again, the Isla Sipta, I think, is really the only one that makes any like true sense to grab, strictly because the Isla Sipta DLC gives you more content. Not just cosmetics as well, but actually gives you content. But it just seems like the better choice to me. Yeah, okay, so what's the green dragon to kill? I'm going to drop the dragon bones. It's too heavy. All right, Seeker Ophelia. Get in there, Tarman. Oh, she's got a spear, that's dangerous. Oh, she's got no chance. Remember when we struggled fighting these guys? Oh, I didn't see those guys back there, that's awkward. Um, Tarman, you can sort this out. I'll go take out the friends. Take out the- oh, no! Tarman, you're supposed to keep Ophelia off me. Sorry, I did pull a lot of aggro, it's true. It's true, I did pull a lot of aggro. Go. Oh. Some dice on her. Oh, you just got it. Alright, Tarman. Let's pop in here real quick. Don't mind my hits, they're just love packs. Don't mind don't you mind me. That's from bleeding. Nice. It's a slower death though. What you got? Got a heart? Yes. Hey, we'll skin her this time. Special. Alright, what we get? What's a treasure? Gold coins? Silver coins and bars, gold coins and, go and silver coins. Perfect. I will use those for all chemical base. Let's go ahead and drop this disgusting flesh. That the <laughs> human hide. That's a lot of human hide. We'll drop that. Um, future meat. Four sided dice. Yeah, we got some four sided dice. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and we got a uh, heart of a hero. This thing does expire eventually, which is unfortunate, but we can get it in our a freezing box soon enough. Breathing potions. Iron hatchet. Don't need. 50 okay? No, 50% is not okay. Um, I can give you some more. Ooh. That's enough. Puts me under encumbrance. Let's go. Um, you know, daggers and short swords and katanas and SK loss of agility? I did not know that short swords, but that makes sense. I, I was assuming katanas and daggers did, but I did not assume that short swords would. That's awesome. That also makes sense as to like the uh, the swing bonus, right? Um, kill an enemy with swing, uh, or uh, after a roll, whatever it was. Ability, uh, the rolling thrust. This one makes sense if you're playing with those weapons. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Uh, you just sneak in there. Uh, <laughs> that was a goat critter. Uh, you just sneak in here to lurk, and one of the first things you hear is, "I'm going to skin her, but I would rather butcher her." Good, good thing this it's in context. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you know, I really should. I'm, I'm kind of Skinner, but really, I, I really should just butcher her, you know? Like, let's be honest to everyone. You know, there's the Red Mother. Let's not mess with her. If we just kill her three children. We should have enough dragon horn to get along. Jeez, she, she's bigger than the green dragon, isn't she? I'll take this stuff and I'll dump stuff. Actually, I don't think I needed any of it. All that stuff is garbage. 
In there, Tarman, I believe in you. You can probably one. Uh, you can probably solo him at this point. Uh, let's see. Stone. Drop the stone. Just holler if you need some help, Tarman. I uh, don't need this. Um, do, 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 do. Honestly, I might just. No, we can drop this spell. You got no chance, mate. Um, definitely keeping the steel, though. Oh. Can't really use the exotic flesh, honestly. There's too much back at home already. Um, it's just like a massive fight going outside, and I'm just like looking for an inventory. Let's drop this one. Oh, they're... Oh, man, he's not quite going to win. Okay, it's e they evenly trade blows. He's not quite going to be able to win. Close, but not quite. I'll jump in. I'll give an assist. But how are you doing today, Critter? How are you doing? Ow. Come down. I got my horn. Oh, I won't be able to drop inventory any, uh, drop below encumbrance anymore. Yeah. You good? Uh, probably be a bit quiet today. I think you might uh, head back to bed and watch some more uh, from there after your fallout sh uh, shelter's task is done. Nice. Yeah. No worries. Enjoy. I mean, it's a Saturday night. <laughs> or Sunday early morning, depending on where you are in the world. But, uh... It's the weekend. You're supposed to just relax. That's the whole point. Maybe get a couple of projects done, you know. But, like, all in all, relaxing is what's important. Alright, we'll kill these two babies over here, and we're out of here. Because we have 13. We just need to get to 15 horns, and we're done. In there, Carmen. Man, I'm gonna have to go repair this weapon. It's taking a beating. You'll swing for me later. Okay. Some bleeds on there. Good job, Darman. Drop them bleeds. So we're just not going to. We're just gonna keep everything we require. Except maybe the leather. Eh, we can take it back all of this. No reason not to. On Tarman, almost. Nope. Okay, and one last one to get. Once this one's done, we are out of here. And it's time for more sorcery. Yes. I do like how fast we're able to start to do damage now. It's going to be real important the last time we were down here. And we did go from a an ancient, uh, ancient axe, which is what he's using right now, up to the ancient Lemurian axe. Oh, silver. Uh, I'll always take silver coins and use them. I really, really want to see them increase um, like the use of the coin in this game. I really want to see them increase that. Like, seriously. There we go. Stacks on 10. That's it. We're out of here. Time to go home. Yeah, I'd really like if they did more with the coins. Because right now, it's just... The bazaar that you can buy stuff at is like... Meh. It's not a lot of good stuff there. They could make it really good. They could also like put in a couple of different areas that people could like get stuff from. Right? Like um have to be a couple of uh like small merchant outposts people can go to to buy equipment throughout the throughout the world. Right? Uh, it's only like uh, over in Sephamaroo and in uh Buccaneers Bay that you can actually get anything. That'd be nice. But, uh, eh, you know, it's not a focus for him. But I think it would be good. Just because you can mint coins, too. Memory serves. I'm pretty sure you can get a, uh... Right, is that thing something you can do with the, um... 
casting bench. Yeah, you can you can make coins. You can mint coinage. Old coin mold. Since you can make coins, it'd be really nice if you could actually, you know, do something with them. <laughs> right? Most of the time you just take the coins and you grind them up and turn them into alchemical base. But if you could actually buy useful stuff with them, that'd be amazing. Because then there's more choice that you need to make between using the coinage for alchemical base or farming alchemical base in other ways. Uh, your base is basically sitting on the line of I and J and just a hair above five sector on the cliffs above uh, Tarman's birth. Wait, what? I mean, I and J. Oh, you're, you're like right up here? You're right here? Is that where you're at? Shiny man. Go kill a quick shiny man or two. I'm get a quick shiny man or two. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Tarman, uh, I'm gonna have to leave this to you, Tarman. I can't see anything. <laughs> Don't you hit me. I'm gonna climb for a hot second. Grab my torch. Okay, now I can see. He's gotten one down. Oh, I can't climb that far out. Okay. It's okay, I'll just join in. Break down the skelly bones. Nice, level 11. Got that guy. Oh. Skulls, some arrows, some steel, oh, bones. Ooh, silk and steel and vem braces. Nice. No skulls, though. All right. Uh, we are not near the entrance, but we are near an exit. Not over here, where the little campsite is, but we're over here. Uh, yep, you're right there. Oh, nice. This is a really good spot to be at, Jake. Uh, have you seen the new Ghost Bear pet? It's only on Xbox and PS, you think? Really? No, I've not seen it. That's awesome, though. Let's get out of here. Uh, but, Jake, I like that area. That region that you're in right now, it's really, really good. It's a really good region for getting stuff. Got thralls right now. I guess I could take this guy out. You got thralls over there. Uh, you're like in between two sectors the uh, jungle and the desert. It's really nice. Thank you. Right, if you can move over there, please. Holy moly, what is this guy? We got ivory arrows, glass, crystal, steel, three tusks, and a hardened steel pick. Jeez. And 13 witch fire powder. Nice. Wow, that guy was a jackpot. <laughs> okay. Well, all right then. That was the thing. It's because the image of the bear does not load. Oh, in which you have to make... Yeah, 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 that's right. The problem that they're having is a lot of meshes aren't... Um aren't loading properly in the console's versions, as as it is with any release, right? They they always end up getting everything sorted on PC, and they're like, it looks like it's fine, and then they push it to the consoles, and the consoles are like, um, uh, the, we have a, there's a problem, and it's like a big one. <laughs> it's like a big problem, I can't see anything, or this is a big problem, it crashes because of X, Y, or Z. That's just a constant issue for consoles. We should run through here and get the um, get the name on of this zone over here. Yeah, you're currently on a quest to acquire um, a buttload of ingots, steel, iron to make uh, your breaking wheel. Nice. 
start getting some thralls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so from where you are, right here. All right, Jake. So from where you are, right here, all along look out point. Look or look. Yeah, look out point. That one. All around. So all around this side here on the eastern side, and then up on the cliffs at the bottom side. That's where a bunch is. I'm living over on the side over here. Um, so you got a bunch of iron right there. If you need even more iron, um, this refuge, where is it? If you need even more iron, there's another cave somewhere. Here has a bunch, but that, that's where I get all of mine at. I get about, I think it's 2,000 with base tool, basic tools and about almost 5,000 with uh, my uh, star metal tools. So like once you have iron tools, you get Plenty. It's like 2,000. It takes a long time to burn through. The respawn rate is usually faster than uh, your burn rate if you only have two furnaces running. Uh, but there's more kind of scattered throughout. Um, other places you can get a bunch of iron. It's kind of far from where you are, though. Uh, it's all the way down here by the oasis. There's a bunch of iron in this section here around the oasis. There's a bunch of good thralls here in Sinner's Refuge. Um, there's another big, like, load of iron around here. Bunch of aloe up here. I don't really do much in this area north of you. Uh, there's a whole host of coal. From where you are, if you go north to where the where the, the river is, south side of that river, along that cliff face, uh, south side of the river north of you, has just a ridiculous amount of coal. That's where you get all your coal. That's where I get all my coal. <laughs> Where I'll get my all my coal from. Skulker's end. Oh, there's a sorcerer over here. Come into the light, shy shadow. Oh, he doesn't have a scroll for me. This man too. Uh, nothing that useful. Bummer. Drink your blood. Don't don't worry. Tarman's got it sorted. Unless we get crippled, that's gonna be bad. Don't. Oh, that's bad. Ow. 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 How's it going, Comatex? How are you doing today? Welcome. Hydrate. You got it. I'll do it in just a minute here. Uh, Tarman's distracted over there. Uh, he might want to help me out. I've got a lot of people after me. Oh, the cripple effect from uh, bows. So good. So glad that they've added that. Let me check these boxes real quick. What was that? Let's go. Yeah, I'm away. Didn't look like it. Nothing instantly jumped out at me. Oh, oil. Oil flask. It's a good area to get thralls over here. Not top tier thralls, but good ones. Yeah, you can get a bunch of like low level thralls over here. It's water. Perfect. Let's get going. Um, everywhere up north is iron. Yes, true. There's iron just everywhere up north. It's insane. Okay, you guys. You want to fight? <laughs> you sure? I have to avenge my friends now. No, you don't. Ooh, water orb. I'll take that. Water orbs are good. I'll take the chest piece. Nope. I'll take the orb. Absorbs good. I just got that chest piece, so I don't need that. Eight. Oh. Nine. And. Ten. Hooray! We did the thing. Alright, drop, drop, and drop. Done. Oh, and also all this future for me. I don't need any of this. Holy moly, it's so much. Okay. 25 pieces of gross things you do not want to carry. Nice. There we go. Challenges. Butcher people. Repeat. Prey animals. Okay. Yeah. Um, hydrate. There we go. Let's do hydrate. Oh, that was the last of the tea. I need to pour more. One more tea. There's still some nice straight line trajectory here. Uh, and, and. Um... Yeah, up north is nuts. Just there's, there's iron all along here, like a ridiculous amount here. There's a bunch of iron. Oh, hello. 
I'm gonna kill some crocs too. Nice. I'm encumbered. That's fine. I don't know, suffice it to say, there's, there's iron everywhere. <laughs> but down here, it's a little more scattered. It's a little more scattered. The closest one to you is going to be Lookout Point. Here are iron deposits. Um, yeah, your iron is going to come from Lookout Point, and for your steel, you can go to Executioner's Entrance. Literally the cave below you. Literally the cave below you. You can go in there and you can get all your brimstone. Get all your brimstone from there. And it'll get you up to steel. After that, to go past Steel, you need to go north and get Black Ice. So that'll be a trek when you need to do that. The hard part about living down here is if you need to get anything beyond Steel, it's pretty tough. Black Ice, you can only get a little bit on this side over here, but almost all of it is within the, the northwest territory of the Snow region, where you get all your Black Ice at. You get your hardened Steel, which is what you get after Steel. And then Star Metal... Again, all of it spawns, well, almost all of it spawns in that same zone as the Black Ice. So, yeah, eventually ends up being a far run. Uh oh, is, do we have a Darude coming in? Oh, I don't know, but man, I'm not seeing a Darude. We have to get the prey animals. I guess while he's busy doing that, we can get this one. Take out the little ones. Do not let the little one survive. It's... Listen, I don't want to do this because I'm not a monster. I just I need to do it for, for progress. <laughs> Took a second. Oh, no, you're right. I think it is a Darude coming in. I think I, I spoke too soon. Okay, I think I can survive it. Oh my goodness, this rabbit. <laughs> Not to get in the way. Okay, we've got a Darun Sandstorm coming in. Oh, you live on the west end of the map? Oh, so you see them early? Oh, okay. That's right, you do. <laughs> You're over by Sephiroth Maru. Yeah, so you see them way before I do. Over where I live, I actually see the tail end of it. I see the very tail end of the Sandstorm. Um, so I'm way over here, right at the jungle. <laughs> so the sandstorm comes from A all the way to uh, uh, to J. A to J is where it'll go. Uh, on a map, all within that zone. Oh boy, here we go. We start taking damage. On oh, Tarman, we gotta run. I'm glad you can't outrun the sandstorm. <laughs> Stop healing. We're taking damage now. Our health's ticking down. Oh boy! Here we go! Come on! I don't have a sandstorm mask on me. I think our health, we can, I think with our health we can survive the damage. I think. With such high health. Who's there? This little island right here is where I first started uh, when I first played Conan. My first base is hanging out here. Good spot. Because uh, from here, you've got all your iron up north, and you've got some falls that you can get here. But you know what? Let's about face. I think we can survive this. Let's go kill that croc boss in the lagoon over here. Let's see if we can get a legendary weapon. I'd like to pick up a legendary weapon. We don't have one yet. We need one. Holy moly, this sandstorm. <laughs> this sandstorm. I'm in here. There he is. Something growled at me. Hello there. Why, hello there, Digitoy. How are you doing today? Yeah, we can survive the sandstorm. It only costs us not even 300 health. Yeah, the sandstorm's not that dangerous then. Not once you have some hit points uh, from the... If you have any points in the Vitality Tree, you're fine. What the... I think I missed this guy. Crazy. Crocodile. 
Bell's over here. It's Crocs. Okay, three more Crocs and we're done. But also, I'm actually supposed to be here to go kill the big guy. Carmen, how's your health? Peaceful. The weather is beautiful. Time for the Croc boss. Let's do this thing. There's like five of them or something on the map. It's like four or five of them on the map. This is the south, southmost one. Oh, I my shield. Nope. There you go. Watch your face. The enemy may Okay, ow. That hurts. <laughs> yeah, that stings a bit. Chunk of damage. He's got 12,000 health, but way less armor than the dragon did. Oh. Back out of that. That tail looks nuts. <laughs> Greetings, Stormy Snow. How are you doing today? Good to see you. How have you been? How's your weekend been going so far? Oh, Tarman, you want to get. Oh, okay. Guess they're both just swimming for right now. Carmen, get over here. The yeah, Tarman doesn't know how to swim, so this makes it really tough for him. I think maybe he just doesn't want to fight anymore. He's like, boss, I thought you said we were going home. I thought we were going home, boss. I'm like, in a minute, in a minute. I just have one more, one more big challenge to take down. It's fine, don't worry about it. Looks like Tarman is doing just fine, taking a dip while you fight the oversized lizard. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> your weekend's good. Had fun in your team first. Uh, had fun in your D&D sessions last night. Nice. How'd it go? You do anything crazy with the with the group for D&D? Bit tired as you uh, woke up not long ago. Nice. So you got past the. You're not quite past the. You've got copy in your system and you can stay awake now. <laughs> part. I just need to wait for stamina. Stamina regen's a real pain right now because I'm over encumbered. That's why I'd really like to have Tarman actually working for me. Hey. Tarman just doesn't want to get involved. Wait for more stamina. around to go. Uh, when are you over encumbered? That's a very good question. <laughs> That's a very good question. The answer to that is rarely. More stamina. He's so much faster with Carmen here, though. We'll still get him. Seven right there. Ow. Okay, down below 4K. Okay, he's shoving me around. All right. Need some steak. Get our health back up here. Our stamina back up. Perfect. Okay, down to 17,000 and change. He's still bleeding now. Uh oh, big tails. We'll wait for a stand all of those big tails. Uh, he went well. One player did some uh, something he regretted quickly. I want to see realized what it was. Oh, what did he do? What did he do, sir? Oh, thank you. You put it in here. Excellent. I'll read that in a second. Let me finish this guy off here real quick. Let me pay a little more attention just to make sure we clear him. Ow. You nicked me. Uh oh. Alright, he's almost dead. We've almost got him. 
That's 700 and change health. It's got less health than I do now. Stamina. There we go. Follower leveled up. We got him. Nice. Ugh. Got him. Come on, Tarman. Let's go. Two more crocs. Pick up our loot, and we're out of here. One, two. Oh, I missed my first hit. I have to do three. Go. And... One, two. What? The shield went right over him. Whoops. Flame. We need to make a tool. Defeat wolves not gonna happen. Defeat lions not gonna happen. And I don't know where the forgotten clan. I don't know who that is. Um, so we can finish the prey animals and the tool. We can just keep playing with these two until these two are something we don't want to do, and then we'll just reroll. Um, I don't know how the rerolls work, but I'm assuming the rerolls are like per day or something. Open it up. Ooh. What do we get? What is this? Looks like a mace? Sunder. A weapon that weighs nothing. What? Balbador's uh, lodestone. Health damage 57. Penetration 47 penetration. Whoa. It's, it's way, it's way better than my weapon. It's a one-hander. Oh, it's a two-hander. It's a very pretty weapon. I think that's going on uh, Tarman, honestly. I think we'll swap Tarman over to the two-hander. 47% damage penetration. Tarman? Go will have to teleport to me then. A lot of damage pen. That's all, all the reptile hide, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, so what did your... What, okay, what happened? What happened? Alright, so... Uh, one of your players did something he regretted quickly once he realized what it was. You described a massive animal in the forest, and he decided to ride into the forest, smashing his sword and shield oh, together to attract the creature. When another, play, uh, when another player got the description of the features, he went, Oh, no. Oh. Great mistakes are made. Uh, you described a large. Uh, you described a huge boar that was the size. That was the size huge. Uh oh, geez. So size category huge. Ooh. And how uh, shadow smoke was flowing around it, and that it had lots of tusks growing out of it. Oh my goodness! What is this? A demon? Is it a demon? Uh, demon boar? Size huge is massive. Does he have size like medium, which is like normal, like our, we are? Size large, which is up to three times our physical size, and size huge, which is above that. Up to six times the size of size medium. An eldritch boar. Yeah, that sounds terrifying. Okay, I can No. Stop. Stop chasing me down. I don't want to do that. Bad fear. Where'd Tarman go? Not the bizarre. I'm used to followers being on a far tab. Tarman. Matt, he's still over there. Seriously? How do I get Tarman to come to me? Homebrew creature with health around 180? Yikes. What level are your players? It's unfollowing. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. They're level 5? Oh! <laughs> Yeah, no, they don't have a chance against that. So it was killed in round three? Wait, what? Oh no, level five. Get yeah, level five is fireball. Level five is fireball level. Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Prey animals. Let's get prey animals while we're here. I need Tarman to come back, and he just won't. Obnoxious.
Or I'm gonna not be stuck there forever. I could have just picked him up when I was over there, couldn't I have? Oh, man. Do I go back to pick up Tarman? I don't think I have a way to, like, force teleport him to me. I don't think I have a way to force him back to me. Go pick him up. <laughs> we'll go pick him up. The only spellcaster they have is two rangers, one paladin, one bard, and one arcane trickster rogue. Oh, so they don't have any pure casters. They don't have any pure casters at all. The only thing that got harmed on the side of the players was the summoned horse. <gasps> nice. I love that spell that summons uh, horses to ride on. You can rescue him, but uh, he loses all of his stuff uh, under the followers tab. Hmm? How'd that work? Fine steed. Oh, fine steed. Yeah, fine steed's the um, the better version. I was thinking of mount. The spell called mount uh, in 3.5 in Pathfinder. Um, you can summon one. You can summon one horse that is trained for riding for two character levels. Or for two class levels, I think. No, no, for character levels. I think. For character level. Um, so you can summon up to 10 when you're level 20. <laughs> you're like, hey, we need to get going. Don't worry, guys. I got our rides. Bulls and horses. Fine Steed is better, because Fine Steed has, like, additional bonus bonus things, right? It doesn't It's like, it can fly eventually. It can run on water eventually. Oh, yeah, right here. There's a bunch of iron here. Uh, there's iron around this. This bit here. I forgot about that. Where are those crocs going? But uh, he's going. Maybe he was chasing me at one point. <laughs> Wait, under the follower tab. I'm going to the follower tab here. Refresh window, untrack all. Oh. You're crippling me. Guys, seriously. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? I wanted you guys to live, to enjoy your life, to not die and end up being meat in my pocket, alright? That's on you. Please. Let's go pick up Tarman. Come on, Tarman, you lazy bones. You've soaked long enough. But Master, please. Please, I don't want to go back out there. There's crocodiles out there. Tarman, come on, we've talked about this. Guard over there. Carmen. Well, that's right. He's still on emote sit. In there. Um, behavior. Note. It's clear note. Oh. Okay. Now he should follow me. No problem. There we go. Fixed it. Under the follow tab, select him and it'll give an option to rescue. Oh, really? That's cool. No, I'm not seeing it. I don't see a way to do it. A bunch of little zeros. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to bog you at your nest. You're good. I click on him. The list on his name. Yeah, uh, I click on his name. Click. Oh, right click on his name. Oh. Cancel, break bond, rescue, and stats. You can see stats from here. Oh, that's so useful. Thank you. That is really good information to have. Well, that's awesome. So you can rescue him from there. Does that just teleport him to you? So it teleports him to you, but he drops all the items in his inventory. You're on Xbox, it's different for you. Oh, yeah, it makes perfect sense. But the fact that that's a, an action that can be done, that's amazing. Can any of these creatures stop falling? Maybe because I'm, like, way too high level for them at this point. Stop it. This thing is so damaged. Definitely can't do it. Guess it takes a little time. Ah, okay. Uh, but, okay, so they lose all their stuff and they teleport to you. 
That makes sense. Alright, so let's get home and let's begin our sorcery again. We've got some sorcery to get done. I'm excited. We'll pour some more tea while we're at it. I guess while we're being chased again. I swear, we're just forever chased, aren't we? I would just love it if at a point these creatures would be like, maybe we should, maybe I want to live today. And I won't attack this thing that's clearly strong. Okay. That'd be nice. We'll just, I guess we'll just swim. So we'll just swim for a hot second. Uh, but yeah, I just need to get back home. Do some sorcery. And then we can go back out on an adventure if we need it. I think we're near the end of sorcery. Do you have a map room? Not yet, no. We've got enough demon blood that we could probably start making. Um, we need to make one. Where's my hammer? Um, I can make enough of this. I have enough of this. I've got enough of this. I need 200 demon blood. I don't think I have 200 demon blood yet. Do I have any demon blood in my pockets right now? I've got 200 demon blood. Nice. I think I have 150 something back at base. So yeah, we can make a map room if we want. I don't really have a spot to huck one down though. I don't, have, I don't really have one that we've like a spot for us that we've designed one to go for it. But um, map room would save us a chunk of time. Uh, can we move the map room? Is it like everything else in this game where we can move them now? I guess anything maybe with the build hammer you can move, right? You're on the server, uh, the server you're on, there are map rooms everywhere. Yeah, no, people get really good about doing that in, uh, in most, uh, most servers. I'll end up putting map rooms everywhere. Um, I will when I can, but it takes a lot of demon blood, and I just don't have that much on hand yet. We've been focusing really hard on getting sorcery up and running. I think you can move everything now. Oof. I mean, then it might just make sense for us to make the map room anyway. Uh, just for us to be able to move around. Um, I still need to kill babies. I still need to kill one more baby. He was walking right past one. Get this baby. Baby! Okay. Got him. Clean. Craft a piece of armor, craft a tool. Okay, we can do that. Um, here's some sweet home. But yeah, so we have the obelisk that's here. We have the obelisk that's here, the one that's in here, the one that's over here, the one that's down here, the one that's over here. Okay, so we got that one, 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 that one. So, and this one. I think I'm only missing this one. I think I'm only, or this one's right here. I think I'm only missing this obelisk for teleporting. I think I've got everything else, though. So it would be... It'd be valuable for us to make that so we can teleport. Yeah. I think I've got all but one obelisk at this point. I don't think there are any other obelisks. No, that's it. I think I'm just missing the one. Which isn't that far of a run from us, from here to here. Not too far. We'll probably take that path at some point, too. At some point, we're going to want to get black blood for uh, acid arrows. So I'll have to go that way to get it. Closest obelisk to your base would be by the Undead Dragon. Uh, and don't forget the ones the volcano. Yeah, the closest one to our base is definitely the Sinkhole, for sure, right here. Sinkhole is the closest. Um, by squares, right? One, two, three squares. However, the closest by ease of travel, which we don't have to deal with like passing enemies, would be this one. Well, if we just dump into the river and just go one, two, three, four, five, it's five squares. But we just go by river the whole time, so we don't have to actually... We just do this AFK and chat the entire time instead of having to, you know, run around. So we're unfortunately in between two good obelisks. We're not close to any. It's unfortunate. It's nice when you, like, build your base and you're, like, right next to one. Like, Holderkin's near this one. McConnell's right next to it. He just comes out from there. It's not that far. Um, let's 
the shilling is the shilling's over here, guys. The shilling's not that far either. It's you know two squares, but still. I think I'm at least looking at the map. It looks like I'm the one who's furthest away from any uh, any obelisks. Don't worry about enemies. Just kill everything. Well, yeah, it's more of like I don't want to be bothered by them constantly nipping at my heels. Ah, oh, man, we really got to make that sorcerer tower taller. It's so short. <laughs> I really need to give it an extra layer. It needs one more floor. It really does. It really, really does. Well, I cannot wait until we start working on building the manor again. I should probably start working on iron reinforcements and insulated wood again so we can start getting that going. Because at some point we're going to need to make the workshop. We're going to need to make a, uh, a fishing hut. We're going to want to make some walls. Uh, we're going to want to make a staple. We've got a lot of stuff to build. I've just been so focused on the sorcery. But I should make sure that we have enough. And we have a lot, but I don't, I don't think we have enough. Carmen's on us. Up we go. Your base is nearest to the Black Keep. Um, and now almost every time you teleport to that, um, is that event is going on? Um, which one's the Black Keep? Over here. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with the, <laughs> the tele... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that thing was scary. It was scary looking. Yeah, ah, I believe it. Get in here, Tarman. Tarman? You? Go there. Done a great job today. Got up to level 12. <laughs> Crushing it. Uh, but you sit there, man. You sit there. Uh, do we have anything to drop in here for you? Iron. Um, gold bars. And we can drop. Oh, no. We can drop our coins. Um, yeah, this lodestones can be really good. Oh my goodness, sadness! How are you doing? Welcome, sadness. Welcome. How've you been? <laughs> How's life been treating you? Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna do some sorcery. Doing some sorcery. Captain's log, you got it. Captain's log! We started our day off with the adventure of a lifetime. One for us to continue to advance our sorcery. Going and murdering dragons within the unnamed city. But we need their dragon horns for us to learn a brand new spell. After a long and lengthy journey, we have acquired exactly 20 of such items. Now it is time to learn more sorcery. Let's see what we find. End log. Damn. All right. Feel the power flowing through you. And? Abyssal Maul and Abyssal Bow. Um. Are those spells or items I can make? Sorcery. Circle of power. A demon grants the sorcerer a boon in the form of a powerful demonic maul. Whoa. What do I need for these? How much damage do they do? Sacrificial blood, some demon blood, and shaped wood. Okay. Hardened steel. Okay. I don't think it's. I, it might. They might be worth it, but I don't think they will be. The first recall. I know. I know. Back off. I was saying what it was. We just need some sacrificial blood. Okay. Um. So we need to. I guess that's fine. What do we need now? Dragon powder. Ooh, we need black blood. Ugh. Okay, that's gonna be a ways out. Let's go ahead and let's get some inking brushes going. Um, we're gonna have to go on that adventure, I guess. <laughs> it gets black blood. We should go and stock up on black blood, though. We're gonna need a lot. Um, if we want to start playing with acid arrows, which are amazing. Okay, brush is pretty fast to build all four of them. I didn't see what item we needed more of to be able to do more of them, but there we go. Brush. Research. If we get something good. Hopefully, hopefully. 
Uh, should you place a gelatinous cube in a cult hideout? Uh, why would you not? <laughs> why would you not? Uh, make it look like everything is trapped slash is a mimic slash an ambush, but it's a regular dungeon. Oh my goodness, you're, ni <laughs> you're a nightmare. Lots of mimics will be uh, taking on the rolls of the walls. <laughs> yeah, just the entire house is just actually a hive of mimics. Let's steal elsewhere. I've dropped some coal in here. Is there nothing else for me dropping this? Okay. We'll drop the steel. Oh, we have silver. Alright, steel it is. Goes in there. We have some iron reinforcements. We're gonna do another round of iron reinforcements. How much actual iron do we have in here? Plenty. Oh yeah. Give me a bunch of iron reinforcements, please. We're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna do a lot of building. Got a lot of building on our plate. We're gonna need it. Uh, let's drop off those. Let's drop off. Two. Let's get a big old round of insulated wood. Get that going. Uh, that can actually be dropped. Weird. I can't click it, but I can hit spacebar. I don't know what's up with that, but okay. That's fine. Uh, your DM started describing the dungeons as being pretty clean, so you knew uh, there's a gelatinous cube there somewhere. Ah, smart man, smart man. Ah, failed. Try again. Come on, Zaris. Come on, Zaris. You're better than that. Don't you fail again on me. I can't wait until we clear this place out, and it's not just... Completely jam-packed with crafting, and instead it's a nice, luxurious house. What else can be so nice? We gotta get that crafting barn going. I have to specifically decide where I want it to be, too. I don't want where the vault is, I think. Maybe we put it over here. We have all the crafting stuff over here. We have the horse and the thrall wheel there. So we can build this right here into that. It's a good spot for resources for us, but it's not that big of a deal. We can actually make it a two-tiered setup, a lower floor and upper floor. Lower floor for uh, raw item manufacturing, like going uh, refining all of our stuff, smelter we seem to like. And then the upper floor could be for like group crafting. Then we can have our villa be over here. We can expand on it too. We still need to get the other balcony on this side. We don't have the bedroom balcony. Uh, or no, the bedroom balcony is on the opposite side, isn't it? No, no, it's going to be on this side because it goes to the other... That's the bedroom, right? No, that's the bedroom. We have this balcony. We need a balcony on the other side. We can get a balcony over here, too. Right here. Clean this up a bit. Also, we probably want to change out the walls. Make it a little more... Um, a little more texture. Put some more texture in there. Um, but we'll get around to that later. When we rebuild. But it's a good start. I think we'll probably build our workshop over there. And then what we can do is we can move our shrine... Uh, over here and make that the little shrine over there. And we can get like a, I don't know, a muster yard or something going on right here. Get our little fishing hut right down, right there on the beach. That guy doesn't spawn anymore. And we can start putting in some walls and some gates. Get a gate down here, for example. Put a gate right here for going up. We can wall out the rest of this. Make it look nice. It's going to look nice. Oh, it's going to look really good. Um, We've got a long ways to go, though. Uh, your party can, uh, your party consists of mostly new players and one player who doesn't read, uh, into your descriptions that much. Ah, I see. So he usually just gets himself into trouble. Makes sense. Ah, he'll learn eventually. He'll learn eventually. Uh, you once described how an explosion, uh, explosion summoned a demon, a uh, devil, and was killed by a cave collapsing on it. And he decided to wear its armor. He's a sorcerer as well. Ooh, jeez. Maybe a fiend. Um, your fiends wear armors. I don't know if devils do. Um, yeah. Yeah, devils do. Devils wear armor. Um, incubi wear armor in d d Incubi wear armor. Uh, alright. Did you succeed? You failed again. You, oh, you gotta be careful, man. You can't fail for the last time on me now. Come on. We're gonna watch him this time. Um, I'm gonna dump this extra demon blood in here. I don't need that much on me. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a place for a map room too. I know demons, uh, but two devils. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Come on, come on, Santa. I, I know what I'm talking about. 
Where would we put our map room? Actually, maybe that's where, maybe we put our map room here. Yeah, we can put our map room in the center. We can put our workshop on the side. And we can get our little religious center there. And maybe we'll want to do something here. That could be the stable. We can put the stables over here. We can move them from there to over here. And then we can expand the thrall room. And make this uh, make it like this entire island. We can do something for the thralls. Let's want to dump the thralls down below over there and do something else over here. Pretty malleable. We can do a bunch if we want. Incubi and succubi, those aren't armor. What? Incubi wear armor. Succubi barely wear armor. <laughs> Incubi wear a nice piece of uh, chest plate armor. Just not pants. <laughs> hey, there's a success. Well done. All right, so we're going to want to go on an adventure. Go get black blood. That's going to be a nightmare one, though. The, uh, the children of whatchamacallit are a real pain to kill. The children of whatever their name is are quite obnoxious to take out. Uh, human blood, yes, we have 200 here, so we can definitely, we can absolutely do the, um... We can absolutely do the thing. Um... We probably should. It's going to make our life easier. I mean, unless we want to go on this adventure to pick up this last one here. We have the option to either use... We can make a map room and teleport here to then run over here to get the black blood. Or we can run from here all the way up to grabbing this obelisk, going through the cave, going through the, the instanced cave system, hopping back out here, and then going to get the black blood. Both are decent options. I mean, I'm really rarely ever going to use this, so <laughs> this this one here, this obelisk. I like. There's no reason to be here. No reason to use it. I just don't need it. My game's just so much leather. It's ridiculous. Right, I'm going to dump a bunch of stuff in the vault. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't be bothered for dumping it in the vault. Oh my goodness. There's usually pieces of like clothes, and, uh, clothes with chains and high heels. Yeah, that's armor. Right? Uh, we will keep the Defarg piece. Dump that. Dump all those. We'll even dump this. Yeah, exactly. We'll just dump all this stuff. All of it goes in. If I'm not going to be carrying it on my body, it all goes in. Uh, the berries. This berries can go upstairs. There you go. Inventory sorted. Dealt with. Don't worry about it. It's done. <laughs> no? Oh, come on. Sadness. What's the difference? What is the, what is the difference between armor and... Um... You can't actually do that one. That's right. You need two. What is the difference between armor and clothing? Is there like an actual difference? Is clothing not just very thin armor? Right? Oh, we already have one. Uh, which one's in better condition here? Better condition. Burn it. Uh, desert berries go in here. Oh, looks cute. Arm armor protects clothing covers. I mean, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. That, that makes sense. That checks out. That checks out, sadness. That checks out. <laughs> go ahead and burn that. All right. Let's put this in here. What is that I'm missing on the potent compost to get more? It's the blood. I need more blood. That's what it is. Um, I think all my blood is upstairs, isn't it? I'll have to go and collect more. Blood isn't too hard to get if you have a press, because you can just squeeze it out of body parts. Yeah, I really don't have much blood at all. It's blood, though. We'll have to go pick up more. Clothing protects from the sun. The clothing uh, is in armor. So that's what I was thinking. Is like, if you if you go frolicking through a forest, butt naked, and run through brambles, you get hurt. But if you go running if you go running through the forest, with brambles with jeans on, isn't that armor? No. Clothing is enchanted to negate most radiant damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it is. Yeah, anything that it covers. That is funny. <laughs> Very much is. Alright, so I think we're just gonna go straight on this adventure. I don't think there's much reason for us to stick around. Um, we we'll just get up and go, yeah?
Um, just getting busy. Understand that. <laughs> oh, watch out, Sadness. He's got you. He's got your number. He's thinking. Steal. <laughs> Again, we can clear out inventory later. I just don't want to deal with it right now. Uh, we at least need to go and repair our stuff, like our Lemurian axe. Oh, uh, we should repair. What do I need to make another? Eight. It's a lot. Um, I can only make a Lemurian sword. Lemurian pike. A storm of the sword if we wanted. Um, oh, actually, what's the dragon weapons like? Throwing axes, okay. Dragon Maul, Dragon Spear, Dragon War Axe. Is this one handed? I just don't know if that's one handed or not. 36 damage to 49 damage. That feels about right for one handed. So that's still less than this guy. Just 53. Um, we could do that. Let's give that a shot. A dragon, uh, Dragon War Axe. Uh, I just need a... Uh, wait, did I need a hilt? I feel like I need a hilt. Yeah, you need a hilt. One dragon... Oh, uh, dragon horn. Never mind. We have no dragon horns. <laughs> yeah, I kind of used all my dragon horns. We don't have any. Never mind. Okay. Never mind, never mind. Um, I guess I'll just give them the lodestones. It's kind of weird taking them away from these guys, giving them the lodestone, but... Lodestone's going to do more damage, and when he has it in his hand, it doesn't take any... Uh, Take any durability loss. That's good. Um, who would be second in line? I guess the Sumerian fighter would be second in line, so we'll take the Warhammer. Give it these. What? But she can carry that. At some point, if we ever end up using a Sumerian fighter tier 1. I don't really want to. I really want to start moving over to tier 3s and tier 4s across the board if we can help it. How much alchemical base do we have? Still 58. Okay. We're not of alchemical base. Alright, Tarman. Let's do this thing. Follow me. Uh, with that much, we can just give him another stack of rule, really. Stack of rule. And there you go. Um, yeah, I'm good to go. Let's do this thing. I think we're gonna run there. I think we're gonna run there. We'll go pick up that obelisk, just so then I never have to do it. Do it once and never again. Do it once and then never again. Easy. Actually, before we do, let's go and pull all these. Let's actually go deal with all these guys here real quick. Uh, Tarman, you uh, wait here. <laughs> you wait there, all right? Uh, let's go ahead and let's put all these fish in here so we can get more oil, because we're gonna need that if we want to make even uh, if we want to make our shoes. We can make our boots before we leave, actually. We can finish our Lemurian shoes, if we want to get that going, since we're still playing with the Shaman shoes right now. It wouldn't take too long to get done. We've already got a bunch in the press, so that... Yeah, we've already pressed out 50-something. 50 54, it looks like. We can definitely use that. That's enough. Um, yeah, so we have plenty of oil. Yeah, no, we can get this done. Let's do this real quick. Uh, what did I need? I needed... I don't know this. Um, of which I only actually need... Three, two. Let's go make our better shoes. It'll give us more armor, we'll be more durable. That. Do the reptile hide after. Meanwhile, I still need to repair all of my stuff, so I can go and grab all my leather. And we can... Air. Yeah, honestly, I, I was hoping it would stay in, uh, stay like equipped to us when we repaired, but oh, that takes thick hide. It's gonna be nice when we're not using that one, <laughs> because then it's just it just takes literally just only leather, which is crazy. So cheap, this leather. Artificial oil is good for you. Uh, high in omega three, uh, in omega B threes. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, it's good for your brain. Um, it's something that's used for, like, brain growth and, um, whatnot. This is a very important one, for sure. 
We have 3,000 of these. We're going to overflow the inventory here. I don't actually have that much space. Okay, let's get rid of these. These are no longer useful for us to use. I'll get rid of these too. Uh, what are you using currently? No mace? You're good. Got that. And the guy upstairs has a bow. It's fine. Alright, cool. So let's go trash these. Pull whatever steel we can out of them. I didn't want to at first, but let's actually go take care of that. Get that done. Uh, take the star metal. Stock that. So I'll put the other one here for now. In the vault <laughs> with everything else. We'll go and we'll sort out uh, inventory stuff later. Which we'll have a storeroom. Oh, yeah, we should have a storeroom attached to the uh, workshop. There, we can have a vault in there, plus a can full of, like, more custom boxes. That'll be good. Now I have space for the 3,000. 800 and change. Because that'll be seven stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will all be full by the time this is done. <laughs> Unless, actually, we'll fill up that spot first, but... It'll almost be... This spot will be empty. Still, it's a lot. All right, uh, where are we at with these? Perfect, done. I need perfect medium padding. Let's go to the rhino we have here. Perfect. Get some, no, no, we still have rhino. What? Oh, just, okay. All right. Um, and then we Marion armor, shoes, right? Shoes, yeah. Oh yeah, we needed to do that, that's right. Fam shoes. Now we have a spare set. We need one. But this has pushed our armor up to 526. That is crazy. Um, I guess the main question comes down to now, do we want to put an add-on onto our armors? We can increase our armor further by just unlocking the higher armor one, or we can go with the armor reduction kit. Make it lighter, more inventory capacity. We don't really care about that too much, do we? Um, or we can get the flexibility kit, which reduces stamina when doing things. I'm going to wait on it for right now. I don't specifically know what I want to go with. Uh, do we need anything in here? Nope. Well, we could thrall something and bring that thrall back with us when we come back. Let's do that. Let's bring a thrall back with us. Bring a thrall back with us. That'll be good. Yeah. That'll be good. Let's bring back a thrall. Uh, do I have any bugs in here? There's one. Looks like that's maybe it. Motor insects. Nope. Alright, we'll drop these off and let's get going. You're now a beast of burden. Uh, time to haul all of your resources. Yes. I mean, this is the thing. Once you get to beast of burden, you can pick up your entire base and move whenever you want. The only thing you have to deal with is the setup. Otherwise, you can just haul your entire base with you whenever you want to. Like, yep, nope, I'm done with this area. I'm going to get going. Bye. Goes and picks up everything. Actually, can we defeat this boss too? We have a boss right here we can go for. We just got him his new weapon. Maybe we can find me an axe or a shield or something. This guy's tougher than the croc. But we can give it a quick try. The guy's got plenty of rule on him. We'll double check before we start to fight. We top him off with the little ones, that's good. He's not going to be using the shield, which is fine, so we took that off of him. Uh, let's see if we can kill this guy. Omega 3 fanny acids, yes. Omega 3s are also found in various nuts. Go get him. <laughs> um, just don't binge on nuts, especially almonds. They're high in magnesium. Too much magnesium neutralizes stomach acid. Really? Crazy. Yeah, he looks like Preston Garvey, doesn't he? Totally not intentional. Oh. oh, that stinks. 
that stinks a lot. He's gonna spin all the way around. Oh, I went under him. No, it's not good. I'm gonna die. I got stuck underneath him. That's not good. Carmen's actually in a lot of trouble right now. Carmen's likely going to die if I don't get over there and tell him to leave. Darn rock branch. Yeah, I earned 60 coins. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, I mean, I did say that I don't know if we'd be able to beat him. Uh, I did say that. There's supposed to be a quick trial to see if Tarman can hold up to it, but, um... Ow. The hard part is, I'm now going to have... I have to get over there, get my stuff, and pull Tarman off the boss. Um, I guess pulling Tarman off the boss is the most important thing. So I can, I have to regain control of him. I have to tell him to follow me. Unless the boss decided to reset, which I'm really hoping he did. I don't hear the sounds of fighting. Oh no. Um, if they're looking into each other's gorgeous eyes, but I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to sit here for a minute and hope the boss decides to go back and chill. Uh, while we passively heal this mission. Um, uh, maybe we should leave and let them take care of business, because they seem to be having a deep conversation. Go up to your body. It might be bugged. Nope. I just had to get close enough. Oh, it's going for me. Uh-oh. I don't have my armor. At least I can go get my armor. That's good. It's a good first step. Okay. Picked up my everything. All right, Tarman's not next to him. Perfect. Tarman, don't move. Tarman. Tarman, come here. Tarman, please. Stop it. Can you do your spin move real quick? Do your spin move real quick. Your spin move. Now, one, two, three. Follow me. Come on, Tarman. Tarman, return. Okay. All right, Tarman. Get in there. Oh, jeez. That spin move is just so damaging. Nope. I need to not be underneath them, because I just got hit by all three of those swings. Oh, jeez. No, we can't do it. Tarman, get out of there. Turn to me, Tarman. Let's pick up my body real quick. Let's go. Come on, Tarman. We gotta run. We're out of here. Preston really wants to fight the monster left. <laughs> yeah, out, left there, plaguing a settlement. Yeah, no. Please, no. Uh, I was hoping we could do it. We can't quite do it yet. We need to give him a higher level. Um, and then we can do it. Oh. Um, that's awkward. But Tarman, I really, really hope you teleport to me. Thank goodness he just did. Thank goodness he teleported to me, man. Peace. Um, oh yeah, crap out. Defeat him. Uh, was there anything up north we can do? We can do wolves. I don't want to. What's this do? Okay. Are you sure you wish to request new challenges? There are a limited number of these requests per challenge cycle. Okay, so each challenge cycle we get one. Okay. Silver, Lotus Star, Crimson Lotus, Humans, and Armor Beasts. Okay. Cool. All right. That's good to know. Uh, should I have that? Uh, a few of the mimics should have learned this. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. A few, at least one mimic should learn how to speak common. 
And what you do, this is what you do. You make it really creepy. You have um, the the guys walk into a room. The party walks into a room. It's furnished lavishly, almost as if someone was just there. You feel this eerie presence, as if someone's watching you. You know, they walk in and whatnot. They start looking around, and as they do, yeah, that's exactly right. Sad. This is exactly right. As they walk in, they start looking around. Like, from the carpet, the carpet, you hear, like, a, you, you, like someone talks about, like, something in distress. Like, help me, oh no! Or something like that, right? Like, some, some, like something that makes the party go, like, oh my goodness! They go over and they lift up the carpet and there's nothing under the carpet, or a rug. They lift up the rug and there's nothing under the rug. There's no floor or anything. But you are sure you heard it come from right where the rug was. You, you know it came from right there. Right below the rug. And they're like, oh, get a, get a pry bar or something, right? And so they get like super busy and so hung up. Oh, someone's got a house over there. It's so hung up on that. And you just kind of do that with different fixtures throughout the house. It's funny. How's it going, Sky? How are you doing today? Uh, what are you thinking going against Rock Ranch? I I don't know. I, 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 I was overconfident, honestly. I was overconfident. That's all me. It's my, my bad. The war maker would like to make it clear that no commerce with the northern city is allowed. The humans are considered enemies of the Triumvirate, and all contact between the city-states is severed. Any slaves caught consorting with the enemy will be summarily executed. Yep. This area is a good area, too. Who's over here? Rapakon! Rapakon's got a space here. He doesn't have anything inside, though. He's got a... It's a cute little hut, though. It's a quaint, cute little hut. It's got nothing there. It's a good spot, though. Um, that cave in there. I don't remember if there's sulfur in there, but there's uh, some good thralls in there. You get plenty of aloe out here, too. I would come down here and grab this aloe when I had a base that was up here. You could drop down, come over, and get this aloe instead of having to go up and down the river. High concentration of it. Uh, you're thinking of placing the speaking limits in hallways? <laughs> or in alleyways? Amazing. That would work. Uh, we are on to the next book. As of last night. Oh my goodness, Sky, you're insane. You crushed that book. Because the last book, what? you? So if you finished it last night, that means you finished that book in, what, two total days? Did you finish that book? And Did that book only take you two days? My goodness, it's impressive. It takes me a while to get through books. I struggle to just, like, sit down and read for hours and hours on end. I might do, like, two hours at a time. Boulevard of the North Star. Um, I struggle to do, like, longer than that. Nope. Nope. Jaguars and tigers, oh my. <laughs> Run away! Mire of eternal dreams. Yes. Snakes. The jungle is just such an awful place to live in. I mean, cool, you can make tree houses and whatnot, but, like, all the enemies down here suck. That's actually a really good spot for uh, PvP servers. Right there. That's a good tree for that. You make yourself uh, semi-indestructible. It's good. Around. Go on the right path. Come on, Thurman. Let's go. Let's go, Tarman. Actually, while we're here, you should probably kill some of the, uh... The Reapers. We could have some of their poison on hand. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Poisoned. And I'm bleeding. that body go? Did they push it? No, there it is. Got some sand reaper gl uh, glands. Oh, now. Let's get out of here. We just wanted to pick up one. Ooh, don't mess with the queens. Just kill the drones. The queens aren't worth the time. Ow. Crippling poison, you monsters. Literally speaking. Oh, my goodness. We just gotta get in the cave. 
Gotta get the little... I think this is like a Lemurian cave. It looks a lot like the, uh... Oh, the Witch Queen. No? You're reading the new Stephen King book? Ooh, nice! Let me know how it is. Or good things. Oh. Been poisoned and my head's too tall. On, <laughs> in we go. Made it. You can grab crystal if you want to, but it's not much need. Oh, he's there. Oh, it's like, Carmen, where you at? Okay. We can grab the crystal, but I'm gonna pass. Uh, we got plenty as is. So instead, get downstairs. Yep. Oh, go. It's turning oh. daytime. So we'll be able to see properly soon. Oh yeah, no, we just jump from up there. We just flat die. <laughs> can't, can't, uh, can't take that landing. Spiders, spiders everywhere. Keep on running. Keep on running. Here's our way out. Come on, Tarman. Oh, jeez. We can kill the queen if we want to get the, uh, the item for beating the game. Nah. It's not worth our time right now. We got places to go, things to do. Just dump that Garmin. Oh, jeez. I didn't think she was going to get up here. Another poison, of course. I can't climb when poisoned. Garmin's just murdering him in the meantime. They asked for this. I can't climb, I'm still poisoned. You, you let go every time you take damage, and poison counts as damage. Hey, he's leveling up. Good job, you. Hey, he's killing all the mob, uh, all the ants first. He's good. Oh yeah, yesterday one of the players got to fight an ostrich. Wait, what? Okay, what led to what led to one of your players actually needing to fight an ostrich? What happened that did that? Come on, looks daisies. All the way up now. I'm assuming, all right, he's actually gonna beat her. <laughs> it's fine, we don't really get anything off of her I want. Um, the only like, thing of note is an end game item. But, and by end game item, I mean like an item that ends the game. Deletes your character and, and ends your game, ends your run. And I have no need for that right now. Although I am curious about, um... Oh, darn. Um... Oh, there he is. Good, good. I do want to fight this guy. Can I get this guy's skull? Oh! If he's build... I don't even know what he is. It's like a... A, a bone demon? I don't know what these are. Wow. Holy. Jeez, Tarman. That does a lot of damage. And that, I think it's at 47% armor pen. Oh. Brimstone and demon blood. Hey. Well, go with some more demon blood. Go. Through the door. He slipped from the party and went into the forest looking for birds. He accidentally came across an ostrich. He decided to do animal handling instead of charm, uh, instead of casting animal friendship on it. And since they're territorial, he attacked him for intruding on his territory. I mean, yeah, it's exactly what a bird would do. Makes sense to me. Ah, welcome back to the north. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the north. We'll end up building some, uh, our, we'll probably build our main castle up here at some point. We gotta finish our, our nice summer home back down in the, uh, wait, you know this place? Yeah, it's a good place over here. Good place, I like this place. Not really in the snow so much, but, um, just like that. Oh, I didn't pick up the, the whole reason why I decided to run was for the obelisk. It's fine, we'll get the obelisk on the way back. Fine. Is that scripted boulder? 
Uh, we get the obelisk when we, when we come back. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get the obelisk then. Not climbing that. We're gonna go around. I uh, can't believe I forgot. We need to pick up that obelisk so that we can teleport there whenever we wanted to. Oh well. I mean, the advantage of it, it makes it just easier to get crystal. It's a good location for crystal. But I really like this area. Okay, so I need to remember, once we're done picking up uh, as much blood as we can carry, we need to um, get a new fighter thrall to replace Tarman when he gets to retire, because he'll get to retire soon. Uh, he's almost level 20, so he'll get to retire soon. Because we need a backup thrall, for sure. It's level 20. So uh, once we need to get a backup thrall, we get one while we're up here. Uh, we also need to go get the obelisk. We gotta get those two on our way down. We gotta remember. We gotta remember this. It's important. What the heck is that? Thunder. Okay. Uh, should you have a gelatinous cube and mimic be friends in the dungeon? I mean, uh, it's kind of hard to do since gelatinous cubes aren't intelligent creatures, but um, I mean, you can. Hello. I would like your blood. Come here. These guys suck. These guys suck. I hate that air move. That flapping move is just the worst. That one. Because it'll knock you over. It's like Tarman's being experiencing. It actually turns out the best way to fight these guys is with a pet, not a thrall. The reason for that is because, uh, no, like, a can't get my way. So you never have to worry about it. Is it best from here, or is it from skinning that we get the blood? That's a bunch of feathers. I think we get the most blood from the pickaxe. Armin? You want to get up here and help me? Carmen, what are you doing? Carmen, please. I'll push him over. I'll roll through. Carmen, you get her. You get her flanks. Uh oh. Uh. Oh no. The knockdowns are really annoying. Space. No. No, she do it. Right. This is nice. They do significantly less damage than they used to. The knockdown is still annoying, but when I actually get hit, it's not as bad. Harmon can't figure out how to get inside. Well, that knockdown is just so obnoxious. Come on, back up. Harmon. Having issues. I don't know if you keep distracting me, I guess that's fine. Hockey, hockey, mate! Watch your face! Okay. Get blood off you. We gotta go find the mother. Uh, you heard that if a gelatinous cube consumes enough uh, enough humans, it can get the personality of the people it consumed. What? I'm sure why not, but like what? <laughs> I'm thinking this Tarman actually made it inside the cave. First time you've heard of that? Yes, first time I've heard of it. But I mean, sure, why not? There's some flair in there. That's one of the nicest things about D&D. It's nothing set in stone. You can do anything you want with it. Demon blood. We're gonna have too many feathers. We're gonna have to drop feathers during this excursion. 
don't know which cave we're in. I've actually done this one that well. Get him. Wait. That's a three skull. Oh, that's the boss. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Oh, those wing, those wing attacks are pretty bad. That's the actual boss. Okay. Can you go and hit the child real quick? We need to kill the ads first, Darwin. Okay, she's coming after me. Carmen, you keep... You take that one out. She's coming for me. I'll keep her busy. Hurry up and kill it, Tarman. There's no chests or anything up here, right? This side? Maybe. And down we go. The problem is if we have a bunch of these things uh, doing their wing attacks, you just stay forever and over. There she comes. Alright, we gotta kill this one. Get her Tarman. Tarman, can you move out here? Back up a bit. Tarman's taking way too much damage. Oh, I'm taking way too much damage. I'm gonna have to aggro for a bit here. Uh oh, not good. I didn't make it up. Over here. Oh man, going for Tarman again. Back up. Back up. Too much damage. Oof. Okay. Drink. Watch it. From behind. Oh, she's Tarman. Oh, come on. Still got me? Come on. All right, so she's got almost at the same percent as Tarman does. If I can keep the attacks up and keep it focused on me. Tarman will be able to make it. Come on, Tarman, I need you to keep on going. It's too close of a health pool. I'm not happy with this. I'm still tempted to actually reset this fight. It's the knockdown is just so brutal. Oh, she keeps turning around and fighting him. Need some more stamina here. I'm gonna let her fight for me. Okay. Okay, just need to make sure I have enough stamina to move. He's at 4k. We can get this done, but I'm just still so worried about Tarman's health. Tarman, can you go over there real quick? Yeah, you stay right there. Okay. I'm just gonna ring around the Rosie for a hot second here, uh, like we did with the uh, with the other one. But I'm just really worried about Tarman's health. Very cold too. So let's go ahead and get that sorted. Oh, get some spicy poops. It's a minute and a half of warmth. So if we don't have, if this torch fails on us, uh, we'll actually start taking damage. It must be frigid in here then. And now we're just cold. We've been warming up. Oh. Tarman, actually, can I give you all the extract to use? Two. Music stopped, but I don't want her to stop fighting. Back for me. Back for me. Let Tarman continue to heal. We've almost got this. We've almost got this. One more ring around the Rosie, then we'll have Tarman jump back into the fight, and we should be able to take her out. Um. Eat too many steaks and you start uh, making milk. What? <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, gelatinous cubes eat, uh, eats too much meat and starts turning into that creature. Kill 
Bing. Bing. Okay. Oh my goodness, hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. We're in the middle of a big fight. Bitter bumpkin. How are you doing? What have you been playing? Thank you so much for the raid, I appreciate that. Hello and welcome, everyone. Oh. Alright, Tarman, you're back in. Let's do this thing. You're no longer on healing duty. You're back at half health. We can take her out. Uh oh. You've got no chance, man. No, she's got no chance. We've got this. Whoa. Back in there, Tarman. Oh, she's I'm backing off. Otherwise, I'll keep hitting Tarman. I really don't want him to be bleeding. Welcome back, Lord Crush. How are you doing? Uh, your mid vent in Twitch was like, nah, you're gonna get your rating? Oh no! <laughs> uh, what were you playing? What were you venting about? Ow. Tarman, good job, good job, Tarman, let's go. Tarman's gonna earn his name after this. Can we get home? It'll have helped us beat the Green Dragon and uh, a few of these bosses. I think we have to do more than one. I don't think we can just get one. Watch your face. I, think, I don't think we're getting enough black blood off of one for this. We're probably going to have to go kill two or three of them. Go to a different cave after this. Of course, we'll let Tarman fully heal. Oh. Very cold again. There we go. Good level. Ooh. Unwelcome gift. A throwing shield? Does it bounce back after you throw it? Would we like that? Yeah. Alright, black blood, please. Black blood, please. It's 34. We're gonna want more than that, though. So, we'll go and we'll... I want maybe like 200, 100, 200. We'll have to kill at least three to get to 100. We'll see how um, how we're feeling after that. Oh, yeah, Tarman, you're supposed to be falling out. Return. Return, Tarman, return. Another one up here. Hello Something there. Like that. Hey, how's it going, Sonic? How are you doing today? You're not Captain America? I know, right? Um, okay, so this thing is... A weapon. It is definitely not a shield. <laughs> okay. Uh, info. Grabbed by the smith, Azir Taras, as a gift to his brother, Apthum, on his wedding day. Are we dying? Am I taking health damage? No, it's just very cold. Just want to make sure we're not going to die in reading this. Uh, I just see the blue, uh, the blue outlines here, thromming on us. On his wedding day, the edges of the shield... Alright, you, in you interrupted story time. You interrupted story time. You interrupted story time. You must die. Ow. But yeah, just just like um, Dark Souls, items have no story. So we find a lot of lore. Sorry, Tom. And I totally just smacked you instead of him. Ow. One more tap. Come on, Tarman. One more tap. You or me. Nice stuff. This bad boy up. Yeah, demon blood, mister. Right, where were we? The consequences of interrupting story time is painful death. Yes. Your death is war warranted. And I will laugh the entire time. <laughs> ah, yes. We'll just pick up these feathers. Why not? All your feathers. I'm gonna get over here. Feathers down there. There's another one there. Um, there's a chest there. There's a chest somewhere else in here, I thought. I can't remember. Anyway, I don't have any wood on me, do I? I can't repair this. Wood and plant fiber. We're gonna have to jump out. We can't stay. It's gonna get too cold. Without this torch. That's a real bummer. Alright, let's go hop back. Go hop back. You afraid to sleep down is nice. All right, where were we on this story? We'll finish story, mode, story time. We'll jump out there. We'll repair this torch. We'll jump right back in. We'll murder some more of these dead boys and get on going. Um, the edges of this shield have been sharpened to a razor edge, and due to the shape of the shield, it makes it impossible to detect blows, uh, to deflect blows without get cutting oneself. 
Oh, so that's why we can't block with it. That makes sense. Once receiving the shield, as uh, is there, as your is um, is rumored to have thrown it out the window. Hearing screams from the streets below, Azir and Apthum looked out the window, only to see the shield had cut through the head of the father of the soon-to-be bride. <laughs> oh my gracious, okay. Can I block with it? No, it's a throw. Look at that, it is a throw. It's Captain America's shield. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have a Captain America shield. <laughs> we have a legendary Captain America shield that has no durability on it, so it has infinite it has infinite durability. We can throw it forever. That's great. This is this is great. We just need to, we need to change up our armor. Get our theme song going, yeah? Let's go. Let's go hit one tree and rip the plants. Uh, rip some grass out of the ground real quick here. Get ourselves soft and sorted. We can also go to a different cave. This way. Go. Um, but bearded pumpkin, what were you playing today? What, what was the game of choice? What was the game of choice? This axe. Blast down the tree. Actually, we really only need one hit. Enough. <laughs> Plenty. Get a few bits here so that we can make sure we can repair it a couple times. It should be four minutes per, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal once we've repaired it. Ten minutes, fourteen minutes, eighteen, twenty-two, twenty-six. Yeah, yeah, it should go up to forty. Perfect. Fully repaired torch, forty minutes, okay. We'll go to this uh, this cave over here instead. This is the main cave I used in the past. Uh, this is the one we definitely want to do, though. That goats. Uh, I don't know where that one just went. Oh wait, if this was a throwing weapon, there's three of them. This is not good. I need to back up. Wait, if this is a throwing weapon, I have to test something super quick. Does that mean we can spin to wind with this shield equipped? As opposed to normal shield attacks? Oh, we're just gonna get thrown over. This is the real problem when there's a bunch of them. You get thrown over forever. We can! Oh my. So it's a, it works the same as the throwing axe. We can spin to wind with this weapon. Oh no. Nope. Oh, I only got out of one of them. I didn't roll enough. Nope. Go. Back up. I need more stamina first. Yeah, I need goat. Goat. Come on now. Spinning to win. Our Tarn did a good job of holding them off. Let's go finish this end. Oh my goodness, another one came to join the fun. Holy moly, there's so many of them. Well, this is the annoying part. When there's this many, they just keep knocking you over forever. We gotta back up. Get some stamina here. We gotta back up. Goats out of the way. Oh, jeez. Alright, Tarman's just about killed his prey. Perfect. Oh, no, not quite. Off there. There we go. Alright. Right, this one I just need to do a quick spin to win on. I have to get up, though. There we go. go. Alright, out of my way, Tarman. Coming through. Please don't get hit too hard. Uh, this is intended just for them. That's them time, hold on. Demon blood. We need more demon blood. We need that blood. I think we get more blood from using the axe, honestly. 
7 and 22, that's 29 as opposed to the other one, which was um, 26 from the, from the skinning knife. So I think it's comparable, I guess. Yeah, it was 30 blood. Yeah, I think the skinning knife is better. This guy who was stuck in the floor, he fell on the floor when we first got here. Let's see if he'll stay stunned long enough for me to go and just to win him. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 don't throw me off. Ow. Oh, my bones. Let's switch those, those are in the wrong spot. Good job. Alright. Alright, now we're gonna be starting with the real tough fights. I think we have three more to kill, and then we're on another boss. This boss is more, well, special <laughs> than the others. This is the one we need to kill down here. Alright, it's only two. This one and one other. The one of them must have come out of the tunnel for us already. Where are you on the map? Uh, we are right here. Top of 9H. Nope. Carmen, I thought you were going to keep his attention. Uh, this is the only place in the game to get black blood, from my understanding. I, I can't think of any other place that you can get it. We need it for sorcery, and we're going to want it for acid arrows. Especially once we kill her. These who we need to kill. Oh yeah, we have to aggro these guys. We try and clear them, because otherwise fighting her is a nightmare. Carmen? You'd be so kind. He's not really hitting me. There you go, that was a good one. Alright. Back off. I don't have any water, do I? Man, I gotta start carrying water on me. You've got no chance, me. Drink some berries. Alright, good. These guys are slowly padding up here and finding us. Nice leveled, I think he's 13 now. I just gotta clear out this one and one more of these ads and we're good to go. Don't you do it. Don't knock me over. Go. Skin him. No demon blood. No demon blood? Really? Rip off? Okay. Really the best we can do here. Oh, I can still see her. It's not that cold in here. Spin, we'll switch to spin to win soon. In there, Tarman. Actually, no, Tarman, come here. Tarman. Tarman, you don't have full health. Oh, I made mistakes. Tarman, return. Tarman, please come back here. Tarman, come back with me. I need you to heal. Tarman's health is too low. I don't want us to fight yet. <laughs> Tarman needs to get his health back up. Come on, Tarman. I need you to be at full health first, man. This is going to be a tough fight. Um, oh, jeez. He's following us still? Okay. Um, Tarman, return. Go over here, big guy. Pick up some more plant fiber. Good job. Oh, if we can take this one, I'll take this one. That, that's the last, uh... That's the last ad. After that, it's just the big boss. Alright, uh, take her down. Oh, jeez. Knockdowns. Because the problem is when you have a bunch of these guys and all the knockdowns, taking out the boss is a nightmare. Okay. There's my deal of blood. Tarman, 
you you see this. Just need to get into full. How's he doing, by the way? Ooh, minus agility. Robust. Loses the agility, which is fine. He's got so much agility because he started off as an agility guy in the first place. I don't care. Plus five. His health is insane. Holy, no wonder his health is so good. He's almost got 4k health. He's only level 15. That is crazy. He doesn't need the agility. It's not worth it. It only helps him with his... Uh, Um, it only helps with the agility weapons, which we're not having them use. We're using strength weapons. Good, and one more. And he should be done. They're not the best wraps, but they do speed up his recovery. So he's only off by about 100 now. By the time we get there, he should have close to, if not completely full health, healing from the food that he's got. All right, Lockstone Cave. How is it we didn't discover it earlier? I don't understand how that works. That happened with the, uh, with the scrap as well. Scrap? The scraps, yeah. When we got, we went inside the cave, and we were inside the cave before we learned it, and then we left and came back in, and we learned that the cave's location. So I don't, I don't know how that works, but okay. All right. Boss time. Carmen? Full health. Get in there, big guy. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Those up here will get uh, aggroed, but they can't come down unless they glitch through the floor. We should be safe. Should just be us and the big mother. Even though it keeps sounding. Oh, jeez, that's not good. Turned real quick. You know, it sounds like they're aggroing us. Freaking off. Yes, Farman, get him. Going for a spin to win. Oh, jeez. Back it up. Keep dodging here. Hey, wow, this is actually working out really well. She's at almost half health. Carmen, right, you want to get in there? <laughs> Help me. Thank you. Okay. Right. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I did not roll fast enough. Back up. For a spin to win. Oh, ow. It's over. Oh, get out of my inventory. <laughs> uh, I hit the, the difference between hitting E and hitting tab. Hit E to exit. Whoops. Come on. Carmen? Thank you. I need Carmen to do most of the DPS here. I can do a bunch of the... I can aggro and take, you know, take some hits, but I need him to do most of the damage here. That knockover is ridiculous. Knockdown. Stamina. Okay. Keep hitting her. Oh, oh. Keep hitting her. She's below half. And her, uh, her attack patterns allow her to hit from like someone who's behind her. Come on. The problem is you have to kill her a handful of times here. I'm imagining you have to kill her a few times. Let's see. We'll see how much Blackfoot she gives us. 
But I'd much rather kill her than the other one we just did. We have better stuff, and you'll see very shortly. I guess we have the same stuff, technically, don't we? Carmen, where are you? Carmen? They might have made them all the same, now I'm thinking about it. Okay, dodge him. Carmen, get him. Push for it, push for it. Push for it, Carmen. Oh, come on, Carmen won't get hit. Thank you. Oof. Ah, yes. If she drops fragments of power. So much more black blood, too. Oh my goodness. She drops so much more black blood. Yeah, she's definitely the one you want to fight. Fragment of power. We're gonna, geez, we have 200. Yeah, we got 100. So one. she gave us 200 black blood. Um, fragments of power are great. Uh, we can use these. If we use them, we get a permanent bonus. Uh, 10 knowledge points. So we can eventually learn everything with this. They're really good. We're gonna hold on to it now, though. We don't we're not, we haven't run out of points, so no need. It can also be used to craft legendary items. Also gave us the skeleton key. To open this up to get uh Gavain's Rusty Pike. It's a random legendary that'll drop there. Um and she also gave us a recipe for ammunition six or four. An advantage of ammunition four. What I like about this one is it teaches us fire spark, acid, and smoke arrows. And acid arrows are the ones we wanted. They use black blood, which is why we needed the black blood. All right, cool. So we got um, we got our black blood. I think we can head back home. Let's go grab a person, head home, get the obelisk, uh, put that person in the thrall wheel, and do some sorcery. Right, we got our black blood. We got a lot of black blood, so we should be fine. We shouldn't need any more for a bit. Yeah, no, that fragment of power is a very nice find. Because that we need that if we want to make the uh, venom infused war axe, which is our ultimate goal is to end up getting that. We actually even need the fragment of power to potentially buy during the, the purchasing scroll roulette to, to actually get the uh, pattern recipe for the uh, venom infused war axe. We probably won't get it on our first attempt. Because there's like 20 items or something. So let's go find a friend. Time for us to go and get a friend. We can get over to a camp over here real quick. And have a good friend of ours. We're not picking up, um... What's her name? Often's patrolling in this area. I don't know. Don't see her. Get all this iron, too. We're not encumbered yet. I don't see a reason to get ourselves into encumbrance until we've at least picked up our friend. And ideally, if we're running back, we don't get ourselves encumbered. Alright. Up we go. Nearly there. Just to get past this bear. <laughs> don't see me, bear. Don't you see me. Oh, I've got a boss man elk. Well, it's a couple of elk. Mini boss elf. One with the great damn. Thing's got low enough health that we can sort it out. It's not that bad. It also. Oh, there's the bear. Hello, bear. This bear is way more terrifying because it can knock you over. Farmer, can you take out that bear, please? Bear pelts. Bear pelts. Definitely need that. So corn, we're over encumbered. Give me my picture cleaver. You can get the help uh, the hat. The headpiece. I get her head. No. Right. Uh, let's grab this. My truncheon. 
Um, yeah, Tarman, let's just give you. All right, Tarman, let's go. Just in a couple frames here. Frame must be really messing with us. Okay. Across we go. It's very dark. It's very dark right now. That's okay. That's our objective right there, where all the lights are. Alright, where is our friend? Not you. You're not it. Can I get that shield? Oh, defeat humans. Nice. Not what I was looking for, but I'll, I'll take it. Got to skin people. Defeat humans, harvest silver, craft peace, lotus flower, and crimson flower. Well. Oh, gather a lotus. Oh, yeah. You know, let's get frost lotus while we're here. We should pick up some frost lotus while we're here. Is that him? him? No, it's not him. Oh, who's this? Oh, get John the Tinker. Get him. Get him, Tarman. Get him. We can pick up Leanne later. We can pick up Leanne later. Get, get that guy. Now. I'll kill Tarman. You take him out, I'll kill Tarman. Tarman, come here. Or Leanne, sorry. And I'd like to take both, but I can't. Come on, Leanne. Come here. Okay, so stamina first. Hold on. I'm over and covered. Stamina regen is really slow now. Yeah, we want to get Leanne to replace Carmen. So I can carve it on your there we go. Thank you, Leanne. Get over here. Oh. Come on, get John. Get him now. What kind of team am I having? I'm having Earl Grey tea today. Woohoo! Look at what he drops. Jeez. Two hardened steel axes. Perfect. Done. Let's get my back. Ahead and give you your weapon. This. Uh, where's your weapon? Oh, that's right. It weighs nothing, so it should be at the bottom. Um, perfect. We'll have to come back and get Leanne another time. Bummer. It is what it is. This. Smelter. It's gonna be good. We'll increase the speed at which we smelt stuff. We want at least one. We've got a tier one smelter back home, but this is a tier four smelter. He's a big boy. Um, let's go and grab some uh, white, uh, blue lotus here real quick. And then we will head back home past the obelisk. I don't have a sickle on me, so it's going to be a little obnoxious, but that's fine. Well, I don't have hide, do I? Ask Master Tier 1, Tier 2, 3, I don't really care about that. I might, we might have to get back with Fiber Bindings. <laughs> we might have got to get back with Fiber Bindings. I really need to make the next level of Bindings. This isn't Rawhide, right? What is this? Leather Bindings, yeah. So I need actual leather to repair it. Uh, do we have any actual leather in us now? We just have hide, uh, hides. That's it. Bummer. Oh wow. That's fun. Live. Okay, so that little spit of uh, that little island right here. That's what we need. We're on this island. We'll go pick up our um, cross lotuses, blue lotus, whatever it is. We'll be on our way. Come on, Tarman. Let's go. get a little cold over here. Just have to suffer for a minute. String cold taking damage. Need a lotus. 
Hooray! But it's acquired. Now you can grow this back home. Hey, Where back. are you? What kind of dancer are you? Tier one. That's fine. What should we get? Nine frost lotus seeds and a fifteen frost lotus. Nice. All right, we can start making elixirs once we start getting our uh, potent compost pile up and running. It's gonna be good. Get that really going. Uh, you can't climb with a thrall. Why did I forget that? How did I forget that? I guess the better question is how did I forget that? So we definitely can't go through the passage. So I have to climb with the thrall. You get from one side to the, of the passage to the other, you have to climb. There's no way around it. So we'll just have to drop the old-fashioned way. That's fine. We'll swing on by uh, Liam's base and see what's been going on with his place. Come on, Tarman. Come on. Um, the other option is we could just build a thrall camp here. We could just build a thrall camp here. I need iron now. I don't have... Well, we can make a smelter. Iron's not hard to get. It's right around the corner. That way we could just have these two sit here and train. We can pick them up later. It's an option. We do have our build hammer. Hmm. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Hey, how's it going, Deadpool? How are you doing? How's your stream today? Where'd your stream go? Let's just jump up here. Let's make a... Let's make a little house here. Hello? That's a Taskmaster Tier 1. Nah, he can die. Okay. Here, where is these hatches? It'd be nice if we would break those down to parts and pieces. All right, uh, building pieces. Hello. Oh, don't hit him. Let's steal. Any more? I need wood first. Let's go knock down these trees here real quick. Punk. Let's knock down trees. Let's get some stone, and we'll make a make a little hut. Make a little hut. The iron's gonna be a little more obnoxious, but that's not too bad. Right? What, what else? What do we need for a fall wheel? Crafting stations, companions. Oh, they wanted. Oh, what does it say? Stone, iron, and twine. The forest. Yeah, so we can make a basic one. So convenient getting that iron here. It'll be done. Just don't want to do it. Uh, all right. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll, we'll probably want to be... Uh, we need to start farming better thralls. All the thralls we have that we're getting are down low, so... Gotta get that work done. What are you working on? Sorcery is what we're supposed to be working on, but now we're working on getting some thralls to get it. Because we need more interns. Which makes me now think that maybe killing Leanne was a mistake. He should respawn between now and... Uh, between when we killed him when we have this place up and running. It just makes itself blossom. Honestly, we got so many trees here. I think I want to put it up a ball. I don't look I don't look by the water. It's kinda of nice by the water here. Work camp right here. I don't like the idea of putting it over here though. around. Yeah, let's go put that up and around. Because then it's closer to the other Thrall camp as well. It'll be in between this camp and the other camp, and then there's <gasps> that Archer and Taskmaster. They're rarely any... They, I, I rarely ever see anything good pop up from there. Uh, we can also check across <gasps> the way, too. Ideally, we don't, we don't use just the basic Thrall uh, wheels, but we're going to have to use the basic Thrall wheels for now. 
no real way around it. Um, insulated, uh, not insulated, flossum, there we go. A flossum house. Build it right here. That would be raised a little bit. Go. That way. That way. Remember, we need a three by three for one thrall wheel. We're gonna have multiple. One, two, three, one, two, three, and You'll be doing another one at the back. Although, um, no. We'll go one further forward. We'll go one more forward. That just, uh, it's like it's being swallowed by the ground. Let's not do that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm working on setting up thralls. We're going to go ahead and get it so that we can, uh, because we need better thralls that are more skilled. That's the problem we're running into right now, is we just don't have enough skilled labor. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So we go right. What the? Failed to place. Body was in the way. Okay. There we go. There. There we go. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get crafting stations, smithing. I don't have enough stuff. Okay. Well, luckily we can get that sorted. We need to get this, uh, fact we need to get our factory online here. Uh, ooh, our binding's about to break, that's all. Uh, so let's grab them up on, let's pull them up on top of here. And I guess we'll just have to let them sit there for right now. Don't go anywhere, mister, I need you. <laughs> like, do not go anywhere. Right, crafting station, smithy, smelting. <laughs> Uh, for right now, we'll just dump two right here. All right, come on, Tarman. We gotta run real quick. The iron's over here. Oh. Is there closer iron? Closer iron? Mm -hmm. There might be to the north, but I can't remember exactly where it is. We'll run down here. I don't remember if there's iron here. Ah, oh, there is. Perfect. We don't have to go far at all. Excellent. Some iron. All this iron stone. Thank goodness our tools aren't broken yet. Last for a while yet. That's great. Uh, and we need, what, 100 iron per... Right, there's 100 iron per... Um, wheel? Oh. 50 iron per wheel. That's fine. What do I need 100 for? Perfect. So that means we need 100, which means we need 200, and we have more than 200 iron already. So let's get back over there and get started. Uh, while that's going, I guess I need to go pick up twine the old-fashioned way. That's gonna be a pain because I don't have a. Okay, I just need to carry my sickle on me at all times, don't I? I can't just leave it behind to try and keep my weight down. It seems like I just can't do that. That's a pain. But it is what it is. All right. Ironstone, take wood, burn. Ironstone, take wood, and burn. We need to get some twine now. Uh, let's also go ahead and let's reset this. Pick up. Down. Okay. Get some twine. The old fashioned way. One at a time. Go. Get that pig, Tarman. We'll get that pig. Watch your flanks. Me and me mates are thick as thieves. Tarman, keep fighting. Keep trying to interact with the food, but nope. Uh, we need a butcher's knife for you. Knife. So some pork, it's good some meat, and savory flesh. You get so much good stuff from pigs, it's crazy. So that should be enough for us to make all the twine we need. Is your twine, I think that's enough? 
50, 50 twine. Holy jeez. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, I was very much wrong. I need 50 twine. Fifty twine. Per. You wanna make two. Or make at least the one. That guy can get going. You can put him down, you don't have to worry about it. Goodness. That should be enough, for at least the first one. Twenty six? No, it's not enough. We have 47 twine. We can make 47 twine currently. Not enough. Not interact. Or plants. Alright, I think that's enough now. Can we make more than three? Make eight. Perfect. <laughs> Thank goodness. Alright, let's get our uh, iron and we can get this going. Okay, good, he's still unconscious. Move them again. Oh, they're broken. See, I need thick leather for these. That's a real problem for me. We don't have any way to make thick leather, so we're going to have to use basic bindings. Which I think... Ah, okay. I need more. I need more. Uh, do you have five plant fiber, please? Oh, come on. Thank you. Five plant fiber. Binding? Wood. Oh, I was about to go grab some, but yeah, sorry, we can just grab from here. Bam. Six and five. Take five off for a second. Grab them. Five. Back there. Perfect. In there, you. Do I have, like, steak or stuff lying around in my pockets? No. I got this one steak here. You can get started. Got five minutes to get things sorted. Oh, excellent. Take everything. All right, Tarman. Uh, we're going to make a little ni a nice little base here. Right, Tarman, you stand guard right at the door. That'd be great. Thank you. Go ahead and make some walls. Uh, what do I need for more of this? I need more iron, more twine. Yeah, I had a feeling I'd need more twine, huh? <laughs> Saw that come. Door. Go. Lots of door needs twine. Oh, for gracious sakes, okay. Everything needs twine, no! Oh, we have a window here, and a window here. Get walls. this. We'll make a very basic little hut here. Nothing too special. Walls here. Uh, instead of going too high, let's go ahead and let's get a roof on it. Which, maybe we don't, because that takes fiber. It's gonna look better, though. You know, what, why don't we do a two-story? Let's do a quick two-story here. Hold on. Let's go and get roofs. There's roof. There's roof. <laughs> up, up, please. Up, please. Oh my goodness. Server, please. Server! Help me! That's why we made it outside. Alright, we'll just, uh, we'll stand on this one for now. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll just do a short top over the thrall wheel, and we can put a second wheel above it. There we go. We can go ahead and we can get uh, more stairs. Yeah, we'll go right here. You. Okay, so we can come up this way. The same on this side. Oh, the furnace is too tall, I see. That's fine, we're not gonna stay up there. There's 
the way. Perfect. Okay. We have a second floor now. And railing. Go. Yeah, no. Fine. Okay. Rear fiber. Well darn. We'll start to the base, though. Right, let's go get to. Let's go find some more. Let's go find some more. I mean, honestly, all we're doing at this point now is we're delaying until Leanne respawns in 15 minutes. It's a 15 minute respawn timer, but fault of memory serves for thralls. Just go ahead and let that continue as we get all the fiber we can think of. Fiber we can stomach really run around picking up. We are getting more. Um, more seeds, which is good, too. I do want to check that base as well. That base might have something nice. And then we can always just retro... Um, retroactively convert this thing into a better thrall pit. For, uh, for northern... Northern thralls. Uh, Alright, so what do we want to deal with? I do with flotsam roofs. Good. I don't know. Honestly, I do prefer the thatch ones more. That's not what I want. Oh, uh, what's the other one? This one. Corner. No. I literally just made that one. Isn't there another corner one that's better? No? Okay, yeah, so we should have a corner one that fits right here. That was not doing it. Ah, not... Yeah. Oh, that's the right one. So I thought, okay. It's cheese. Must have been placing it just the wrong direction. Well, it won't work this way, because there won't be enough space for me to get through. It works over here, but I can't... I can't actually enter that square. I won't quite work on this side. So, what we can do instead... I can still I can get up and down this way with this. Okay. Can I still get through this? Can't, funnily enough. Uh, no, what we'll do is we'll just have this be a, a tall a tall side. Um the triangle slope over there? No. What can I do it? Uh okay, we'll just go for flossum. Go for an angled roof. Go for an angled roof side design here. Oh, I need the other one. Go. Do that. And then we can go back to sandstone, thatch. Oof. There we go. Oh, am I out of twine? Is like there fiber? Oh, yeah, it's also been five minutes apparently. This is a good timer for us. Uh, here. Continue on that. We've got plenty of steak. Got three hours he's running on. You need to get more twine. So let's see if Leanne's come back yet. Because if so, then we want to go and push for getting him on that as well. Have they respawned down there? Not yet. Actually, I think there's a note down here we can nap real quick while we're at it. While we're down here. Grab that for the plant popper. Matrix is used for something too. Alright, what does this do? Special cooking! Oh! I've been attempting to sa uh, scavenge for more mushrooms in the area, but found none. I brought my notes so I could show my companions the pictures of which mushrooms to forage. Last night, Frangar brought a, a red speckled one that I have never seen before. I have made some notes on potential uses for it. But I will not be the first to try them out. <laughs> good call, good call. Oh, what do we get from that? Knowledge. Cooking. Uh, okay. Mushroom stew, roasted mushrooms, owl mold brew, and Sumerian feast and mushroom tea. Nice! Some good picks. Cool. You really like this area in the game? 
Um, it's one of the, the prettiest. Oh yeah, no, definitely, I completely agree. I like this area the most. That. But where I'm at right now with that little island, oh, it's it's so gorgeous over there. Especially once we have it completely. Um, once I've gone and I've completely civilized that region, it's gonna look really nice. This is your base area right here. That's a good area. I like it. Yeah, we're gonna get this little thrall camp set up here. It's gonna be nice. Twine. Put me three. You don't need more twine than that. Civilized. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll civilize. You we just have to remove the locals. You know. We just have to remove the local shale banks and uh, uh, Komodo dragons and that one person that spawns randomly. That's all. Make friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're going to make some friends. More twine. So, you know what? I'm curious. Can we just... Do I have what I need to make a blacksmith? Almost. Hey, you. How's about... No, that's the wrong button. How's about... So, I'm, I'm gonna go make a sickle in, like, the most scrappy way possible, because we're allowed to... Since we get full refunds on items that we create... Oh. We good. Nor the piggy, we don't need to kill the piggy right now. Oh, wait a minute. More important things to do. Okay. I got piggy. One, two, three. Piggy. Up for head. A bunch of food. Uh, where did I put my furnace? Oh, there it is. Literally didn't see it because I'm blind. Okay. Now. Blacksmith down somewhere. Not I can put it down over there. Take everything. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the blacksmith down, we're going to make ourselves a sickle, and then we'll be able to use a sickle, because we'll make one over here. <laughs> a bearer thrall. We really could use a bearer thrall. Imagine having full authority uh, perks, so you can have an extra person, and you have a bearer thrall. Oh, that's really good. Alright, with the pittance of iron I've got on hand, what do I need for an iron sickle? 30! Branches do I have? Do I have no branches? I don't. Smelter online. Get 30 of these suckers and we're good to go. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we probably should make ourselves a campfire. Let's put it out of here. About 50 for now. Done. If I will put down stairs here. It's a little cramped downstairs, but that's okay. This place isn't supposed to be like homely. It's supposed to just work. Get some thick hide from those uh, boars. It's good. Look at how much meat we got from the boar. It's nuts. Absolutely insane how much you get from them. But yes, let's go ahead and let's drop off all the saving flesh. Make a little bit of wood. 50. Now we should have 50. And there we go. Get that cooked. Alright, so we have plenty of food coming in for him, so no worries there. We've got plenty of iron coming in for us now. We're still not at the point we need. We're only at 14 iron. We need significantly more for us to make this. That'll be good. In the meantime, I should still be able to construct the remainder of the plots and stuff, though. If I had wood on me, of course. Uh, Got that. 
Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Um, so from here, we will take windows. Knock out these two. Curious. Side. Do fit together. There's a cross on it. Does it do anything else? What does this look like? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. Get that swoop in there. Perfect. Looks good. I just need the thatch. Need the thatch, I'm good to go. Um, for the thatch, though. We're gonna want to have our sickle, so we don't have to go completely mental <laughs> to acquire it. Uh, where'd my iron go? It's 31. Where's that sickle? There's that sickle. Build me the sickle, please. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be amazing. We need this thing. Now I learned not to go home without, uh, not to leave home without it. You never know. Like, so we were getting about six per plant. Now we're getting about 173 per plant. Or I guess 100 per plant. I guess he had some still on hand. Let's grab all this down here. We should be able to go back and get these stashed roots done. Get some stamina. Can't uh, can't do any actions until you have at least a little bit. We'll also be coming back with a bunch of Highland Berries. Uh, and Highland Berry Seeds. For that matter. Alright, let's finish up this little hot. Perfect. Finish up this little hut, then we need to get back to base so we can actually do the sorcery, which is the first thing we can't win on uh, our adventure core. But getting a tier 4 smelter and getting a Leanne started would be ideal since it takes so long to recruit them. It takes literally over 20 hours. Um, so we might as well get that started. This here. Right, do we want to do that? Yeah, that might be good. That contains the swoop, right? Uh, <laughs> nope. Not when you don't know where the front door is. Never mind. Just gonna go back to thatch. <laughs> Close, but not quite. Oh, well, I need all my branches back. Okay, I see. Give me my branches back. It's fine. Okay, thatch. I need the basic thatch roof. Good. Still be able to walk down here. It's kind of a kind of a you know tight spot, but we can do it. Go. Oh, what am I going to do about that? Hmm. What do I want to do about this? Once I get it to... If I can get it to... Maybe I can't get to connect. Yes, yeah, so I can get go this way. But I don't know. I guess we just delete this corner once. Work. Delete. Delete. We'll cap them after this. Here, this goes here, and then we'll oh nope, <laughs> go there. What are you doing? Okay, perfect. And then we can we just cap this. 
lots of floor. There we go. Then we go back to sandstone and get our some triangles. Oh, some caps, corners, corners. Wait. That's the Right? No, please. Come on. Mm. There we go. We got it. Takes a minute. Okay. Is these two left? One, two. Perfect! We got our little hut done. Ah, look at that. It's good. We could round the sides. That would look even better. I could, like, take out this piece here. Round it. It's not a square building. It definitely looks better with the windows, though. Um, let's see. Floor, plus and door, plus and door. Perfect. Just like that, we've got a place. Mistakes. I think it goes an hour before they burn, so it's fine. Right, then we'll jump back up here and we will take the iron. I need way more iron, don't I? China, we got in here. Right. We'll take at least half. Oh. And then we can build ourselves. And crafting companions, and we need more twine. <laughs> we require more twine. Oh, okay, I'm gonna change. Sure, I'm gonna start making it. Let's go see if Leanne is back. If Leanne's back. We can go and knock him out. Let's gotta knock him out. Put him on the wheel. Good to go. That guy's. That's it. That's good. Yeah, Leanne's back. Perfect. Sit down, Nord. Oh, steel reinforcements. Jeez, okay. I don't need to leave with this guy. You know. Where's my skin? There it is. Nope. Alright, so we can go grab Carmen. Going. Um. Oh, geez, we got plenty of twine already. Never mind. Let's go build this first. Construction hammer. We'll build this thing first. Canyons. This will be the pain. And I didn't want to look in here before. I'm trying to shut the door so I can get upstairs. Thank you. But not upstairs. Downstairs. We want this to line up. There we go. Perfect. All the stuff being cooked here can be for Leanne. Go ahead and get you her truncheon. All right, let's go get Leanne real quick. Get him, get on there, and then we're out of here. And we can go do some sorcery. Learn even more spells. All right, mister. I didn't tell him to follow me today. <laughs> Whoops! Crap, real quick. Totally forgot. It's not making twine. It's, that is plenty of twine. We don't need any more. It's fine. Uh, Leanne, if you'd be so kind as to follow me, that'd be great. I mean, I really like this shield. It's a good shield. It's 41 damage. The envelope of gift is really good. 
never seen this weapon before. Throw it if we want to. I think that's awesome. And say hello to Tarman. Tarman, say hello to Leanne. So since they've respawned, is this going to be filled? No. Oh, yes. Nice. No, no, no. Leanne, not Liam. Le Leanne. One, one letter difference. Very easy to very easy to confuse the two. I am sorry about that. No. Not you. You're good. Oh, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go grab him. Watch your face. Me and me mates are like his thieves. He does so much damage. Armin's getting messed up. If I didn't get involved, Armin would probably die from this. Uh, whack him. Up the big wax. Oh, oh, Leon, no! <laughs> come here! Leon, come here! Don't you can go anywhere, mister. Why am Okay, perfect. We did the thing! Get Leon in here, let's make sure there's plenty of food on him. Oh, we'll probably pick up like, a bunch of, um... Oh, well, we still have some plant fiber. We can make some gruel as well. We'll get that going. And then Leon uh, can be training with John. Get him in here. Does it look like it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably pretty painful. I have to say hello to your little home. Barely away from home. Uh, do I have seeds and... I've got seeds and... Where's my fiber? Go ahead and let's make a bunch of gruel here. Done. Cut off. And potions. There. Nice. Now I don't have to carry anyone home with this. Rule in there. He's got an hour and change. We need to get a lot more in there than that. He's got 19 hours. Pretty good. Oh, it's still be better though. One. Okay, that should be enough for him. I didn't have much of a gruel at all. Uh, what if I took your gruel? Sorry, man. Seven hours. That is still not enough. I need 20 hours on this thing. Uh, where can I find more plant fiber? I've gone through most of it. There's still some over here. Oh, it's, re it's respawned. Perfect. Perfect, just respawned. I'm gonna say, like, we're gonna start tr struggling to find plant fiber if it doesn't respawn here. That's some iron stone in that. That's funny. <laughs> we just managed to just. There's a slightly nick it. Perfect. Next. Get me more. I require more. The stack, that should be fine. Look at our cute little hut. It's a little tall, but eh, it's fine. The roof is a little little big. It looks a little goofy on this side, I'll be honest. We can work on that later. I mean, this is probably a temporary structure, honestly. We we'll probably rip out everything all the way down to the baseboards and out, and then maybe just use the foundations. Build off the foundations. Fiber. Perfect. Make a bunch here. Where's my hammer? There it is. Look at that. While we're here, make life easy. Make a bedroll. Just in case you die while we're here. <laughs> we don't need the one over at the other location. 
needs to dive over here. Start off by filling Harmon back up. Rule. Stack, no? Yeah. Fill up gruel. We'll fill up uh, land with even more gruel. And we'll head home. Thanks. This mask is slowly growing on me. Slowly growing on me. Uh, we can drop off some more steak here. Well, 25 hours worth of steak as long as it doesn't decay too fast. I think it will though. That's yeah, fine. Again, if we get close with him, it should be okay. We just use a Taskmaster to finish him off. It makes it like 80%, we should be okay. He's full up. For nine hours. Any more to go. Let's see, what food do we want to be carrying ourselves? I don't know how many food I've made now. Specifically for me. Oh, you can just leave our two spice steaks. Not anything too special. Waiting on that campfire. Perfect. Oh man, I hope we're almost done with sorcery uh, learning. <laughs> We've been focusing on sorcery learning for a while. Running around and getting the ingredients for it has been pretty brutal. Black blood was kind of tough because we had to come all the way up here to do it. Um, more wood. Um, I'm curious if there's anything after this what we would need. Oh, we need to make dragon powder when we get back too. Like 30 black blood and 10 dragon powder. We have everything we need to make the dragon powder though, so that's easy. That is simple. Luckily. Okay, grab all this. 14 hours. Still have a lot more to go. Make sure it's 24. So in the meantime, let's actually take a look, see what kind of thralls are over here. If we find another uh group four, we can just go make another spot for him. Meta watch. What kind of bearer is that? Boy, oh, a bear. Oh my goodness, it's a bear tier one. Okay, it's almost dead. The stamina, please. Thank you. Stamina for a combo. Nice. The steel that we're getting is really good. It's free steel. That bear pouch, I mean, it's probably nothing special in this bear pack. Stone and fiber. Hey, you know what? I'll take that fiber. <laughs> Would have been nice to have had earlier, though. Eight gold coins. Ooh. Remember, gold coins equals, um... That's right. Isn't there a taskmaster that spawns right there every time? There is. There is a Taskmaster that spawned here, because there's always a Taskmaster that spawns here. What level of Taskmaster are you, sir? <laughs> ah, tier one. <laughs> I mean, we might as well take him. Death to the it's faster than nothing. For the north. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Okay, I need some stamina. Blacksmith on out. Out. Punk. Okay. Tell me your name so that I can carve it on your pyre. Alright, and oh I wanna <laughs> put my I wanna put my weapon, don't do that. Out. Out. He's unconscious, so we'll go ahead and we'll make another one for him. 
stamina damage is pretty brutal. And you hit. Completed. More steel, nice. Alright, we got plenty, plenty. I don't know if we have plenty of twine. Okay, cool. Let's go, Let's go make another thrall wheel. Uh, crafting hammer's already equipped. Where is the crafting hammer? Just missing wood. All right, that's fine. Pick that up. But yeah, this way, what ends up happening is if uh, either of these guys don't quite have enough, um, well, wouldn't that? Uh, if either of these guys end up not having quite enough uh, training done, and they're not quite ready when we swing on by, uh, we can always just plop the taskmaster into the uh, into the table or into the you know, crafting station uh, into the wheel. And it'll just instantly pop them up to whatever that percentage is, so it'll work out well. Uh, this after seeing your character can get a new title, uh, The Human Butcher. Yes. What a delectable title. Harvest Stone. Okay, well, we'll be doing that later. We do now. We can just get this done now. <laughs> In case there's something that we can only do while up here. Quickly, learn, learn to cut down some stones. I really would like if these challenges, like, <gasps> rewarded you with more experience and had you do something more meaningful. I'll do it, because we're already here. Done. Completed. Oh, it's the disc. Okay. Done. So we got what we needed. But right, that is right. It is all done. Alright, so let's get this thing set upstairs. Ooh, it's gonna need some light on. Porch. This? <laughs> it's like, wait a second, we haven't put any lights in this house. The very dark house. The roof. The roof is the problem. Ah. Okay. Oh, where's my binding? Ooh, that's right. <laughs> that's gonna be... Uh, let's make sure this fire's on. And, uh, let's make sure it doesn't stop. We'll, just, we'll do that. Actually, <laughs> I need the light because, um... Yeah, we put the torch down, don't we? We when we pull this out, we put the torch down. They use the same they use the same hand slot. There we go. It makes it way easier being able to see with that backlighting. Carmen? That guy only needs like four hours of gruel, so that's an easy one. Uh, no, don't stop. Keep going. Keep, keep running, you're fine. 24 hours and change. Perfect. That's enough for you. Eight hours. Yeah, it's plenty for you. You're tier one. Alright. Oh, jeez. Carmen? Follow me? Got places to go, things to do. We're done with here. Um, let's see, let's get the skin knife. Alright, time to head home. Uh, well, you're currently thralling uh, the Tessa, uh, the potent, who's a cook. Uh, so that's your progress so far. Where is Vitessa at? The name does not sound familiar. Oh, where's Vitessa at, Jake? But yeah, no, if you're getting a named cook, I think a named cook gives you even more cooking options than the others. At least more so than the tier ones and twos. I don't know if it does so for threes. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna go back through the passage here. Go pick up the obelisk. Then we'll be back home for some sorcery. Oh, in Tarman's uh, birth? Really? There's a tier 4 cook that spawns there? Seriously? Whoa. I could use a tier 4 cook. Okay. I'll have to go look for her. I'll have to go take a look. Hmm. Uh, food wise, do I have anything else I want to eat other than the spiced foods? You know what? We should just do berries. Just do island berries. It's fine. There we go. Full water and a decent amount of food. Or oh, we're not all the way up yet. I thought we were. I got distracted because I was looking at my inventory. A little bit further. Now we can go north. Okay. go. So we'll get through the passage, and we'll then get that obelisk, we'll get back, we'll do sorcery. Is there anything else we need to focus on? I, I guess the most come down to what the sorcery requirements are. The next bit of sorcery needs are um, hopefully they're not as exotic as these have been. These have been some pretty exotic items. <laughs> Black blood? I only get in one place in the, on the map. And then the dragon horn was a real pain to go and pick that up. It took so long. <laughs> it took so long to do because we were trying to do it off of uh, farming the babies so we didn't have to fight the big ones. Turns out we should have just fought the big ones because fighting the green dragon twice would have been plenty of times. Like we got what, 12? Yeah, we got 12 off the green dragon. Doing that twice would have been enough. Um, but, I don't know. It's very cold. Yes, it is, indeed, in fact. It is. All right, then can we go? Unfortunately, all the spiders have definitely respawned by now. So is he. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. Ah. Oop, oop. Watch your flanks. The enemy mates are thick as thieves. Stamina. If you want to use a weapon instead of your... Oh, that's right. You can't. I... <laughs> with, the, with the sound uh, distortion when we're out of stamina, that is hysterical. Totally forgot that he still has his uh, stunning weapon on right now. So he's doing no damage. Well, he's doing one damage per hit. Hey, we got a wizard skull off this guy and some brimstone. Nice. Uh, and you need to be using your lodestone. Perfect. Okay. Well, off we go. Alrighty. Check something real quick here. So we need to start thinking about doing food stuff. Um. We got a lot of pork. We could use salt and spiced pork. I don't know what we need for berry juice. And school is, I think, aloe, so we can do that. We don't have... Oh, we have some edible mushrooms. Not much. We're so absurdly overweight. Oh, yeah, we're incredibly overweight. It's ridiculous. We're at 317 total carry weight capacity currently. <laughs> our, our comfortable, happy weights... Of like, oh, I can't carry anymore, I feel staggered, is uh, a while ago. Down we go. Down we go. It's the queen! Actually, if Tarman's down here, we might as well just go annihilate her. 
Marvin? Oh, alright, we're just gonna go on around then. Nothing here I really need. I mean, we can get more Gossamer, but eh, we can just use the um, Executioner's Cave or whatever it is. Plenty of spiders in there. No need to focus on these ones, don't you? Hit me with that. Alright, trap me. Slow down my moving speed. So many spiders in this cave. Oh! Up we go! Over here, Tarman. No, I was actually worried. Not seeing Tarman, I was like, uh, is he still on the other side? Come with? Come on, Tarman, let's go. Oh, he's already up here, I see. Hi, Tarman. Oh, no, server, don't do this to me. Thank you. And the server's like, ah, you got all the way up, but your character isn't all the way up. But we stopped your climbing animation, so you fall now. What? Also, no stamina regain, because you've been climbing this whole time, even when you weren't climbing. What? What? But how are you doing today, Dalka? How have you been? Daisies? Go. Lastly, we're getting more, much more stamina for this one. Stamina regen is so slow. <laughs> you actually count the individual numbers as opposed to um, all the other times stamina regen, which like literally jumps. You see, well, got up super late. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, went to bed super late because of Formula One. Nice. Well, there you go. Also, for record, this is where we're on the map now. I'm from over here, there. It's such a good shortcut. Such a good shortcut. Alright. Our objective is right here. We grab that real quick, and then we're out of here. <laughs> grab this, and then we are leaving this gross jungle. My goodness. Yep, here they come. Uh oh, Griffin poisoned us very bad. See one of the two structures. That's the structure we need. Come on. Come on. The upper staging area. It is just touch the thing. Touch. Attuned. Oh. Scooting. I can't really see anything on this one over here. Ow. Yeah, is there anything up here? Spider. No. No. No journals. Okay. <laughs> Over. Harmon's over there just actually murdering things. Come on, Tarman. Gotta go. Crippled and crippling. Holy. Crippling, poison, and crippling. And now poison. Jeez, I gotta run. Holy mo. Holy moly. Run for it. Yeah, there. Almost, we're almost got free. Oh, the jungle's just the worst. What? Did you seriously knock me over while I was in the air already? He's trying to jump over these things that got hit. Come on, get over here. Come on. Gotta go. Okay. Oof, we got out of the crazy part of the jungle. We now we're just in the normal jungle. Don't you jump on me. Don't you do it. Let's just plant 
fire purple means? Huh. I don't think I ever noticed these are um, pickable. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Almost out of here. So close. What is that noise? Oh, it's a, a very angry water snake. And a, and a jaguar. Or a tiger. Nope, it's a jaguar. The snake's still on me. Run away. Oh, jeez, no. Come on, Tarman. Oh. And more stamina regen. The Tarman's got his attention. God, no, this, the snake is still on me. The snake won't, just won't let go. Okay, finally left me alone. Holy moly. The eye that never closes. No items in here. This is another regular base. For like big clans on PvP servers. Building there. Alright. We should be more or less home free from this point out. We just need to go past our last death point. Get there, drop off everything we can into the vault. The vault's not going to be able to hold everything, unfortunately. I really need to go and sit down and deal with it. It's a mess. It's a mess. But, it's our mess. <laughs> uh, Alright. I am looking forward to getting this done. Wait, that's just Tarman's footsteps behind me. Still getting nervous from time to time. Still getting nervous. We can just use the dried up riverbed. Or er, dried up lake bed here. Not riverbed. Yeah. I think there's a boss lion or jaguar or tiger or something down here. The blue one? White one, maybe? Probably white one. I've seen some really cool bases built in there. Yeah, there it is. Well done, Tarman. Kill this one. On our way home, kill it. We'll get it. Go we'll get it, Tarman. The big scary boss. Moves that where it spins around is really tough to track. Oh yeah, we got some real damage in there. I also did that to Tarman though too. <laughs> I did some real damage to Tarman at the same time. Whoa. Sorry, Tarman. You'll dance for me now. Or you'll swing for me later. Twenty thousand hit points. Holy moly! Sorry, Tarman. We're doing well so far, Tarman. We're doing well so far. He's taking more damage than you. No chance, mate. Man, that full combo. Okay, stop myself from spinning on him. Is it a three skull boss? Yeah. How's it going, Spectre? How are you doing today? What'd you expect? True. True. It's the same, same strength as the, uh, the dark the dark bird thing that we killed no and uh, the. Whoa, my goodness. <laughs> the green dragon. So it's up there and being sturdy. It doesn't have a lot of AoE attacks, which is why it's fine and we're doing okay. Unlike the uh, rock branch or rock whatever. Uh, in which he's got a lot of AoE attacks, in which uh, don't do that well against because of the AoE. Also, he has uh, quick succession attacks, too. Hockey, hockey, mate. Like, that's why we ended up dying, because he does damage so quickly. 
Doing fine. Uh, doing fine. Feel a little hangover though. Ooh, was it a fun night last night? Do you have a fun one? Stamina. Armor's healing a little bit. Looks good. Hey, Alstice, how are you doing? Greetings. How are you doing? Had a lot of beer last night. Uh, I understand. Okay, come on. Make sure he's focusing on Tarman. If I can stay far enough away that I don't also hit Tarman. Holy jeez, my health. Ow. Watch your flanks. We and we may try to take his thieves. We got a rock here. Watch your flanks. Yikes. Me and me may You're currently fighting off the gold? Oh no. That's not good. Oh, can I just stand here? Is he just going to try and go for me? But he's being body blocked? Oop. Get him, Tarman. Yeah, get him, Tarman. Yeah. I right, well, we'll be here for a hot second. Oh, no. Okay. I have my hands off the keyboard and mouse right now. You'll dance for me now, or you'll swing for me later. Oh yeah, you dumped, uh, you just dumped on that, uh, Path of Exiles. There's a Pathfinder 2 e game. What'd you do? Wait, so what'd you do? You spent two weeks asking a straight, uh, asking for a straight answer, and, uh, only got a vague straight-ish one the moment you brought forth the character. Nice. Yeah, that's no good. See, like... Oh, this is actually a boss that's a... Oh, okay. Aha! I understand why they're so difficult now. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. I never knew that this one had a uh, had a chest next to it. Well, all right then. Yeah, I always hate it when it's like, can I make a character like this? And they're like, well, I mean, this, this should be fine. That should be fine. And you're like, cool, great. And you go, you know, you theory craft, and you build your character, and it's gonna be the best character, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be awesome. And the next thing you know, they're like, you sit down for oh, gameplay, and they're like, um, yeah, it's not gonna work in this game. Sorry. Watch your legs. I mean, main thralls, uh, not the ones with uh, numbers at the end of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tarman's still Tarman right now, but I need, I need to help him out. He's starting to take more damage than he's doing again. Spin into a man. Some more stamina again. Laying back too long. But yeah, Tarman's definitely earned a name. He needs a name when we get home. He's earned his name on this adventure. Helping us kill four bosses, four triple skull bosses. The green dragon, uh, this uh, albino tiger, and two of the winged, uh, whatchamacallit monsters. The children of something. Whoa. Uh, you never had a straight answer to that. The M kept uh, hiding, uh, hiding behind. It's a case by case basis. Oh come on! Come on! Gotta get a straight answer. Oh, what was the question? I'm curious what he was dodging. <gasps> Whoa! Tarman, Tarman, I have no stamina, please. Tarman. Okay, good. Myself off here. I guess I have no stamina, I can't roll it. I really. Oh, he just said that. Oh, he just did right now. Uh, I'll have to read it after I kill this guy because I'm, I'm not reading chat properly, clearly. Let me kill this guy real quick and then we'll uh, I'll go to the chat. I thought this guy was a single skull boss. That's so why I started to attack him. I thought it was a single skull. You'll me now, or you'll swing nice. for me later. Level 16. Excellent. Got a key. We just got him down. And it's a brand new, never before seen, the Impaler. Man, more spears? Come on. 
I don't want a spear. Or something else. That's fine. Oh, I'm all the same now. I'll take it. We can put it on our thralls. That's good. All right, what did I miss? All right, let's go through Dalka's stuff here real quick. Uh, you spent two weeks asking for a straight answer and got only a vague straight-ish one the moment you brought forth your char uh, a character. You're so mad. Um, the first thing you asked... Let's make sure I'm going to the right place. See if there's home. Um, the first thing you asked when you joined the game is, am I allowed... Uh, am I allowed to make? Okay. Um, and you never got a straight answer. The DM kept saying, uh, kept hiding behind, it's a case-by-case -case basis. And can't really give a blanket no because I don't want to uh, stifle creativity or your enjoyment. The question was, uh, am I allowed to make what is banned? You told me no automatons or uh, no androids or automatons. And that was that. So you showed up with an inventor and he told me, no, that won't fit. Oh, for goodness sakes. Nice. Okay. I see. Well, that's dumb. Armor the Untarnished? I mean, seems like it. This guy's been doing a very good job. Oh my goodness. Still need to write a backstory for your Dwarven Barbarian? Oh, get on it. Come on, Spencer. Get on there. Every good character's got at least a backstory that you can lean on. You don't have to tell the other players the backstory. You don't need it to be a long list. You just need a backstory to understand your character's motivations. So that you can do weird things and people are like, wait a second. Why is he doing that? It's like, well, you weren't paying attention to this backstory earlier, were you? Were you? Only have 530 pages left in the book? Jeez. Now you just blast your books. It's impressive. Must have been. Oh, wow, look at this guy. He's been a librarian in your. in a past life. Lost the murderer. You shall murder no longer. Get this up for oils. I think this is probably all done, right? Yeah. And let's get back up there. Very nice. Um, and there was another player in the group uh, asking if they could play with free archetypes uh, and even levels. We also never got a strange answer. Oh my goodness. I swear. I'm just going to dump everything in here right now that I don't keep on my person normally. Then we'll pull everything out after. Clear up space. In the vault. Everything goes in the vault. Those, those are now mine. Drop that, drop that. That. Uh, we're actually gonna get rid of that one. Okay, we're out of inventory space. Alright, let's so we'll clear out what we have in our in our remaining pockets. And then we'll start pulling stuff out of the vault. Deal some inventory nonsense. First, Tarman. Down there, don't bug me. Good job. We'll get his name momentarily. Alright. Let's go ahead and let's get this sorcery done first. We did all this for sorcery. Let's go look at sorcery. Then we shall deal with our inventory. Black blood. Bam. 100 black blood. I need dragon powder. Yes, of course. <gasps> I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. Dragon blood it is. Or dragon powder it is. Dragon powder. Rock me tip. What are we low on out of these? Uh, steel fires will run out of first. Funny thing, you did work at a library in high school? Well, this... <laughs> but, funnily enough, there you go. So they'll kill them both, um, and they fell in roughly the same place? Wait, what? Um, let's see what this is. What are you talking about? Uh, he attacked... Uh, was attacked by a reptile? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alice just has it. He knows what was going on. He saw. Uh, we can go over here and repair this. We should have all the ingredients we need to repair. So, bam, there we go. Get that repaired. Perfect. 
Okay, what can we scrap? Scrap those bindings. And that's it. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Good, good talk. So it take a minute. Um, what I do want to do is we'll drop off the Reaper Glands. And we'll make some Reaper Glands. Poisons. Reaper Poisons. 11 Reaper Poisons. Give me those. It'll enhance our ability to murder things. Some resin. Drop the resin. Make those. Uh, do I have sticks on hand or anything I can drop in here? Not really. Drop our coins over here. We can go deal with the lotus. The silver coins. At least not left in my inventory. From stone. Oh. Here. And crystal. Wow, that makes that easy. We'll drop off the frost lotus. Oh. Um, I guess I'll put the process in here. These two. Those. Process in here. It's back. Here we'll put the yellow those in. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yep, perfect. Here we can just leave extra berries. Uh, berries. Let's have that be the assorted berry one for now. We'll, we'll have to make another planter. You're a hoarder, Zelda? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it means this way I don't have to go out and grab things if I don't need to grab things. We have everything now. Oh my. That's a lot. Go ahead and hit start. Um, so much leather and far, it's nuts. Oh, we have a lot of hides. It's gonna take a while to get through all that. Um, yes, this is when I definitely want to keep in the vault. <laughs> I need to go find better things. Ugh. All right, let's see here, Docket. What'd you do? Um, there's another player uh, in the group asking if they could. Okay, free architect. Right, right. Okay. Um, but what really broke the camel's back was a DM um, when you were talking uh, with another uh, annoyed player, going. But I clarified like 30 minutes after shutting down my uh, adventure and giving only slightly more specifics, like no high tech, but gunslingers are okay. That's that's not helpful. <laughs> it's not helpful. He thinks that's helpful? That is not helpful at all. No high tech, but the gunslingers are okay? That's... but... what? So... But magic is okay. Right? It's one of those moments where I'm like, but isn't high... Value, like, isn't high technology just... tech that we don't understand yet? Scrub all the stone. Iron. Dumping leather in here. Let's so take those. Those. Uh, you were actually pumped and primed for a fight after <laughs> after it all. You're so mad. Uh, didn't happen often. I mean, yeah, it doesn't happen often when you get like that. But, like, good gracious. Air pelts. Still, like it's that's it's on him to clarify. Dungeon Master needs to clarify and actually make solid set rules, ones that are clear for people to interpret and understand. Or he has to be there during the character creation stage to ensure that he can actually say yay or nay on everything. If he's not, then he can't really complain. He kind of set himself up for it. You know? some feathers in here too. Uh, the fangs. Stock 
that back up. Let's go over here and start this back up. There we go. Let's get these fish pressed. Fish. Is there another fish in here? Or no, is that it? Are only those two types? Oh, there it is. Oil. Um, your biggest personal uh, difficulty with character creation is you cannot come up with a backstory in a setting that isn't your own. I can understand that. Because uh, it's really hard to, like, if you don't really know the backstory that you're going to be able to do in someone else's game, it makes it really kind of tough to decide where you want to stick your stuff. Not like where you want to kind of like settle in for what you do, what your character is, how he fits into the, the world. Drop off these two legendaries. Make sure our corruption is gone. Our corruption is gone. We need to get a better dancer. <laughs> dance to level one. Kind of disappointing. I mean, we do have a dance to level two. Well, I want to get like a named dancer if we can get one. That'd be ideal. Look at this. All right. Uh, we're going to take this out now. We're going to start working on the potent compost. But we can at least start dumping some of our putrid meat in here. Have progress occur. <laughs> That's good. Let's fur in here. A bit of fur in here. Leather. Okay. Um. You asked a ton of questions when you joined um, about the setting and the culture of the city, of the character, and where the characters came from, and if there was an organization that took part of uh, uh, that we were a part of or anything. All the answers he gave uh, you didn't really didn't paint an interesting setting, <laughs> but you were trying. Yeah, you were trying. Um, coming up with the backstory for your own setting, you're unfamiliar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a setting you're unfamiliar with is basically impossible. Yeah, you have no idea. You're just gonna have to pick like. The most plain Jane generic kind of character you can think of. Be like, I'm a, uh, a guy. I'm on an adventure for um, treasure because I need money for um, backstory reasons that we'll talk about later. It's like, can you come up with a more interesting character than essentially just a, a guy who's trying to pay off his debts or something? It's like, well, how about you explain your setting a little bit more, and I can actually do that. It's like coming up with like the most generic thing that's just going to cookie cutter fit into whatever setting you're going to have to be thrown into. Which means being dropped off. Good. Yeah, no, that stuff's really frustrating. What's up, Gizme? Drop off all of our meats in here. Um, drop off all the tar. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and take these regions, get them crafting tables. Yes. Cool food. Get that food. Let's get these bugs going. I didn't realize we needed this much oil. I've never played with, like, epic level uh, armor, because, you know, in standard PvP servers, you lose all of your gear. So, I always thought, why focus on getting top, top of the line, best in slot gear, if I'm just going to lose it all? And if, or if I could potentially lose it all in the fight, so I just never really buried it. Nice. All right, what else? We got, yeah, we have so many bones. I was right about not doing that. All right, let's go and get rid of some of these, uh, some objects. No, we'll leave the banner for now. Some of these weapons and tools and stuff we need to break down. Restore. Really going to do that. That iron started. Oil, plant fiber as well. I think our dragon powder is done, so we can get that going. Silver, give me the silver. It's gonna stay there for now. Okay, perfect. I think our dragon powder's done, but let's go ahead and burn this stuff first. Long sword, long sword, boots, hardened steel. 
I want to steal. Well, now we're at the point we're we're past we're past hard and steel. We don't need it anymore. The Defari shorts, uh, the Defari sword. I don't know about that one. We have a Defari sword already. Be a cool item because we can we can do the uh, illusions, right? So having things like Defari stuff would be great. Oh my goodness! Look how much hard and steel we get out of that. That's great. Yo, let's hold on to the Defari sword. That off. Just bone shields because again we can build them whenever we want to. Another weapons or equipment in here. Yep, that one. Yes. Slowly getting some stuff back. Good. Yes, go ahead and we'll just drop this Defari sword in there. Perfect. Let's go grab our dragon powder. Yeah, went through a whole host of our steel fire. We'll have to get more online. Get him going. Oh my goodness, just making so many more. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, we actually have some reinforcements. There we go. Drop those in there. Got coins. Put those coins off. Actually, I'll put the fragment of power in here too. Leave that for later. Uh, we have silver ore, which I think three is enough for one, right? Right? No, it's one per. Oh my goodness. Oh no, we must have had some already in there. Aha. Yeah, it's thinking it's three per. We must have had two sitting in there before. I got our dragon powder. Time for more sorcery. Begin to craft. What spells do we get now? Beautiful magic. Come on. Some good. Abyssal armor. Okay, so we're just making a abyssal stuff. Okay. That's fine. Let's take a look at it and see how it is. What? We need five fragments of power? At least we got the black blood. The yeah, RGB gamer table? I know, right? Five fragments of... You've got to be kidding me. I have to kill that thing five times? Holy moly. Alright. Okay. Well, let's go take a look at this abyssal armor first. Abyssal armor. It's heavy. Okay. Everything takes demon blood. Look hard and steel. This one's just shape wood. This thing's so cheap. All right, uh, two circles in the unnamed city, and you'll have five shards. True. Let's see. I'm. We could. Armin and I could kill the bat guy. Armin and I could kill the skeleton guy. I don't know if we can kill the red mother. Honestly. I don't think we can. If she breathes fire, there's no way. I don't think we can. Uh, it might not be too bad with a level one character, but things uh, become complicated when you're a level nine, uh, level 16 sorcerer. Uh, that does up to, excuse me, 96 D6 force damage per round. Alceris, what? How do you do that? What spell is that? We need a way better thrall to do a decent time. Yeah, I would need a much better thrall than Tarman. That's why we're getting Leanne um, trained right now, so we can go use him next. That's the goal. Battering Blast. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, it's, isn't that a nice little spell? No, it's an 8th level spell. Battering Blast? It's 8th level? Let's see if I can remember my... I don't play 5th edition much. It's a 3rd level spell, and it does... There's no way a 3rd level spell lets you do... 90, 60, 6 points of damage in one casting. What? That can't be right. Hold on. And Pathfinder 1E? No way. No way. I'm looking this up. No way, Alistair. That sounds insane. <laughs> Messing with my mind. If so, I'm going to have to do stuff 
I, I, I know who, who my players are going to be fighting against. Battering Blast. Evocation, Battering Blast. Third level spell. Um, Bull Rush damage. Yeah. On a successful hit, you deal 1d6 points of force damage per two caster levels, maximum 5d6. There you go. I was about to say, Alceris. It literally says max is at 5d6. So at level 10, you can do 5d6. Um, you had a plus 8 bonus on caster level when casting it, and you use the... Oh, you're using metamagic feats. Okay, yeah, metamagic feats break that every... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the basic version. If you've got metamagic feats flying on it, that throws everything out the window. Okay. All right, that makes more sense. I'm like a third level spell. How does okay? Yeah, if you got metamagic feats, it's technically not a third level spell anymore, is it? It takes a higher level spell slot, but that makes sense. Okay, I got you. She sounds like I'm panicking for a second there. That's that's gonna be really bad for me going forward because I'm gonna totally want to use that. Oh, we have so much aloe; it's ridiculous. Um, should we just make a bunch of basic aloe potions? It could technically due to spell perfection it doesn't have to. Uh, take a higher spell slot. Wait, what? What does spell perfection do? So can you use a uh, a quick, still, silent casted spell that's like that's a level one spell with spell perfection? Is that or is that what you're telling me? Something that requires a plus three, a plus one, a plus one. I think we're gonna drop off the shield. I'm not gonna be running with this one. I like this one more. Um. Here. There's nothing else sorcery wise we can do, so I guess it's just inventory management, and then we need to go on do more runs. Should probably do something with this back patio though. Maybe there's something going with this back patio. So blood is still what we're so blood is the limiting resource here. Let's get another compost. Get a second compost going. Is it just shaped wood? And shaped wood, I think. Outdoor. Can't wait. Alright, uh. Review. Let's do farming. 20. Ah, oh, darn. Close, not quite. Close, not quite. Another 10. Another quick 10. Farming post. Very picky, aren't you? Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take compost, potent compost, stock your coat potent compost, take that, take that, take that. And this here is where we're going to make our poke compost from compost. Have it separate. Blood and air. Okay. So we'll do this here, because it'll be separate. We can get that done. And then over here, then we can go ahead and get compost started again. Um, what am I missing? Bone meal. Oh, I have to play. Like, so confused. What is going on? Get more peach of blood in here. Peach of meat. Are we good? Uh, spell perfection is pick a spell. You can add one meta magic to it without affecting the level, so long as it doesn't bring it above level nine normally. Oh my goodness, that's insane! Doubles the fixed numeric bonuses from feats applied to the specific spell and allows you to apply one meta magic feat at no cost whatsoever. Oh, sorry, whenever you cast it. As long as the meta magic feat in question would not otherwise raise it higher than the ninth level. That is crazy. Yeah, just one spell. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't see how you can bypass the restrictions uh, on... An uh, what restrictions are intensify spell? Don't don't know that one well. 
I don't play sorcerers. I don't play sorcerers, but anyone can learn a meta magic feat if they if they do spells. Anyone can. Uh, let's actually go drop this off. Here, just drop some berries. Actually, you know what? We should, uh, we should make. You know what? We need to make a bigger fridge. We've needed to make a bigger fridge for a while now. Box, box. We can actually make it the improved one. What do we need for this? Decoration, storage, improved. Star metal, insulated wood, and black ice. All right, let's get that done. Oh, this thing done. Intensify spell increases the maximum damage dice by five cast levels of earth. So that would bring it from what? 5d6 to 10d6? Right? Hmm. Still, 60 damage on a third little spell is kind of ridiculous. Uh, we got oyster flesh? What the? Okay. What was I going to do? Ah, yeah, the fridge. So we need some of you. Actually, we'll just take all of it. It's fine. Um, and we need some of you. Take like 50. You sure? Uh, we need some black ice, which is that side. Um, fuck this. We'll take 50 because I don't remember how much it was. Perfect. All right, so we'll have two fridges. Yeah, we can. Have, no, actually, we might just upgrade both, all fridges, to be honest. This torch to here. You do need to figure out lighting in here, though. <laughs> figure something else out. I can make seven of them. Oh, we're gonna make two. You know what? Make three. All right, so what we're gonna do then is we can have our, yeah, close that door. We're gonna wanna still have our nook here, so we'll move these preservation boxes as need be, but at least for right now, because we have so much stuff to preserve, uh, we'll get it done this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do raw food. Goes here. I'll include insects in that. Berries. This goes in here too. Um, the middle one should be finished foods. Finished foods in here. And then we have miscellaneous over here. This in there. This in there. This in there. Custom ice goes in the corner. Ice always goes in the corner. We can go by name again. I want to make sure the ice is in the right spot. Perfect. Nordheimer, this decays, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> it's still beating heart. Well, it doesn't die. Yeah, so there you go. Um, increase the maximum hit dice by five. Spell, wait, so intensify spell. So I guess the main thing is I just don't understand how intensify spell specifically works. Like the actual thing itself. So, intensify spell, minimum magic feat. Let me just look at this real quick, see if I can sort it out. Um, an intensified spell increases the maximum number of hit dice by five levels. Uh, you must actually uh, have sufficient caster levels to suppress, to surpass the maximum in order to benefit from the feat. Uh, no other uh, variables of the spell are affected, and the spells that inflict damage are not modified by caster level that are affected by this feat. So all I'm getting from intensify intensify spell is that it means that it's you could get pinned at ten d six is all I'm getting. That's all I'm seeing. Night night. All right, take care, Liam. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. I always appreciate it. Uh, it's not a fixed numeric bonus uh, of the spell itself. Oh, I see what Dalk is saying. I okay, Dalka, Dalka, I totally get it. Let, let me explain it this way. Magic missile does 1d6 plus 1 force damage. 
a fixed numerical bonus is that plus one. Hence, this would make it 1d, uh, 1d4 plus six instead of plus one. Because it's a fixed numeric damage, right? Is that what you're saying, Delka? Oh, specifically the interaction between perfect, uh, okay, spell perfection and intensify spell. I'm gonna have to look at both of them at the same time to sort it out. I'll have to look at them at the same time to sort it out. I don't know. All right, so we've got a bunch of fridges now, so that's great. It's gonna make life easy. So there we go. Uh, anything else gets dropped off here? No. I want to start carrying my arrows in here, but I really need a box specifically for it. Oh, the inventory management is going to be a nightmare. I just have so much, so much inventory. It's fixed numerical bonus from feats that are that get doubled. I didn't see anything that said. It just says uh, the intensified spell increases the maximum number of uh, damage dice by five levels. No other variables of the spell are affected, and spells that inflict damage uh, that is not modified by caster level. Are not affected. Are not affected by this feat. It doesn't uh, intensify spell. Doesn't say anything that it mixes with. Uh, I don't. I don't know the um, perfected one, but this one at least doesn't look like it. That I need to put back. Ooh, hollow bone arrows. This are really good arrows. They must have dropped off that boss. Drop these in here for now. Let's just clear out our inventory. <laughs> Let's clear out our inventory of everything that we don't normally carry. And um, actually, we'll keep that. I'll keep that for now. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll completely empty my inventory. I'll completely empty my inventory in an inventory box. Uh, I should have a specific dump box for this. I'm going to need some paved wood. Maybe let's say 50. We don't need this much, but just to make life easy. So iron reinforce, let's say 50, just so I don't have to guess. We'll go ahead and we'll make this other box. Box. This box is going to go right here. This box is the box. This box is going to carry everything that I would go out on an adventure in. Actually, I really don't need to change my hot bars, do I? <laughs> hot bars still fine. It's just the inventory itself needs to be sorted. Now I can go and pull out things and make things a little bit easier. Less stuff flying all over the place. Perfect. Uh, spell perfection doubles bonuses from feats. Um, yes, but yes, but um, the the thing I'm running into that I'm seeing is that the the spell uh, the blast that you did it was uh, one d it was I don't remember what it was like one d six per two caster levels, right? One d six per two caster levels, maxing at five. That means you five d six at level ten. Doubling that means that you can now do 10d6 at level 20. You're capped at level 20, right? You have to be level 20 to do it. The effect doesn't happen without, because it says that you have to be able to cast the spell and its ability. Right? If, if we're looking at strictly doubling. Right? If we're looking strictly at the word double. But that, that's the thing between you and your, your DM, not me. Because, <laughs> again, it's entirely up to what he wants to do. Nothing to do with me. Okay, let's go grab all this here. Let's go and fill up the fridge. And not with these. <laughs> that, that's it. Not with those. So stay here. Uh, I will take all this, though. Horn. Uh, the Improvised Torch, I really don't need. Just drop that sucker out. I don't want it. Take those. Take these. That stuff's hiding in here now. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, the journal, and let's take these things and put them upstairs. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of extra. Okay, we'll take these. <laughs> do, this, do this round first. Do this round first. Yeah, if your DM does it, it doesn't matter. I mean, in the end, the rules are strictly guidelines until the DM says, no, follow the rules. And that's all that matters. Right? Uh, what was it? We'll put these notes in here. We're gonna need to get some more cupboards and other things so we can start storing stuff a little, bit, a little more nicely around the house. Die bench, drop that off. Here, this is a ridiculous amount of acre. Okay, well, I need to get tar. In. We need to just make more of this. Get on that. 
good. My inventory is not good. We need to have just a, like a greens box. Actually, you know what? I can take these out and put them in the planter box, can't I? I'll save us some space. If these, we have a yellow lotus planter box. Might as well jam them in the yellow lotus planter box. Are they all going to fit? No. <laughs> Almost. Almost. That means we have only one stack that's going to be in here. That's fine. We only need one stack anyway. I honestly don't know why yellow lotus is in here. I, it's not used for anything. I have no idea why I stuffed it in here. <laughs> I have no clue. Brimstone. Get that out of here. Get you up here. Blood. Perfect. Actually, put this here since it's not going to be more than. So yeah, so I need to get more tar and we can make more steel fire. That'll be good. Uh, we have brimstone to drop off. We have the crystal to drop off. We have the horns. Bam. Not the... Yeah, the iron. Fill that up so we can actually do repairs. Because we do all repairs on that bench. So we'll make sure we can actually get that done. Uh, oil. We'll just keep dropping oil in here for now. It's a good place to do it. So I'll have space for it too. Uh, we just need the hides. So many hides. So many hides. <laughs> and then food. Perfect. Dump all this in here. Get near full on this. But if we can actually have it through where it's just, we have to scroll, so that's good. Um, the only way you can see it being reasonably uh, interpreted differently is if you brought up the maximum uh, damage dice due to intensified spell from 7 to 10 instead of from 10 to 15. I don't know where the seven's coming from, but okay. Um, I'm weird most people sleep with a stuffed animal, but not me. Uh, I sleep with two kindle- wait, what? Two kindles and a book to comfort with? Ah, there you go. Yeah, you gotta, you know, that kindle keeps you warm at night, right? Yeah. Okay, what else can we go ahead and deal with? Let's deal with some decorations. Janties, we don't need two. We can drop one. Put that in the... We'll put these upstairs. Uh, candles, more decoration stuff. Where's my decoration? There's more decoration stuff. I need these for decoration. I don't know if we have enough inventory space to put it in there. But I will otherwise. Pot. Trophy. Ceramic jug. Take this amount of meat. <laughs> Still working on it. We'll get there. Uh, a journal. Instructions. Scrawled note. Scribbled note. Scribbled note. Um, I don't need this. I already know that one. Take this. Seasonings. Heads, husks, what's that noise? Why did it sound like a tree came down? There's someone walking around on our island? What's going on over here? Right. Back we go. Okay, just, just, just want to slowly fill this out. We'll get there eventually, don't you worry. All right. Uh, oh, the heavy... Uh, we'll hold on to the thick hide for now, because we are still using that for some stuff. We don't, until we get a full stack, I don't want to start going through it. Okay, so the artisan table here, this is the thing I'm like... Fortunately, it needs a lot of junk in here. We're dropping these, those aren't useful. It has a lot of junk in here. A stack of each of these items in here at some point. I don't think feathers are used for anything. Pick that out. These heads, and then these are actual placeables that I can actually be placed down right now. In my capacity to do so. Let's drop these. Yeah, 
Yeah, no room. I think instead I'm just gonna... No, you know what? We'll leave these. What I need is a box. I need a box. Right, we're gonna have to keep some... We're gonna keep some stuff on us. So I can keep making boxes. We're gonna make a box. Can I put a box on here? I can. go. Alright, so, change of plans. Placeables all get shoved up here. And crafting stuff goes down here. Because there'll be more storage than the one above. That's all crafting stuff. These are all placeables. When we want to go and make the house look nice and pretty. Which we'll do eventually. Once you know, all the crafting stations aren't here anymore. <laughs> Once the crafting stations aren't here anymore, then we'll take care of it. Good. Um, what did I miss? Um, the example lists of spell perfection are spell focus and spell penetration, uh, which add a flat bonus to an aspect of the spell, not modify its caster level. Oh, I see what you're saying. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Well, uh, well, it's a set numeric. Uh, well, it's a set numerical. It's not a bonus that defined uh, as defined by in the game. The extra dice is also based. It's level based. Yeah, true. So it's not set. That's very true. Huh. Hmm. Oh my goodness, Sky! You have over five hundred and fifty books. Oh my gracious. Uh, some on your Kindle, and the rest are real-life things. Jeez. That's impressive. Yeah, we're going to have to split this up into a wardrobe. Um, we're going to switch it into, like, a wardrobe, an armor shelf, and, like, a bookshelf. Unfortunately, we only have cupboards to play with, so there's not much we can do about that. But, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, seeds and kitchen stuff. Back to the kitchen. These. You can keep these mushrooms. Boop. Uh, the seeds will get dropped off in here. Bam. Um, feathers. Over here. And tusks. Over here. Perfect. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll drop these back off. Get you more shaped wood. How what am I at with shaped wood? I'm not doing well with shaped wood at all. We're going to cut that for a second. We'll build me shape wood and then continue. Oh, actually, do I have wood in here? I do. Give me all that wood. I definitely need a bigger boost of shape wood here. Then you can continue on. So I'll take half of this and go ahead and get it up here for building needs. Perfect. Nice. Whew. Um, so they're choosing to read only half of the argument. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not reading the whole argument. <laughs> Again, I, I, what I really have to do is I have to sit down and read both of the beats that you're talking about um, to actually get a, a true understanding on it. I, I haven't done that, so I wouldn't know for sure. I can only make an educated guess, but otherwise I have no idea. Oh, I put that in here. I'm supposed to keep it in here. It's fine. It's supposed to be in my pockets. Those. There's so many feathers. I think we'll leave them in here for now. It's too many feathers. Just a more jug. Uh, so I'll take a pool. What else do you want to pull out? Uh, we'll skip all the meats and stuff. Yeah, so that's taking up most of it. Take two things of tar. Get that going. There we go. Oh, we got some good skulls starting to pack, uh, pile up. This is good. Definitely gonna need this. <laughs> Definitely need this. Alright. Drop off a line pelt. We'll drop off more branches. More wood. We'll get that going. 
Um, go ahead and drop off these. Uh, the earthen jug goes to this one. There goes. The ambrosia will drop off in here. Okay. And the berries here. The seeds go upstairs. Only reading half of the internet's uh, privilege. I know, right? Only half. Get that off. Grab all these. Perfect. Let's drop all this stuff off. All right. We're slowly getting this place organized. It's good. Uh, kitchen. <laughs> Where am I going? To the kitchen. Okay. The last two things we need to do is we'll drop off the reading potions in here. Get off the table. And we'll go ahead and drop off some tar. A thousand steel fire going. Car down here so the steel fire can scoot into that space. It'll be good. There we go. Very nice. Uh, and the gruel we can just go drop in the draw pot over here. I really want to move this die bench out of here. I don't like it in here. I really don't. I don't. I don't like this furnace. I, I don't. I need to get this place all cleaned up for goodness sakes. But it's fine for now. It works. It works for now. Um, although we are working on insulated wood, we could we could stop our sorcery grind. We could take a pause on the sorcery grind. We can do some building. It's an option. It can be done. So much pork. Let's see if we can get all this pork in there. We might have to go in the miscellaneous box for a moment. I don't just I don't think it's quite gonna fit. This way. Wow, follower damage. Ooh. Okay. Um, glowing essence I can put away. Reload this potion. We can get this potion. Let's get those in the alchemy bench so you have them all in one spot. So we're bigger. Let's get all these in the alchemy bench and make some more room in there. Uh, what do you do with all the rotten meat? Um, actually, I'm so early, you always just throw it away. Um, yeah, so what the rotten meat is used for compost. So it's um, bone meal or dung, either or. Bone meal or dung, plus plant fiber, plus rotten meat, plus compost. And compost plus seeds equals you don't have to go and harvest stuff anymore. It does it for you <laughs> in your planters. Uh, and so that's what we're doing. So I'm making basic compost in the first one, and then this one we're making potent compost, which is compost, blood, and ash. And raw ash and blood mixed with compost to make potent. Potent compost is necessary to be able to farm the lotuses. Lotuses require potent compost. Everything else requires normal compost in here. So that's why I'm holding on to it. I might as well. It means that I'm, I'm never going to have to go like hunt for some. Can I get all the pork in here or are we going to run out of inventory space? Because I feel like we are. That's okay. I think we're going to make the change um, to finished foods. We can go ahead and put the spiced one in here. Um, I think spiced pork is better than nothing. I think it's better than spiced everything else. Let's go ahead and let's take some plant fiber. Use the plant fiber in the grinder. Make ourselves some spices. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to splurge. We're going to go splurge on this. We're going to make a star metal sickle. We're going to make a star metal sickle. Um, I don't want to deal with the iron sickle anymore. We're going to star metal. So this guy can go... You know, we'll leave one in here. This will be kind of our backup one, I guess. For now, it's fine. We'll leave them in here. I just realized we have our cleaver in here, too. We'll leave those as backup tools. Star Metal Sickle. Nice. And let's get an efficiency tool. A tool efficiency upgrade. Advanced tool efficiency upgrade. Build. build. There we go. Clear queue. Why did you say three? Build one. What? 
I'm gonna pull the rest out. <laughs> don't don't make two. Just one. Just one. Just one. Thank you very much. Uh, Infernal Icon, how far in this game are you? How far have you gotten? I'm really enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. All right, efficiency. Bam. Okay, this thing is going to be so ridiculous when we use it now. This thing's going to be so ridiculous. Let's get a quick test run with this bad boy. Star Metal Sickle. It, uh, I'm like a little terrified to see how much plant fiber we get from this. 204. Oh my good gracious. Thousand so far. Because we've been playing with the iron one this whole time. It's clearing out this one patch. Wow. Wow, okay. There you go. Jeez. You're on PlayStation 4 and still in the process of learning the basic crafting? Nice. Well, if you have any questions, please let me know. I didn't learn about this grinder thing until way late on into playing this game. You just put plant fiber in the grinder and you make spice. Great. We'll have a whole bunch of spice on hand. We can start seasoning our foods. Um, what was the plant fiber for? I don't even remember. can make our cooked pork strips. Alright, let's go play with some of the pork, because we have so much pork. It's ridiculous. Uh, ten things of pork. What can we cook with pork? What ends up being best? What is the best pork dish we can build? Uh, here, have these worker beans. Set to make more honey. Um, Alright, so pork we can make. Pork strip. Um... Demon blood, we can make sausages. We can grab some demon blood. It's not what I want. Okay. One. Thank you. So that's a lot of blood. I don't need that much blood. Okay. Uh, so demon blood sausage. Okay. Um. Cook feast is good, but we need to make. Well, we can make meat. We can make dried berries. Yeah, we can do that. We just need a little bit of cooked pork rinds, so we just need one. Get that. No space for the insects. Okay, uh, give me the pork. Take the insects. Pork rinds. Okay, um. Take honey. Dump the honey off. Thing of mead. I seen some purified water. I don't have any purified water on me. Used it all, didn't I? Purified water. I seen some water orbs. Grab some glass. I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking here. Uh, oh yeah, the glass is all here. Is there some in here? Like this. Upstairs. Right to the bedroom. And to the fountain. Okay. Get five in there. It's fine. Five purified water will be enough. Get five purified water. We'll cancel those for a moment. Let's start. Get salted pork as well. Oh, we need an egg for that. Okay. Right, perfect. Okay, so turn that off. So we'll have... What was it again? We need... Two. Two. Salted pork can get on the list. There we go. One salted pork. Seed soup. Mushrooms. Rhino head. Requires an actual head of a rhino. <laughs> Jeez. And finally, this thing. We need some dried berries and mead. So I need some berries. Uh, let's take that in the dryer. I need you to take this up here by water. 
by water. Go. Buy things of meat. Go for it. Why not? Actually, we really only need one. I'm making one. We'll save the rest for later. Um, and then I was like dried berries. Okay, that's what it is. Get some bark. Get some bark so we can dry those berries. Bark and berry. Just need three of those. Right, meat acquired. There's the mead. Three berries. Okay, and then we can get the mead. So there's five different pork dishes we can make. This flavored gruel actually looks pretty good. Some berries and spices. Alright, so we've got five different pork dishes we can make. Let's see just how good this is. See which one's best. Okay. I don't know where the spiced pork went. I think it just vanished. Okay, well, I'm glad it was the spiced pork that vanished. <laughs> Nothing else. Bad. Oh, please cook me that. Um. Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay, there it is. Got it. Did. Okay, so let's find out which one's best. Still, 40 d6 is a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, and you use quick cast for the second one. Holy moly, Alceus. Okay, 80 d6. It's a minimum 80 damage. That's crazy. Just to clarify, since Zeller uh, likely didn't think about it, uh, you did begin by saying that much damage in a round. That is correct. You did say in a round. That is correct. You did. And I was still thinking about that. I completely forgot about quick casting. Using quick and cast. Uh, the metamagic. Totally forgot about that. Alright, so let's take a look at what these do. They don't tell us anything. And they used to give us buffs. So let's find out. The food feast. Food. Food strengthens. Is salted. Okay. Food healing. Hey, that's cool. All right. And food. All right. Uh, so these foods, uh, spice warms you up. Feast is just a feast. I don't know what that means. Cooked pork strips does nothing, which is interesting. This one heals. And it seems as though this is one with the least timer. You have an hour and a half, two hours, two hours, four hours, and three hours. Where's the spice pork? You get anything special? No, just sated. Okay, so we just get sated from spiced pork. Um, what does feast do? It's just sated. I don't know what the feast thing means. We just get sated. Okay. Um, Alright. Pork strips. Thing just sated. Nothing special. Alright, blood sausage. We should get healing. So let's let's go take a bit of damage. Crunch. Okay. We have to do it again because we have Glutton for Punishment active. <laughs> we heal too fast. Maybe we just need to be attacked. Hello? Oh my goodness, that thing is yip. It sounded like hi. Let's get let's get a little damage here real quick. Poison's pretty good. If you can come over here and fight me while I'm like jumping off this thing, it'd be great. I just need to be able to see help. Come on, poke me. Oh my goodness. Stop my glutton for punishment from overhealing it. Glutton for punishment is just too good. There we go. That's all I needed. Perfect. Now we're at half health. Now I can take a look at this. Oh, also, thank you for your thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. You can die now. Yeah. I can't just leave him on the ground. I gotta take it. Glutton for punishment just healed me that much. 
Dickens. Okay. Um, anyway, heal. It does seem to be healing faster. It's about like 10 hit points per tick. Um, not including our passive one per tick. Seems pretty good. But Orc seems to also give us a bonus. Yeah. For two... For two hours? Holy moly! 15% increased strength weapon damage. For two hours. Alright, we're making salted pork. Done. Alright, that experiment was well worth it. Uh, I do think we might as well get some spiced pork, right? How much, um... So much pork in here. I can do spiced steak, that's fine. We can do spiced steak instead of pork. When I eat that, it doesn't remove the strength bonus. Okay, interesting. That's pork. It's fine. Okay. Going to clear out a little more inventory here. This future meat's getting put straight through. Picker. Got a lot of hide out of that guy. Crazy. There. Got 100 bugs. Okay. Um, do we have space for them? We do. Perfect. Right, excellent. Um, to get the job done. We just need the spices. We have right here. Dump off the spices in here. Now, we'll go ahead and make spiced. Yeah, spiced steak. So we'll have spiced steak for our spiced foods. And then we'll do salted pork for salted foods. And again, we want to get a uh, this preservation box, this center one, to be up and running with a whole bunch of pre-made foods. So we've got some thrall steaks. We've got um, some salted berries for feasts, so we can build a feast out of that. The Dafari bug soup is already done. Something that we, more we can do with that. It's already done. Um... Herbal? Okay. Um, but the salted pork and the spiced steak is going to be really good. We've got so much salt already, too. Uh, let's get two things of pork. Let's get a hundred salted pork done. Oh, why? Do I not have enough salt? Well, we're going to have to go fix that salt problem. Let's see if we can figure out that salt problem here. I just need a little salt. I just need a lot more salt. Let me go grab some salt real quick. Hold on. Got to grab some salt. I'm going to mine these rocks and get some salt. Okay. Rocks, give me some salt. Come on, rocks. I think 2k will be fine. Done. Alright, let's go get our salt running. Okay, back we go. And to our trusty grinder. Salt, please. We get rock salt. You can use the grinder to make salt. You can use the grinder to make uh, seasonings. The grinder really lets you do what out of like plant fiber for seasonings and salt out of rocks. So you can really make better foods with really, really little um, material needs. You don't need much. Uh, for example, like all it takes is what? Um, branches and bricks to make a grinder. You're good to go. Salt and meats. Salt and meats in here. There, keep topping it off. Fine. Drop off these 
glasses. Whoop. Jumping around. Up off the glass. Oh. It's raining outside. So, so many coming in. This is so good. Yeah, I think it just comes down to... Now we just need to get more insulated wood going, and then we can just do some big builds. The salted pork we have so far can just be saved. Again, we'll probably start running around with salted pork to have the permanent increase damage bonus. It's going to take quite a while for that to be ground down, so we're not going to babysit it. That's fine. We'll just do the thing. That's good. Uh, what do your defenses look like? Uh, we don't really have much in terms of defenses right now. We're on a pretty chill server. Uh, let's see if we jump on our vault here. Let's see what I'm talking about. So we've got our nice little villa set up here. We've got one guy on the balcony over there. Uh, right there. Archer. It's not really set up for anything. Over there's our thrall pit. We haven't really done anything. You don't have a horse just chilling. Uh, we'll get around to defenses soon, uh, but right now it's uh, right now we're relying more on the island for defense than anything else. But eventually we'll get some walls and some gates going in here. Some big old walls, get some gates, get a couple other buildings. It's gonna be good. I'll pick up some of that food then. Do that. Last me a while, we'll just do that for now. Fox's Elder uh, catches the single line message, but misses the entire paragraph immediately above it. Um, yeah, no, classic. In addition to all that, uh, you are a Phoenix Bloodline sorcerer, so uh, if you use meta magic to turn it. Uh, oh, so you use meta magic to turn it to fire damage. You could heal half that damage. Oh my good gracious. Uh, to someone, and of course, you had Wall of Fire to heal uh, an unlimited amount uh, over time. Yeah, because you just stand in it, right? Thanks to your robe of Arcane Heritage, once per day, you can use a true resurrection on yourself a minute after dying. That is an amazing artifact. An artifact you can use that every single day. That's crazy. I'm used to those artifacts being like, and it's gone. You got to use it, cool, and it's gone. That's what I'm used to. You only get one use out of it. All right, let's go and let's move some more stuff. Let's get this demon blood out of here. I guess put the black blood in the sor sorcerer table for now, I guess, because we still need to use black blood. Uh, we can pull at least a little more putrid meat out. That. Go ahead and we'll drop off. We have more space than that. I don't think it's get the grubs. Wait for it to finish. Nothing. Okay. Um, and nothing goes in here. But I will take this. We need regular blood now. Can I squish? Um, can I squish grubs in the press for blood? That would have been cool. Now it has to be peoples. We have to do peoples. Source of table. Blood. Downstairs. Blood. Well, we'll probably want some upstairs. Probably want some of that upstairs too, though. Some of the demon blood for uh, when we're playing with the circle of power. We're gonna want to. Uh, we'll probably put a box up there with the uh, summoning regions and whatnot. This demon blood is a uh, component of that. Let's go ahead and grab all of these. 
swap out what's in here. Perfect. Nice. Head back, swap out this stuff. Excellent. Alright, we're slowly getting things together. But yeah, I think next... Yeah, either we need to go and get four more fragments of power, which would be two runs of the unnamed city, if we think we can do it with Tarman, who's a pretty sturdy guy. He's getting up there, but I, I just don't know. We probably will have to upgrade his armor. Actually, I'm trying to remember. What was the... Um, If I went and made him... We'd have to just make epic armor, wouldn't we? 350. Okay, 350, so that's a lot. Turn set of 40, yeah. Oh, if we can make a full set of heavy duty armor, that'd be good. Yeah, it's literally the same as this, uh, epic grammarian armor. Okay. Mm. Is that going? Oops. A little bit of rotted meat off. Okay, uh, oil goes in here. Slide back in here. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. We'll break that down. Perfect. Whole bunch of bugs. Drop that meat for now. Perfect. We can use that for stews. Oh my god, wait, how much salt is needed for salted pork? We have 11 and it can't be done? I thought it was like 5. We had 11 sitting in there. It's fine. Okay. Give me more. Perfect. Um, it's a high level wondrous item, not an artifact. Oh, wow. Okay. Jeez. The true resurrection isn't an effect in itself. Oh. This increases your effective class level by four for the purpose of your bloodline powers. Oh, and it's the Phoenix bloodline power. Okay. I got you. That makes more sense. I was like, what? That's insane. Yeah, it's the Phoenix Bloodline. If you didn't have True Resurrection, I would be incredibly disappointed. What's the point of a Phoenix, then? That's really cool. Uh, you're going for the single biggest death ball in uh, Meganium? Megani? What is it? Me Megumin, uh, but supposed, uh, I suppose if I quicken it and damp it twice as a wilder? What? Uh, she could, oh my goodness, 64 D6 plus 64 sonic damage, uh, in a round at level 15, four times a day, jeez, eight energy balls? It was, uh, almost, it was mostly a thought experiment, not a serious character. My goodness, it's crazy. So one of the things I do like, I do like playing crazy strong characters, but I also don't like playing straight crazy strong characters, if that makes sense. Like, I like playing crazy strong characters, but it makes the challenge really tough, unless you're playing with other people that are, that want that level of challenge. I'm hard to do. Right, so the gold we could definitely use more of, so we'll go ahead and put 12 in there. I need more seeds. What the? Three? Okay. Four? What? <laughs> I don't know how that happens. We have to dry it. Uh, we only need two more in here. There's not enough seeds for it. Uh, I can put... Oh, in here. All those going. Oh, that's fine. And then this one we can go ahead and put... Nice. This is potent compost. Uh, I guess I'll set the rest of the potent compost in here, because it won't be used. Put it in here. Won't be used. Perfect. Now we're going to get some more lotus on the way. 
Um, we need... Oh, you know what? We've got a bunch of human flesh. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's right. It's, I kept so much human flesh. Perfect. Oh my goodness, this is great. Nice. A whole bunch of human flesh. This makes this real easy. Straight to the press. 275 blood on the way. Easy. That open for blood. It's one for one, right? It's one for one. Okay. One human flesh to one blood. It's good. More salt. Get that last 17. Ooh, not quite. Almost. Almost. Raw stuff, just stuff. Nice. We're close. That's it. All out. One more. Go. Uh, one rock. We'll just go chuck this rock over here. Punk. Actually, that's enough. Bam! One more brick. Easy. Yeah, I was just slightly off on the uh, salt. That's fine. Uh, the rest of the uh, meat can just go back in the locker. We'll just have the uneven amount of meat added to our stack. Three in there. Oh, that's an even stack. Spot a hyena. Let's go ahead and let's get that guy going. I think, uh, I think the boar is done. You got a boar! Here we go. Let's get the spotted hyena in here. We need to get some meat for him. That'll be easy. We've got a actually, we've got a whole bunch of um, shredded meat over here, or um, what is it? Uh, feral flesh over here. Five stacks. That. We're going to give your companion new armor. Yes, I do need to give my companion new armor. Yeah, I need to do that. We now have a piggy. Got a horse, a piggy, a gazelle, and soon to be a spotted hyena. Nice. All right, let's put them back here. Yeah, I want to get new armor, but it's going to be really expensive to do so. So I'm, I'm still kind of like flip flopping on it. Piggy. Got some animals coming in. Great. I recommend throwing the flesh uh, at your entertainer to give her more material to work with, per se. Oh my goodness, no much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, in the name of all that is holy, you went back to YouTube comment thread that was uh, that started close to a year or two ago and it's still going. Wait, what? Holy moly, that's that's scary. That's scary. Uh, you're generally averse to spells that require the target to fail a save, though. Yeah, I agree on that one. Uh, I, I, it's just because, you know, you could have, like, this one super cool spell, and they're like, oh, nope. I wasn't affected. What? Yeah, I just wasn't affected. Huh? How? It just wasn't. I'll take this boar with us real quick. Wait, how much uh, inventory space does a boar have? It's only double. Not as good as the, uh, the gazelle, but... Run this thing through his paces super quick. Just kill a Komodo dragon or two. Level it up. Get him! Who's yeah. a trample? Auto leveled up. Dang, that was a lot for its level. What are your stats? They're kind of mediocre, they're fine. Let's go put him back. 
I mean, the pig's gonna be good, but I don't think it's, I don't think the pig's as good as other uh, followers. I think the hyena is going to be significantly better for us when we actually do fighting, unless, um, especially, I mean, especially if it ends up being an alpha, which would be amazing. But um, I don't imagine that's gonna happen. Piggy, come here. I was able to navigate over here. I know you can. What the? Oh, thank you. All right, Piggy. All right. We should name these. We need to do a naming spree, right? Snuffles. Or Truffles. Maybe we name them Truffles. I think I'm like sniffing around the ground because I just hearing the pig smell uh, smelling noises, but I don't know. Uh, this gazelle needs a name. Um, Prancer? Prancer with an S? That's with a C, right? Prancer's gotta be with a C. Actually, don't know. Prancer. Yes, yeah, it's with a C. That's what I thought. That just looks right. Prancer? What are we gonna name our horse? What's our trusty steed supposed to be named? That's an empty inventory. He's level 10? Oh my good gracious, look at all the stuff still on him. Give me all that. There's a baby rhino in here. How's that rhino not expired? Oh my goodness. I completely forgot that we have... Oh jeez, okay. Almost lost a rhino. Let's put this rhino in here. Bonk. It's cute. We'll put that rhino on ice, don't worry about it. The horse should be fat legs. Estelle? Well, that's a pretty good name. I don't know what brimstone that thing had. Well, brimstone's becoming a real problem here. I just can't hold it all. Um, no, didn't actually drop off. Double stack that again. Uh, and the chitin. Much. I really, I really have no use for chitin. And chitin's not too hard to get. It grinds into. Grind into bone meal. Our bones. Uh, in this case, we can actually just go ahead and pop her off and take the rest. Brian, it gives you seeds? Oh, that's cool. Drop that off in here. Drop off the remainder of the bark here. Drop off the seeds upstairs. Alternate to Shadow Fax is Shadow Fat. <laughs> Come, Shadow Fat. Oh my goodness. It's like, what What do you feed your horse? Same thing everyone does. Butter drenched popcorn. <laughs> I'm not crazy. That's what everyone does. Oh my goodness, so much tar. Um, the shredder needs to be put in here. We have a small stack of shredded oh, no, nope. small stack of shredded meat being put together. For fair flesh. Turns into shredded meat when cooked. Uh, or you could go with Skyrim and name the steed Shadow Mare. I don't know. I thought it's... Well, okay, hold on. Our, our mare the problem is it's a white it's a white uh, mottled horse, right? Mottled? Uh, I don't know, it's spotted. I think this one might be black. What color is this horse? Bad time you come over here, it's dark time. Nah, it's the same. Oh my goodness, there's a little poop in this thing. This horse is a pooping machine! You get him some more food so he can keep on pooping. It's that's the same as uh, bone meal, so it lets us get more. Uh, it turns plant fiber into bone meal. With this one neat trick a horse! Started. Let's call him Bob. I mean, that's not a bad one there, Green. <laughs> Didn't you have a Doom Horse? A Doom Horse? Doom How? That dancer um, also has a lot of clothes on. Also, her being able to dance that thing. I mean, the thing is, like, yeah, the clothes she has on her is pretty tight too, because she's wearing um, leather. The stuff doesn't really want to stretch much. 
Although, granted, there are a lot of uh, spaces on there for her to be able to, like, maneuver. I don't think there's really anything constricting her. That maybe her butt. And her shoulders. Like, if she does anything that requires her to bring her, sh her arms up past, like, maybe halfway, it shouldn't allow her to do so. Dude, the amount of bugs we got is insane. Bugs in here, I guess. Seeds in here. A lot of seeds. And we'll put the dung over here. And abyssal, uh, an abyssal horse. Oh, that's right, I did have the abyssal horse. Yeah, I think it despawns. I think it despawned is what happened with that doom horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the text block uh, is a refresher about uh, what the YouTube comment thread was about. Um, oh, I missed that, yeah. As as per usual, isn't that right? Isn't that right, Alistris? Isn't that usual? As usual, I missed the block. Um, it was a whim. Uh, it was a whim that you search for that thread and put it, uh, and to put it simply, one guy was nagging about um, Marialism and can't comprehend the concept of arcane ga uh, arcade games imposing his opinion of why the game is so bad because the game under license is actually um, Activision Co wait Aviation companies have oh IRA planes in the game. I got okay, I got you. Oh my goodness. Imagine leather noises uh, going from her dancing. Oh my goodness, squeaking. I will take this and dump that in there. Aha, uh -huh. dump it. Uh, we'll dump that in there, which is fine. Uh, we can just put the overflow in. No, we can't. It's no space. We'll put the overflow in here. Overflow meat can go there. The thing is, future meat does slowly decay on its own. Very slowly, but it does. Alright, Tarman. You are Tarman no longer. What name do we need to name him? Do we need just name him Preston? <laughs> or Pre Press Preston. Do we just name him Preston and be done with it? Or does he get like a unique name? We, uh, what do we give him a unique name? You can kick off, uh, Leandin. I don't know the reference. I, I'm kind of leaning towards just having him being named Preston, honestly. Boom Bata? Boom, boom Bata? Basically a knockoff of, uh, Lydia? Oh, Lydian. Knock off Lydian. I see. Hopefully he doesn't betray you. Please don't betray me. Which is, well, I think we're going to go with Preston. He can always get a new name later, but, I mean, with this outfit. Th so he's going to get the nickname Preston for now, and he'll get his real name when we put him in different armor. But that hat. That hat, man. That hat, man. He's, he's just stuck with it. Give him another name another time. That is at least for now what he gets. Uh, century egg, we're gonna use that. We could grind that. Uh, let's just grab all this other feral flesh because we might as well take it. Uh, we can just take it and use that. Uh, we'll take some ice. We need three stacks of ice. Actually, we'll take all the ice. We'll save whatever ice we can. Uh, future flesh, we can't do anything with it yet. Uh, beads, we're gonna leave in here. Tar is fine. Heads, I need those. Heads, I need those. Bees are fine in here for now. We have enough bees already doing stuff. Place to start. Uh, yeah, it's getting pretty cleared up. Our vault's getting pretty cleared up. We can actually start dumping stuff in it again without having to worry about it being like too many items. Uh, wait, no. That's why. We don't have any more space for chitin. We gotta put it in here. Right. Uh, put the heads in here. Head in here. And then put the ice block in here and take the rest. Ice block in here, take the rest. Block in here, take the rest. 
And if we can... Alright, good. So we have that there and stack it. Stack that out there. Um... Guess this is just gonna go in here. <laughs> Be the leftover, the leftovers. Try and save as much of the ice as we can as well. Nice, we can. Perfect. The left one's just a mystery. Again, until we're able to put our little coffee nook in there, our coffee and tea nook, it'll be great. So many bones. I don't know what to do with the bones. Uh, black ice doesn't melt, so we don't have to worry about it. Jeez, 65 pounds. One stack. Alright, I think we're done pulling stuff for now. Stamina bonus. Interesting. Huh. Could be useful. Oh no, the door! Alright, so let's see. Do we, where are we at with you, and what are we at with the shaped wood? Or the insulated wood. We have plenty of insulated wood. We have about 3,000 insulated wood. We're at 1, 2, coming along 3,000. Actually, it'll end up being 5,000 iron reinforcements. Okay, so I think that just means that um, we need to start building the house. We can get the crafting stations moved out of the house. We can get them into the crafting a place that's a little more ideal for crafting. A little crafting hub over here, right next door. We'll make it two floors. We'll have one floor here, one floor there. It'll be easy to do. Um, I don't know if we want to like try and have it attached to the villa. I don't think we do. I think we want to do split. In order to repair your gear before you head out again. Ooh, good call. I totally forgot. My weapon is almost completely broken. Let's go get that all repaired right now before I forget. That was a very good call. Prepare you. Prepare you. Others are fine. Uh, let's go over to my armor. Just need some leather. I can... What is it? You? Q, repair, click Q, repair. And done. Oh, and there we go. Put the back off. Wow, I only used 21 leather to repair all my armor? That's insane. This stuff's so cheap to repair. Jeez. Oh, I need more um, potions. Ocean's gone. Another you know, eight. Eight. Those potions go in here. Going essence. Water orbs. Oh, we've got more than one stack of water orbs to see. But yeah, Preston looks more like a Percival. Ooh, Percival's a great name. This was a great name. Um, hmm. Hey, Jackie Boy, how you doing? Uh, is there a new armor for Tanky Boy? Yeah, I need to get new armor for him. All right, let's take a, let's figure out what kind of armor we want to go with for Tanky Boy here. Uh, we can either just go for flat upgrades of the same armor set, or we can go for something else. The armor set that he has right now is giving him a bonus to stamina, right? Just a bonus to health. It's pretty good. A bonus to health is good. You're pretty good. Good to hear. I'm doing well. I'm having a lot of I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Um upgraded one is Hurt Steel Bars. Hey Jackie Boy, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. It's good to have you here. Hardened leather. Seven hardened leather, but then it's perfected heavy. I don't think I can make. Elephant hide. We have enough elephant hide. Hardened leather. I need more I need more thick leather. I don't think I have enough thick leather for it. Uh, how much thick leather do we need? So, we need 31 for each piece. So we need... Plus some. <laughs> we need 31 for the base of each piece by 5. So we need 155. Or 100... Yeah, 155. Plus... 
7. So that's 162 to 174 to, oh my goodness, 189 um, to 196 to 203. We need 203 hardened leather. Oh my good gracious, it's insane. 203? That means we're going to need 406 thick. We don't have enough thick leather. Uh, maybe if we bust down the rhino hide and the 200. No, no, we can. I think we can still do it. I think we got, can do that. We have plenty of this. We have plenty of this. Although, we need a thousand oil. Did I math that right? We need 203. Hardened leather. 203 times five. We need a thousand and fifteen oil. To make this holy good gracious, that's insane. Um Yeah, we can't make that yet. I mean not to mention we need four hundred and six uh alchemical base. Which I don't think we can make. Well, I need with 90 gold bar. No, we can make that alchemical base. We have enough alchemical base for sure. 90 gold bars and 55 silver. We'll be low on the silver, but we definitely have enough. Definitely have enough for that. So our children for that sweet oil. Kind of kidding. And we're working on it right now, though. We're working on the sweet oil right now. Getting that oil in. Oh, let's get this thing going. Also, you just grab this future meat box here. Oh, not you. This. Um, yeah, we're slowly building up that oil. We're not even at a hundred yet. We're not even at a hundred yet. It's gonna be a bit. A few more fish things. Yeah, we're gonna need a little more fish. See that? Here's all your blood. A hundred and seventeen. Eighteenth is the ones currently working on. Nice. Drop that off in here. Perfect. All right, we're gonna be able to, with that. That should be enough to just whatever lotus we need for extracts. Not extracts for uh, um, elixirs. We can make all the elixirs we want with that. It'd be amazing. This dye bench is really cool. Blood red dye. Definitely do dyes down the line, and we definitely will do some dyeing down the line. I really want to move this. All right, so we need to be building. So while we work on oil, we can work on building things. Since we can't work on... Well, unless we want to go finish up sorcery. We've got to be nearing the end. That's to be the last one. For there to be five fragments of power required for this level, this has to be the last thing of sorcery. It's gotta be. You go with Eve logic on this one? Uh, are you sure Percival's going to... Be a lot be a good long term investment. Use what you use what you're willing to lose. Oh my goodness. I mean you're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's you're entirely right on that. That's funny though. Yeah, I think what we'll need to do is I think we're gonna need to go and get the fragments of power. I I, I wanna get the fragments of power sorted. Where are the best places for us to get fragments of power? So we could go back to the north and try and get them from Lodestone Cave. We'd have to wait for a respawn on it. Ideally, we come back over here to the Nameless City. And we go and we get the one from Airy. We go and we get the one from... Uh, one from the Skeleton Guy. Then we go and we get one from the, um, the Red Mother. If we don't even want... Hey, we don't even have to fight the Red Mother if we don't want to. What we could do is come in we can kill the Bat at the Airy. We can kill the Skeleton... And we can go do something else for a hot second. Maybe go to Supper Maru and... I don't know, do something. Um, and then we can come back and fight those two again on our way back. On our way back home. And that way we'll have four. We won't have a spare five from, or six. But we'll have four. And that'll be the four on the one that we have right now, making five. Rather, what we could do is come through here... 
Is there anything up here I really need to do? Not particularly that I can think of. But you know what? We can go do a silver mine run. We can come through here, kill the bat, kill the skeleton, go to the silver mine and the, uh, the jawbone, and then circle back, and we'll probably have to go here first, and then here. And then we can, then we leave. And then that way, we can get four fragments of power to get our sorcery going, and we get more silver, because we're going to need more alchemical base. Does fishing need bait, or does it work passively? It works passively, yeah, yeah, it just works passively. So, for example, we hop back out here. Oh, that didn't slide down at all. Just did a magnificent jump. Hello, mister. Yeah, nope. Whoa. Yeah, I'll take everything. Thanks. Thanks, man. Cool. So it's slowly fishing from this here. So it, it just crafts. It crafts fish. Crafting fish. You can put down more fishing traps, which we might need to do. Miss more messages? Oh no. It's classic I do. But did I ever mention how you made a single slash animation better than every combat animation in the game? Have you? That's awesome. Combat animations in this game are a little bit chunky. But yeah. Um, not this one. Stone. Still is holding me back. It's nice. It's not even good. It's just better than the animations in this game. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, um, or you could use Bannerlord logic and use the companion uh, gone, dead, missing. Eh, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, just it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, build like 10 more fishing traps. That's what I'm thinking. I probably need to do that so I can start baiting them more efficiently. I actually have a whole bunch of. Um, there's a whole bunch of bait on me, too. Um, a whole bunch of bait we can use here. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to want to do, is we're going to want to swap out to doing that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, since they work passively. That makes perfect sense. We should probably do that. Um, but, unfortunately, we're going to have to go ahead and end the stream here today. It was a good long stream, but it is uh, past 3.30 a.m. over here, so I need to get some sleep. We've got some stuff I plan to do in the morning. I don't want to sleep the whole day. But this is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this game. I still want to keep playing it. We won't be playing it as often now uh, because we will be playing Fallout 4 Monday and Tuesday and Dark Souls 3 Wednesday and Thursday. But I'll see if I can swing in and do at least a little bit more streaming tomorrow, uh, Sunday, or later today, Sunday, which is normally not a stream day, but I'm going to see if I can. Post it in Passion Projects. Ah, oh, perfect. Thanks, Elstris. I'll definitely to give that a look. Perfect. Um, but yeah, so... I'm hoping... I'm addicted to this game. I want to keep playing it. So I'm hoping I can swing back around and stream some more tomorrow, which we can uh, do even more. Get even more done. Uh, let's see here. Who... Can we raid? Can we raid anyone? We've got one person. We've got two people here. Let's go ahead and let's, let's give Blades a raid. I think we raided Blades two days ago, three days ago. Maybe? <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's give let's give Blades a raid. Uh, he is playing The Long Dark, which is a lot of fun. And that was the game that we were playing a bunch of prior to Conan Exiles update coming out. 
Since then, eh, we've, been, we've been playing Genin Exiles instead. We'll go ahead and we'll give uh, Blade a raid. Uh, I will see you all hopefully tomorrow, but otherwise Monday. Might just be Monday. But thanks for stopping by and saying hi. I really appreciate you guys being here with me, especially with these really long streams. I man, I missed being able to do six to eight hour long streams. I'm hoping eventually we'll be able to do it again, but uh, we shall see. <laughs> see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.